Welcome back to Timber Bonus. A super mega edit of the entire first season. My voice may sound a little bit weird in the video, not this song. But I'm sure after an hour or two, you'll be used to it. This is actually a really big risk to do a video this long, but I'm very intrigued to see what the stats are like. Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn, the full early access release. This is not a demo. This is not a demo. Sorry, little bit excited by this, not gonna lie. Thank you so much to the devs for the key. You know, I feel very, very grateful that I can play this before anyone else. Right, so we're gonna start a new game. And in our previous videos, we've always been the foxtails because there was no other choice. But now we have the iron teeth. Now you actually have to unlock these guys. So I literally, I just did a stream with these guys. You had to get their happiness rating up to eight in order to unlock the iron tails. And I just did that on a stream. And if you did want to watch that, I do actually have an archive channel, RCE Archive. It's literally got all of my live streams uploaded straight to YouTube. But enough of that, we're going to try out the iron teeth. It says here, they're defectors of the traditional timber ways. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. Uh, their motto, just like the engineering motto, is work hard, work hard. <laughs> Alright, for the map, I think we're going to go with mountain range. That sounds quite interesting to me. And for the difficulty, I did notice if you come into custom, you can actually change your starting adults. And I had a little test earlier. I was like, oh, I wonder what this would do. I wonder how, wonder how big a number you can fit in there. Yeah, that doesn't appear to be a limit, but the game just won't load. So um, we'll just stick with normal for now. But maybe that's one to try for another day. All right, so this is our starting level. This is really cool. So it's like, it is a proper mountain range with some huge, and I mean huge, like canyons and mountains and waterfalls. So yeah, this is going to be good. Right, okay, let's, let's hit pause. So we've got we've got a food source nearby. We've got these berries. We've got a load of trees back here. But as soon as we chop them down, because they're in the brown area rather than the green, it means they won't grow back. And unless we can find a way to get water over there, that's just how it's going to be. So the trees here in the green, they will grow again. And we've got some more of the other side. We've got some birch. And we've got some pine, which give you different amounts of logs. So first things first, we need wood so that we can build anything. So if we come down to wood here, we can build a few lumberjack flags. And I think we'll build these along there. We're going to want a place to store the logs. And I think we'll plonk that there. So we'll path these up. And then we just need to come down here, cut trees. And we're going to choose to cut down all of these trees. And in fact, we're even going to go up here. And then we'll also say cut down these green trees that will grow back as well. And as before, my furry friends are named after my top tier Patreon supporters. Picked at random. So over here, we've got Go Get Forked. <laughs> And Steph, they're both building the lumberjack flags so that these can be cut down. Uh, and this this guy, Lex Looper, you, you're just sat on your ass, mate. You gonna help or no? Okay, fair enough. All right, so whilst that stuff is being built, we're gonna plan the other things. So we need the essentials first. I tried to progress too quick. I tried to expand, grow. Never a good thing. Get priorities sorted. So first things first, we want water. So we're gonna get a deep water pump and we're gonna plonk two of them side by side there. So once they get built, we'll be able to turn the river here into drinking water. Because at the moment, we have zero water stocked up. All right, there's still a lot of people wandering around without jobs. There's one person unemployed, but there's four builders that aren't building anything yet because there's no logs. So I'm going to build another lumberjack flag. We'll plonk that there and we will path it up as well. That's going to be the highest priority. So I can come into here and just tick that. And that will make sure that this gets built before anything else. All right, so that's now built. So now we have three lumberjack beavers beavering away. We've got frost inks. Thomas Hook and Steph. Meanwhile, Ashes has now taken the position of sitting on their ass. Nice work, Ashes. <laughs> So you can see now the beaver cavalry, they're bringing logs over so that we can build the water pumps. So looking good. Next thing we need to think about is some food. So I'm going to come into food. I'm going to use this, which is a gatherer flag. So the gatherer flag allows beavers to collect berries. You can see where I put this, the green area changes. So I probably just want to put it about there. So that means once this is built, someone will come and collect these berries. These blue things, they're berries for the beavers to eat. Uh, so it's currently night time. And you'll notice I haven't built any houses for my beavers yet. That's because as we found out last time, we don't actually need houses or happiness for these beavers to multiply. The way these beavers multiply is with the breeding pods, you know, which only require water and berries. So obviously we don't want to keep these berries as our food source for too long. We're going to want to farm. But in the meantime, let's just watch our little beavers sleep. Oh, look at them. I do want to build them a house, though. I feel quite sad that they're just stuck there with no house. 11 homeless beavers. Anyway, whilst they're sleeping, let's build our farm. So if we come to food, we've got a farmhouse here. So I'm going to say we will plonk that about there. What we're going to do, we're going to prioritize one water pump 
And then we're going to prioritize the farmhouse. Right, so our water pump is complete. And if we click on here, you can see William is in there completely on his own, working his log to create water. <laughs> oh, and look, William has grown up as well. That's what happens when you play with your log, people. All right, so now we have the gatherer's flag built. And who is sat on their ass? Oh, it's Ashes again. All right, Ashes, you are going to get sacked from your builder job because you're obviously no good at it. There you go. We've put you in the gatherer flag. So you will now collect berries for the rest of your days as punishment for sitting on your ass all the time. So now you can see being watched by the youngster Virax Hellstrom, Ashes is picking some berries and then they'll carry them over to the gatherer flag. But if they get too full, then they'll just come and put them in this small warehouse. All right. So meanwhile, this farm is being built. It's pretty close. It just needs six more logs. And once that gets built, we're going to have to plant some crops. So if we start planning those out now, we can come into plant crops down here and that gives us three options. We've got the carrot, the potato and the wheat. Now I'm just going to start with carrots because carrots you can eat straight up. Whereas potatoes, they need to be cooked, which requires another building and therefore another beaver. Yeah, and the same with the wheat. So let's just do carrots and we can only plant these in the green area. If we plant them in the brown area, then uh, they'll just die instantly. So we've got all of this green to play as long as the river is flowing. So this game works in different seasons. We've got dry and wet seasons. We're currently in the wet season, which means there's a river flowing through here. In about 10 days time, when the wet season ends, this will dry up and then all the surrounding green areas will go brown. Uh, so the idea is sort of to stock up on everything. So let's get some area of carrots planted. I'm literally just going to go big old strips of carrots. We're literally just going to cover all of this green area in carrots like that. All right, and you can see we've already got a farmer. So Lex Looper, they've now decided to get off their ass and they are farming their lives away. We can come into the actual farmhouse and we can prioritize different actions. If you always prioritize planting, then that's much more time efficient because once you plant something, obviously it takes a while for them to grow. So right, things are looking quite positive this time. We're on day two and we've already got carrots in the ground. So we're looking good. We have a slight issue in that there's no way to store water though. So if we come down to water, we can build one of these, a small water tank. So that will allow us to store 30 water just for the cost of 15 logs. Now last time I sort of made the mistake of doing these right next to here and I used up valuable green area. So I'm actually going to put these up here in the brown area. So I'm going to rotate them. I think we're just going to do a row along there. Maybe four. Four to start with. We'll prioritize the water pump and then the water tanks. And once again, it's another night and our beavers are roughing it out, sleeping between the tree trunks. And this one's even sleeping on the path. But rise and shine, it's another morning. You've got some beaver stuff to do. All right, so our next water pump is complete. All right, and I think for now, we're actually going to pause the old berries. So let's pause the gatherer flag and we'll put you ashes on planting carrots because we've got a massive area to plant. So we may as well get all of these done first and then you can go pick berries. All right, so it's another day and look down here, Travis Hyper has grown up. That means we have an unemployed beaver. Yeah, and what we're going to do, sort of planning ahead, we're going to get some science on the go. So if we come in here, this is an inventor's hut. It only costs 12 logs. So we can plonk that down, let's say about there. We'll draw a path to it. And once you put someone in there, that will gain us some science. And science is used to unlock all sorts of things. So if we look in, for example, this one, path and structures, um, uh, we've only got paths and some district stuff at the moment to unlock the good stuff like stairs and platforms and bloody suspension bridges. Oh my god, I need it. I need it. But look how much science we need. 3,200. Uh, look at the materials. It also needs metal, I believe. And we haven't touched on metal at all in this game yet. But if you want to get it, you got to come over to these things, which are like ruins. So I imagine this game's set in some sort of post-apocalyptic earth where beavers have taken over from humans. Yeah, but they get to salvage our remains. These are ruins. And you can see they're full of scrap metal. So that will be something a bit later on in the game to do. All right, it's the end of another day and it looks like we're completely planted. So I'm actually going to pause my farmhouse because otherwise those two, they literally don't have a job. They're just sitting on their ass. And we've, we've got enough sitters. So we're going to reopen the gatherer flag, up a builder. So that should let us get this inventor's hut done. We only need four more logs. And just like that, it is complete. So you can see Virax Holstrom is now our resident scientist. They'll be producing science points for us. Right, we've still got an unemployed beaver, so I'm going to put them to work as a lumberjack. And that involves, yes, you've guessed it, building another lumberjack flag. So we'll put that one there. And the guys are building that. Nice. 
Who's on that? Travis Hyper is building that. He's only seven, but he's already got a job as the resident builder. <laughs> but now that's complete, you can see Ashes, who's a jack of all trades. I think she's worked on everything so far. But now she's a lumberjack, and that should hopefully get rid of some of these trees. Because this is the way that our city is going to expand. So we want to leave the green stuff for planting. Right, so we're currently on day five. I know at around day 12-ish, I think that's when the dry season hits. I would love to get a dam in here and then get across to this side. I feel like this could be like our permanent logging area. We can keep this side as the farm, so maybe we want to start planning our dam. I'm sort of thinking across here could be good, because that gives us maximum water, which means all of this area will stay green. Now, the downside is there's trees in the way, and I'm pretty sure we're going to need a path to it. But for now, let's come into landscaping down here, and then we've got the option to build a dam. So if we were to do that then hopefully our two builders they will come down and start building this and you can see they're carrying a log they're going along the path i don't know if i need to path over to it in which case you might need to lose some carrots i oh, know he just walks straight across the carrots fair enough travis he's he's a builder he does not care about farms but nice so that is getting built and we should be able to do that in no time really and then even better we can get across here we can start gaining some trees. Awesome. This is going really well. I am impressed. All right, so it's the end of day five. The beavers are still sleeping rough. Now, I do, I do feel a bit bad, if I'm honest. But I don't think there's a benefit in this faction having anywhere to sleep. So if we click on someone, let's take this guy, Thomas Hook. You know, his hunger, thirst and sleep are pretty satisfied. And then all these things we can unlock. I think the benefit of like having someone to sleep is their comfort goes up and you can see comfort there their life expectancy will increase and they'll walk a little bit faster so maybe in the long run it's worth building them a house but for now i'm definitely prioritizing the dam so that we get a little bit more water stocked up and assuming i can fill these four what i'm going to do as soon as the dry season hits we're going to stop pumping water because the main thing would be trying to stop the food from drying out right so you can see down here chloe has grown up so we have an unemployed beaver now, if we come to our farm, we can click on these and we can see growth progress is 87. So it won't be too long until we need the farmers to start collecting those. But I think for now, Chloe, we're going to put you as a builder so you can help complete the dam. And I would love to. I know it's so stupid, but I'm going to try at some point and sort of build a mega dam. So I'm going to turn this massive waterfall into a dam. They literally no need at all because the dam at the top does the same thing. But it will be a massive feat of engineering and that's all I care about. Right, so we're getting some space back here now. So as we know, all of these tree stumps, they're not going to grow into new trees because there's no green area up here. Uh, we could actually revitalize the area if we were to build an irrigation tower, which I think the name has changed to Water Dump from the demo. <laughs> water Dump. Interesting name choice there. But yeah, also look at this. We're actually full of water, so I might build a few more water tanks. I think we'll do one there and one there. So that's looking good. Also, have you noticed these two beavers? And that's Frost Inks and Steph. They've stopped beavering. Why are you not cutting logs anymore? There's logs in range. Ah, it's because... Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought a small warehouse stored logs, but it doesn't. It only stores planks. So we do actually need a log pile. Okay. See, always learning in this game. Always learning. So thankfully, we've got a bit of space there. So we'll bung that in to be built and we'll prioritize that over the water. We want to make sure our lumberjacks are always working. Well, except for nighttime. They're, they're allowed some time off at night. This up here shows their working hours. Now, they're currently working 16 hours a day, which is pretty tough. But the beavers, they, they get the night off. So I'm not too worried. All right, so during this evening, you can see the carrots have grown. Uh, and someone's actually sleeping in the carrots. Who's that? Ashes. <laughs> I think they they went to sleep on soil and they're going to wake up with like carrots in their face. So we're going to unpause this and we're going to have to pause two of the other jobs. I think we'll pause one of the lumberjacks. So Steph and Frostinks, just because the logs are completely full up. Uh, you guys can come harvest food when you wake up tomorrow morning. All right, there you go. And you can see they are harvesting food. But because I've prioritized planting... As they harvest, they then plant straight behind, which is the most time efficient way of doing it. If I prioritize harvesting, they'd collect all of them and it would be just soil doing nothing. The only downside of doing it this way is we've got to make sure none of these carrots spoil. I think after a certain amount of time, they do go bad. But actually, maybe that only happens if they don't have water. So yeah, looking good. Travis has chosen to sleep in the carrots this time. <laughs> Silly beavers. But right, how's our dam going? Oh, look, we've got one piece of the dam in. Oh, no, they can't build the... Right, pause, 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 pause. So if we click on our district center, this is the area that people can build. You can see our dam's just out of range. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Paths extend them. I don't know if paths need to be extended. 
But if we were to build a path, let's say like that, will that increase the area? No, it doesn't. That needs to be connected. Balls, okay. I'm not sure if there's a way through the trees. So that is the trouble. We can't build on a tree. So if we can weave a path through, which it oh, doesn't look like we can, which means we're going to have to lose some carrots, unfortunately. So if we come to plant crops, we can say clear planting area. We're going to have to do a path. This is quite gutting, if I'm honest. All right, so we're slowly making a path around here. We need these carrots to be harvested annoyingly. I don't know. Oh, God, right. These carrots. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we might need to prioritize harvesting if we want to get this path around here. I'm also thinking about maybe just doing another farmhouse. Get all the farmers involved just to try and get rid of those. Oh, stupid carrot. You should be able to, like, select carrots and just delete them. Or tell them to be harvested. Like, why are you doing the closer ones? Do these ones. Yeah, sod it. I'm going to build another farmhouse. And if I build it down there, then hopefully any farmers I get will actually come this way. I've just had a notification as well. It's only three days or the dry season. <laughs> I don't think we're going to finish the dam. Oh, come on. All right, let's, let's think about it sense. Let's pause the water pump. There you go. Now there's two people in there. I need you guys to do this corner. Please work down this way. Work down this way. <laughs> we're going to make them work through the night because we've, we've got to clear up these carrots. <laughs> I never thought carrots would be the enemy in this game. But we're on 24-hour night shifts. Come on, people. Yes, you're going the right direction. You're going the right direction. Oh, we've only got one and a half days. No, they're planting. Damn it, prioritize. I said prioritize harvesting. Why are you planting, you absolute idiots? Oh, you app. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. What are they doing? Oh, no, we got our first death. Lex Looper died of old age. Oh, no. Are you actually kidding? Why are you sat on your ass? Steph, what the hell, man? What the actual hell? Why is everyone thirsty and not getting a drink? Oh, because they're sleeping. They're sleeping. It's fine. They're sleeping again. Ah, oh, sleeping hungry beavers and sleeping thirsty beavers. Oh, what are they up to? That looks a bit... <laughs> that looks a little bit wrong from this angle, guys. All right, please just dig up these bloody carrots. I beg... Yes! Who are you? Steph! You legend! You legend! We've got one bit of path in. Has that extended the builder's range? Oh, not quite. Come on! <laughs> Two more carrots. Oh, they're literally just sat doing nothing. Why? You're not working. Oh, it's because our warehouse is full. Bollocks, right? Oh, no. <laughs> it's nearly, it's the dry season. We have cocked this. Big time. I mean, we're going to survive the dry season. Just, we could have survived so much better. So much better. Yeah, so let's build another storage. We'll build it over there. Oh, that was nearly good. It was nearly good. Already, it's now the dry season. It's going to last four days. You can see here, the drought has started. That's what happens now. You can see the water source is drying up. Thankfully, it stops at this level for a little bit. But as you can see up there, all the trees and green areas, they're all turning to brown. They're all dying. But no, as you can see there, we've now dried up. We have zero water left and everything is dying. Look, oh, it's horrible. All right, so we may as well pause the water pumps, turn everyone into builders. And look at this, we can't actually get these trees. So if we build a path up there, all right, so we plonk that there, put that on high priority. Well, second high priority, we want, we need the small warehouse first, because once this is built, then we can dig up all these carrots. And if we click on these, because we're in the dry season, you can see it's drying out and we'll die in two days. So we've only got two days to pick these. Thankfully, look, now we have a small warehouse. And we're just going to make this a carrot warehouse. Must have got some extra pair of hands. We're going to get the old berries going again. Because again, these are drying out. Although these will actually survive the dry season. They will last nine days. So that's good to know. All right, so I've paused those lumberjack flags. And now someone should come up here. All right, so you can see up here, Thomas Hook. He is running up to the lumberjack flag. He's going to cut down all these trees. You can see he's a little bit thirsty as well. Now, thankfully, we've still got six barrels of water. So hopefully we'll be okay. I think... We should survive. Um, but oh, look, finally, Frost thinks he just dug up the carrots that screwed me over. And if he comes back and does that carrot, I'll be very happy. Oh, you, you idiot. You stupid beaver. All right, and look, it's finally done. So our path is complete. And now, if we click on our district center, yes, the dam is now in range. So using our new path, William is carrying a log. And now he can build our dam. Unfortunately, it's a bit too late. But um, better late than never, I guess. And to be honest, it's actually quite good timing that this happened. So it could be worth, as we have two farmhouses now, turning this area into more food production. And then when we get across the dam, we can put our logging areas over here and we can actually plant new trees by using this. So this is a forester. It requires 60 science. Thankfully, 
because Varric's Hellstrom has been beavering away in there, inventing, uh, we have 189 science points. So I'm actually going to unlock that straight away. No, stop. Stop, Matt. Don't. Right, very close. Can you see, in order to create that, we need 10 logs, but we need 7 planks. Now, we haven't actually got any planks yet, because we need one of these, a lumber mill, and that turns logs into planks, but it requires power. 50 horsepower. I'm surprised that's not BP for beaver power. But okay, so if we come to power, we've got a variety of different ways we can create power. We've got a water wheel or just a power wheel. So I feel like to start, we'll go for a water wheel and we'll plan to put it down here. But I'm actually going to wait until our dam is complete. So let's just fast forward through the dry season. All right, and you can see now our carrots are dying. We weren't able to harvest them in time. So I'm actually going to reduce our working hours back down to 16. The reason I had them on night shifts was to try and get all the food we could out there. Thankfully, look, we got loads of carrots. We got 526. Water situation, not too bad. We got 150. I think we should survive. I think the reason we couldn't get any more carrots, actually, is because our storage is completely full. So, wow, that's a lot. We have a lot of carrots. Right, I'm going to select all of this area for planting carrots. Just so that the trees don't grow back. So we want this side to be our logging area. But a rise and shine, Mr. Path Sleeper. Chloe, time to wake up. You're thirsty. <laughs> right, so it's the end of the drought. And you can see the water is replenishing the land. So hopefully everything will turn back to green, including all the trees and plants. I think our dead carrots will remain dead. Yep, they just need to be replanted over. Uh, oh, and look at this. We've built our dam. So the water's not actually going downstream yet. There you go, until it hits a certain level. And now it's flying over and rejuvenating downstream. Awesome. Right. Back on track. So first off, let's select some of these trees to be chopped down. So all of those, please. We can see our lumberjacks aren't in range over there. So we're going to build another lumberjack flag there. So I'll put all of those in range. And then we may as well pause all of these ones because there's no trees to be cut down up here. Now we're going to start pumping water again. So we'll turn those back on. And I was just wondering where, where my beavers were, because there's no there's no beavers in these lumberjack flags. I was like, where are they? Go get fork, just died of old age. Oh no. Uh, so we're going to have to think about what we prioritize now. I want a builder still. We might have to... Oh yeah, okay, we can pause this farmhouse, because as you can see, nothing's growing at the moment. So as everything has been planted, we just got to wait for them to grow before we turn the farmhouses back on. All right, so annoyingly, we can't build a lumber mill there because, can you see the entrance? It's over the water, so it has to go one back. I'm not sure if I put it there, whether the power wheel will fit. Let's see. Oh, yes, it does. It does. Okay, so that's good. So we've got that. We'll path up to it. And then that should be pretty self-sufficient. I think we may as well do the wheel first and then the mill. And then we're going to up the builders. So that gets built pretty quick. All right, and then we're going to research the forester. So yes, we do want to unlock that for 60 points. Oh, and then our path, we actually have to build it on top of the dam. There you go. We've got safety railings now. That's much safer than before. <laughs> Yeah, but that's extended our building range way further, meaning we can put a forester about here once we have the planks going. So, so let's plan to build that there. And then whilst the tree's been destroyed, we will do a little path to it as well. Lovely, so the lumber mill is complete. We're just waiting on the water wheel, and then we can get to work making planks, meaning we'll then be able to build the forester tower. And then we can start planting all of this with trees. And last time I spoke about you can you can decide which sort of trees you want. So if we come down to here, plant trees and bushes. So you can see we can either plant birch, pine, or maple. Now these are birch trees. For each one that's cut down, you get one log. These are pine trees. For each one you cut down, you get two logs. And these are the maple trees. And each one of those you cut down, you get eight logs. However, as you can see in here, birch trees only take nine days to grow. Pines take 12, but maple take 24. So I think we'll have to monitor how we go. It might be nice to do a little area of maple. I think generally it will be pine and birch. But we'll see how we get on. We will see. All right, so now you can see we have a water wheel. This is powering the lumber mill. So Chloe is now working in there. And she'll be turning logs into planks. And then we can build all sorts of cool stuff with that. All right, so as we are having a few people die of old age, I think it's time to start thinking about the next generation. I think water, food, we're pretty good. So let's over here start building a breeding center. Now we've got eight planned. I may have gone overboard. But I think we'll be okay. Although I am going to prioritize the forester, assuming we have planks. Oh, look, our carrots are growing back. So we need more farmers. Although I've just seen my warehouses are completely full. So there's no point. We may as well just leave them to grow and leave them in the ground. Leave them for emergencies. In the meantime, let's prioritize these. Let's get some more beavers finally. All right, so as all the trees are like dead this end, we're going to destroy all of these. Because we don't need lumberjack flags anymore. So we'll do a bit of tidying up. And instead, we'll build some down here. All right, and Frostinks is our forester. So let's tell him, 
Plant a load of maples. We'll completely fill this with birch. Keep this first area all pine. And then thinking long term, all of that will be maple. Nice. Oh no, Steph has died of old age. Poor Steph, but look. You can see bobbing away in the breeding pods, a new generation. Now they're still quite a way off though. They're slowly getting there, but it might be a while. So we just got to keep an eye on our numbers, try and spread our jobs efficiently. Nice, you can see everyone beavering away, planting trees. I prioritized the birch just so we can get more wood quicker. Uh, but a couple of maples are in already. Oh god, oh god, <laughs> that's terrifying. So I've just clipped through the barrel to take a look at our baby beaver, and that's absolutely terrifying. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it won't be long before our new baby beavers will be joining our adult beavers, sleeping on the pavement, sleeping in a tree trunk, or just sleeping by his cursed child. <laughs> All right, so things are looking pretty good at the moment. We're just... We're sort of waiting for these guys to be born. We can't do too much in the meantime. We've got two guys in here pumping their logs. <laughs> I make that joke every time and I still laugh. You can see with the latest in log technology, they can suck water straight out of the river. And we can store it in these containers. I'll tell you what, actually, all of these are full. So I might look to expand that. So let's say water. Could we fit a water tank in there? No, we couldn't. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to put water tanks <laughs> along this edge, I reckon. I'll tell you what, i tell you what, we could even do it that way. So we'll do four more and we'll build a path along there as well. And I sort of want to get paths ready for the breeding area. Okay, nice. So this little beaver, Thomas Hook, who's 49. Bloody hell, Tom. You are an old little beaver. But uh, he's building our new water storage areas. Meanwhile, Frosting's over here. You can see he is our resident forester and he is planting birch trees. So we have lots of wood for future generations. All right, meanwhile, I might think about making some stairs. Do we actually have stairs unlocked? No, we don't. So wooden stairs require one log and four planks of wood, but we need 70 science to unlock them. Thankfully, we have 300 science, so I think that's probably where I'm going to go next. So yes, I will unlock that, and that will give us the option not only to get up to other areas like up here, but it will also allow us to build on top of some of our buildings. All right, so as this is the lumberjack area, I'm sort of thinking... Can we get up here? So however we decide to do this, we're going to need some platforms. So platforms are this one. They need 100 science. So we'll unlock that. All right, so what I've done, I've put a little platform across here. And I'm going to path on top of that as well. And that will link our sort of cities together. At the moment, it's a long way round. Now, this will be a nice little shortcut. So people can come back and get water and stuff a lot easier. And then I'm going to try and get up here. We're going to get onto the birch side first, I think. Now, just because there's a little step here, so it should cost a bit less. So if we look to steps there and steps there, we're going to need platforms to raise the steps up. So we're going to need that, that, and that. So that's quite a lot of wood. And then we're going to need steps there and steps there. And then we're going to have to path those bits up. Then we'll be up here. We can chop down a lot more trees. And then I do want to get over to here, the maples. I'm going to plan all this now. Or actually, I just realized stairs cost less and platforms so i may as well delete those then we'll just do steps up and steps down lovely right there we go uh, oh no i told you that thomas hook was old look he's just died of old age so that's the thing this beavers they don't last forever you can only work a beaver so hard before it just becomes old and decrepit and disgusting to look at um <laughs> but yeah so we're down to seven beavers which really is not ideal but uh, what can you do? What can you do? I think we just fast forward and we just wait for our eight babies to be born. If we click on these, you can see they're literally about to be born. The breeding progress bar is fully complete. <gasps> and they're born. They're born. <laughs> yes. All right. However, they are children currently. So we're going to have to wait for them to become adults before we can give them a job. We don't have child labor here. But you can see all the beavers are filling up the breeding pods with berries and water. Because that's how you make a beaver. And as you can see, our new baby beavers, they're well at home. So this is Omka, this is Zach, and oh, Travis. <laughs> Travis is being the dad, and he's come to sleep near them to offer them a bit of comfort. All right, so a way to increase life expectancy is to make your beavers happier. And a way we can do that is to build housing for them. You can see down here, it satisfies sleep and comfort. And if we were to click on a beaver and we come to comfort, you can see that increases life expectancy and makes them walk faster. Uh, and sleep, the effects of sleep are just none. Okay. Oh, nutrition one is quite a good one. 
Ah, oh, so nutrition also gives you life expectancy. So nutrition, because we've planted carrots here, you can see this satisfies hunger and nutrition one. There's different things we can plant. So as well as carrots, we've also got potato and wheat. So if we use this grill to cook potatoes, that satisfies nutrition too. And if we use the grist mill to turn wheat into flour and the bakery to make bread out of flour, that satisfies nutrition three. So plenty of ways to make your beavers live a bit longer. Yeah, but for the meantime, let's check how our beech saplings are doing. Uh, 35%. Ooh, 56%. Ooh, okay. So some of them are about halfway ready, which is very nice. Uh, because at the moment, we're sort of, we don't have anywhere to get wood from. We've just got these last remaining trees, and that's all of our wood gone. I'm also going to build a path up to this, because I think it's quite a simple route there. I think it's going to be more of a later game sort of thing. But if we go over to there and then plan our steps. So we've got steps down to here. And we've just got to weave around the trees. But now we have a path to these ruins. And these ruins, they contain scrap metal. And that's sort of the key to the game. Because with scrap metal, you can build this. A suspension bridge. I mean, what, what more could you want from a beaver building game than suspension bridges? But look how much... I feel like they did this on purpose. They knew that this is what I'd want. 3,200 science. But uh, I'm literally... I'm not going to stop playing this until we've unlocked that suspension bridge. All right, so it's another evening and we've had four more births. Look, we've got eight children. We've doubled our population. Oh, God. And we've got a ticking clock up here. So this, there's three days till the next dry season. Oh, dear. I sort of forgot about that. Uh... <laughs> Right, okay, so when the dry season happens, if you haven't seen this game before, all the water, so the river down the middle, will dry up. And then within a few hours, all the green land will turn to brown. So all your lovely trees that look like this will end up looking like this. Now, thankfully, we do have a dam in place. However, it only holds back the water for so long. Evaporation still means that the water here disappears and everything will go brown still. Um, but yeah, we need to, we need to really prepare because we've got a lot more mouths to feed now, and particularly water. I think we will prioritize building these water tanks. And I've paused my three lumberjacks. They were cussing down these birch trees over here. Now they're working the farm, trying to collect as much food as possible. Yeah, oh, and look at this. Michael Hart, age two, just wandering about, trying to learn from William and Travis Hyper. I think someone's going to be a farmer when they grow up. What about you, Mary? Do you want to be one as well? Oh, there's so many baby beavers. <laughs> it's so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, this this dry season could be hell. I think the longer the game goes on, the longer the dry seasons last. So let's fast forward. We're, we're literally just waiting for kids to become adults so we can give them jobs. There, if you look at Michael Hart here, he's only halfway. Yeah, I don't think they're going to become adults before the dry season. Now, one thing we can do, though, we can come to here. These are our working hours. They're currently 16 hours a day the beavers are working for, which works out as all the days of sunlight. But we can increase this, and you can see this little icon is moving. So we can increase that up to 24 hours. That means our beavers will never stop working. I think as the dry season is approaching, one and a half days to go, I think that's going to give us the most hope of surviving the entire dry season, as it should give us more water and more food to survive. Oh no, Super Bobich died of old age. Oh, I wonder how old he was. I'm sorry, Super Bobich. At least you don't have to live through another dry season. No, but this is a bit worrying. We've only got six beavers left. Now I'm going to pause the builder one. I think we're good. I think we still want to plant trees because that's really going to future proof our wood supply. But I should probably tell these guys to prioritize harvesting rather than planting because it's going to be dry season. All the, all the new plants, they're just going to die. What are you doing in that field, mate? <laughs> <laughs> That's um a bit gross. So you've made yourself hungry now. You've used up too much energy with whatever you're doing. Oh god, right, the drought has started. So you can see all of this has dried up. All the trees have gone brown. Uh, our dam is holding the water back though. So thankfully for the meantime, this whole area is green. Now I'm going to reduce the working hours. because I think the shorter they are, the less food and water gets used up. So we'll reduce those right back. We're going to stop pumping water. So we'll turn off both of them. We're going to open this farm. So now Chloe and Ashes are in there. And we want to collect as much food as possible. We've only got 220. I'm not entirely sure how long that will survive. Now, I also might pause the breeding pods because they're very close to being born. I'm not sure that's wise during the dry season. They might get born to absolute famine. 
So yeah, we've paused all of those. So we'll keep that going for now. And the next step will be turning these on so we can start chopping down our new wood. Because look, the birch trees have grown. But for now, main priority, we've got to survive the dry season. All right, so it's the first night of the dry season. The beavers don't seem too upset. They're just doing their usual routine of sleeping any and everywhere. And looking at our water supply, not too bad. We got two days of dry season left, so I think we're halfway through. And I think we've got more than half the water left, so we should be good. Right, right, big news, guys. Very big news. Look at the bottom left. DeLucas, Omkar, Michael, and Zach have all grown up, which means we have four unemployed beavers. <gasps> so we can give them jobs. Right, first things first, our farms are full of people. I don't want to pump the water. I want to keep everything green. And to be honest, I think food looks okay. I think we're going to be all right for food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on these lumberjack flags. So Zach's gone in that one. DeLucas is in that one. And Michael Hart is in this one. And then I'm going to turn on the lumber mill. And then I'm going to realize you need power to work the lumber mill, Matt. And obviously this water is not running. And until the water runs, there will be no power because the wheel cannot spin. So we'll scrap that and we'll instead make Omkar pick some berries. Are you sure you guys are all employed? They seem to be doing a whole lot of nothing, if you ask me. Oh, it's because I turned the working hours down. I forgot about that. So yeah, although everyone's employed, they clocked off about six hours ago. All right, so we're on the final day of the dry season. Uh, we're back in working hours now, so we can go keep an eye on everyone. We've got four farmers in here, all digging up carrots, looking good. There's Omkur, he's picking berries. He's getting his face right in there. He really wants to see which berries are the ones that need picking. And then he puts them in a box and takes them back to the flag. And berries are important. They don't only provide a source of food, but our breeding pods, they require water and berries to be able to create life. Just like in the real world. And we've just had the notification that four more of our beavers have grown up, which means we've got four more unemployed beavers. Once the dry season is over, we're going to open up all of our industry again, and we're feeling good. I'm actually going to unpause all of these. There you go, so you can see beavers are now bringing them water and berries. Right, the drought has ended. If we look up here, you can see water is returning. And it's replenishing the area. You see, as it goes, there's life coming back to the ground, coming back to the trees. So amazingly, our dam worked. As long as we don't turn our pumps on, we can keep all of this green. Yeah, but for now, it's time to turn the pumps back on. So Yannick Becker's in that one. marrow has gone in that one. Right, so you can see water is now entering our area. It's flowing down here. I think as soon as it tops the dam, so our dam's got a little spillway there. As soon as the level's high enough and it comes down there, Things should be moving and we should have power. There you go. So the wheel is turning, which means I'm pretty sure water is about to come down there. There it is. I knew it was coming eventually. Cool, right. And we've got a load more births as well. Blimey, it is all kicking off. Uh, but sadly, if you look in here, Frost stinks. He's died of old age. I think we need a moment to remember Frost stinks. He used to carry barrels pick berries, drop off logs, carry logs. Yep, he did it all. He did it all. All right, so you can see all the new beavers that were born. They're all just, <laughs> they literally just fell out of their pods and are just passed out on the floor. No, they're sleeping, they're sleeping. But yeah, right, things, things are looking good for a change. The only trouble now is we don't have anyone on the builders. Can you see our district center is zero out of four? So one of these farmers, Travis, you are now a builder and I'm gonna make you build this bridge first. You're waiting on planks. I'm a little bit worried about the water situation, if I'm honest. These guys don't seem to be playing with their logs very much. I think that's because they're transporting their own water to the tanks. What it might be worth doing, I remember in labor, you can build this, a hauling post. And haulers assist workers within a district in carrying goods. So if I were to build that, maybe there. And then we can get people that will actually move this water for us. Without Yannick and Maru having to leave their stations. Uh, and also, I've just realized the bloody working hours are still 10 hours a day. So let's increase that. I thought everyone was stood around doing nothing. I do wonder, should I think about making a barrack for them? So they got a bed to sleep in. They are beavers, though. Yeah, like animals sleep outside all the time, don't they? Just can't help but feel a bit guilty, that's all. All right, there's been two more births. I think we're about to witness a birth. There you go. Did you see that? That was a birth. That's how it happens in the animal world. Oh. <laughs> and he's just, he's completely knocked out. hes <laughs> He wasn't done sleeping. He wasn't ready to be born yet. But uh, who, who is that? It's a, 
Oh, Joe the Smite. Yes, yes, that makes perfect sense. He's one of my Twitch mods, and that perfectly describes his capabilities. <laughs> oh, look, there's another birth. See, that's how you're meant to be born, Joe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, food situation seems to be good, so I'm going to prioritize these back to planting. Oh, look, our platform's starting to be built. Very exciting. Once that's done, we can then do our steps up to here and all over here. Oh, exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, so water situation, really not good. I might actually build another water pump because we have a lot more mouths to feed now. So if we plonk that one there, then we should probably prioritize that, to be honest, rather than our bridge. So water pump first and then hauling post second. Oh, look at this. All of our birch trees are now fully grown. So they can all be lumbered. Most of the pines are sort of... They're getting there. They're junior, junior sized trees, I like to call them. And the same with the maples. All right, so no one is working in the water pump at the moment. So I'm going to fire someone as a builder. And yet, Michael Hart, you are now destined to pump your wood for the rest of your life. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the hauling post, we're just waiting on planks. We got two out of ten, we need more. How's the plank situation going? It's not going too well, I don't think. Yes, yeah, so that's the downside. The planks are really slow, uh, so we really need this to be built. It won't take too long. We only need four more planks. But uh, at least once it is built, then the beavers can actually do their job, because we'll have a separate job of the actual haulers. Oh no, the late great Ashes has died of old age. Oh, Ashes, we had good times, but um, sorry, it's time to move. Look, we got a new generation, four new births. We've now got 12 adults and 12 children. And I think for now, I might pause these beavers. I don't think we want them yet. I might leave these four going. We may as well just let that build up. But when it gets close to being completed like these are, I think we'll hit pause. Just because I'm a little bit scared. The water's going down pretty quick. I don't think we want any more yet. Until we got the hauling post. Yes, we have the hauling post. Amazing. Oh, look, and it's full of workers. EGB, Jalkin, Rin. Oh, look, so this is what the actual haulers look like. So this is Breezy Bro. He's a six-year-old hauler. Uh, he's got a little backpack on. Look, ready? He's stocked up with logs. And look at him. He's off. He's away. So it looks like a jetpack, that. I can imagine him just being like... <laughs> See ya. But yeah, so hopefully the haulers will really help. Um, I might also look to create another farm because i know we're not actually making the most out of this area so i think if we build another farmhouse maybe we'll shove that there then we should be able to collect some more food and therefore we can support more beavers oh look ryan reynolds and joe the smiter they've grown up i can't believe only a few minutes ago we were <laughs> we were slating them for their laziness all right let's unpause these breeding pods and get things moving right we'll make joe and ryan they're both going to be builders because we want to prioritize the farmhouse and then it's about time we head up here look we got one we got one set of stairs going but we want everything else really there you go the water is slowly filling up so i think with our haulers we fixed the logistical issues with transporting resources about and it also looks like we're building this real quick this staircase nice yeah look at this we are nearly ready and then I'm going to select all the trees up there to be cut. So if we come to this mark tree cutting area, we can say all of these trees, chop them down. We don't want them. And I'm also going to put these up for when we get over there. It will be a while, obviously. Look, they are beavering away, building the staircase. Who is that? Ryan Reynolds. I am proud of you. Look at that. Such a multi-talented man. All right, so I'm still sort of waiting for some unemployed beavers. I think our berry situation's got quite low, so I'm going to put someone back on the berries maybe one of the haulers and i feel like it's probably worth upping the food All right and i'm gonna up here build another lumberjack flag just so that once this staircase is complete we can then chop down these trees easier so i think having access to more trees will really help us oh no i've just noticed william died of old age oh i'm so sorry william i tell you what that sort of marks a sign i might start thinking about extending my beavers lives because all it's going to take is a barrack or two so i don't see why i shouldn't just do that if we plop a barrack there and another one there. That's pretty good. Maybe even a third there. Proper. That should cover everyone. That would be space for 30 beavers. Although I do have 31 technically. 
<laughs> I'm sure it won't be long till another one dies. <laughs> All right, here you go. Up here, Omka is going to head up here and he's going to be a lumberjack. And he's going to start clearing this out because I really want to get my path in so that we can build these staircases and get to the maple trees. So yeah, he's actually being sensible. Good work, Omka. He's chopping down this birch tree, which is well in the way. Sod it. I'm extending working hours until he cuts it down. <laughs> go on, it's only, it's only an hour or two over time. Yes, good work. All right, so now if we go to paths, we can build over that. We can connect this up almost. Don't think there's a way through until they're chopped down. But uh, we're a lot closer. We are a lot closer. And we're currently 1.9 days away from the next drought. So we're currently stockpiling. You can see we've got a load of beavers farming carrots. We've got young Kimberly here. He's just 12, but he's already carrying boxes of carrots about. Oh, and if we look down here, we've got two lumberjacks cutting down our first ever maples. And look at this. You can see we get eight logs for every single maple tree we cut down. And it's quite impressive that the log goes from massive on the ground to a little bit smaller when he's on his shoulder. The power of beaver engineering. Anyway, looking down here, we've had a load of our beaver children grow up. But really, really sad news, guys. We've got our first death already. Travis Hyper has died of old age. I am very sorry, but you you really did contribute to the colony, so you will not be forgotten, sir. All right, anyway, we need to we need to get cracking. We've got three unemployed beavers, as you can see here. So I'm going to come to the farmhouse, and we're going to up the number of farmers. Same for this one. So that should mean we dig up carrots a bit quicker. Uh, also looks like we could use a bit more water. So we've got three beavers pumping their logs within these buildings, but the trouble is our our beavers are carrying water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this. Prioritize building by haulers for all three of these. And then if we come over to our hauling post, I'm going to add another hauler. So now EGB, Jalcon, and Aaron Mackey, they're all going to prioritize collecting water. Because that's what we need for the dry season. In case this river dries up, we need to store lots of water. And looking at our tank so far, we've got four, nearly five completely full. But the other five, nowhere near. So we definitely need to do some more collecting of water. Here you can see you can see our haulers. They've got barrels of water on the back. So they'll just be taking the water from the pumps to the storage. Right, and you can see over here, we've got we've got housing for our beavers now. So they should be a bit more happier. That is fantastic. You can see we've had some new births as well. Uh, the beavers, when they're born, they sort of just come out and sleep. Yeah, but it is nighttime now, so I guess that's fair. And look, there's a little baby sleeping. Who's that? That is Fudderpud. Fudderpud or Fudderpud? I don't know. All I do know is you're one cute ass beaver. Right, it's another morning and it seems once again we've had another death. Virex Hellstrom, he died of old age. He did not make it through the night. Uh, but Jordan Miller, Matt Nichols, Piranity and Blue Fire Wolf, they've all grown up. Which means we've got a load of unemployed beavers. So I'm going to put them in the hauling post. So let's up that. And then I'm also going to come up here. So this increases the beaver's working hours. So as it's the last day before the dry season, we're going to put that up to 24 to really try and stockpile our water. Now in the meantime, we're going to sort of plan ahead. So while they're all doing that, we're going to fast forward. Now let's sort of plan out what we want to do next. Oh, but look at this. It's, it's the dry season. The drought has started. It's going to last four days. And thankfully, we did that really well and that we completely filled our water storage. So as you can see here, the water has stopped. So I'm going to pause these three water pumps. Now, I'm also going to pause this lumberjack. And what I've done here, so basically, this water is keeping everything green here. Because it's at the same level, the area of effect is pretty wide all the way up to there. If we were to keep pumping the water, this would go down. And then eventually the water would be used up, so all this green would go brown. Like up here. So because the river has dried up up here, all these trees have now died. They'll be okay once they get replenished with water. But if I were to leave this lumberjack flag going, and the beavers carry on cutting down these trees, then uh, they'd just be stumps. They wouldn't ever grow back. So it's important to only cut down trees when they're green if you want them to grow back. Uh, thankfully, we've still got a load of birch down here that we can cut. So that's all good. We can keep collecting wood. Uh, right. In the meantime, as we were saying, we need to start planning ahead. I want to go for the scrap metal, I think. Right. And in order to do that, we're going to need 250 science points for a scavenger flag. And then 300 science points for the shredder. But that also needs a gear. And we haven't unlocked gears yet. So gears are that which need 100 science points. But it also needs 120 power. And I think this water wheel only produces... Oh, it produces 180. Okay, so we could put a gear workshop. If we unlock that. So yes, we'll unlock that for 100 science. So we'll plug that there. And as you can see there, it shares power with adjacent buildings. Because they're all connected, I don't think... 
I'll need to play with any shafts. Now, now, children, no laughing. Essentially, how the shafts work is when this is spinning. Obviously, this doesn't spin anymore because the river is not flowing. But when this spins, you can see it's connected in there. And that provides power to the building. If I wanted to get power up there... Oh, look, it's moving again. Yeah, you can see that spins around, produces power, causes the lumber mill's saw to turn. Yeah, but if we wanted to extend power, we'd have to use these. So they're like different sorts of shafts. So I could like stick one in there. Like you can see how it's connected with the gear and then just do like an arm over to this or something. But I think because they're all connected, that should just be good as it is. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need, I'm going to need quite a bit of science. So this is our inventor's hut and we're producing three science every however long. Now I think we could do with producing more. So let's come to science and let's build another one or maybe another two even. So I think we'll put two there and then we'll have two more scientists because we've got a lot of people now. So it should be fine. Meanwhile, as we're in the dry season, do I pause these tanks? The water situation, 220. I think we need to keep an eye on that, definitely. Now I'm going to up the builders. So we got Maru and Onka. They're joining Ryan Reynolds and Joe the Smiter as our builders. Uh, but, oh, look. Everyone's sleeping. And they literally sleep anywhere. On paths, in the forest, in the fields, in the tree stumps. Yeah, but most people, they sleep in the actual housing. There should only be three homeless beavers, <laughs> according to this. Um, so I don't know why everyone's chosen. Oh, I know why they've chosen, because I've I've kept 24-hour work hours on. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to reduce that to 12 hours. So that makes our beavers use less water and food. Which should mean they don't just collapse from exhaustion. Uh, but they also use less materials, meaning we should survive the dry season a bit easier. Oops. Sorry about that, beavers. <laughs> Alright, so that's sorted. They're getting sorted. That'll get us more science. And then we'll plan up here to start looking at our metal so we're gonna want the scavenger flag so we'll shove that right next to it maybe even two of them why not and oh no chloe has died of old age oh chloe look <laughs> there she is she was age 53 i love that the other beavers are just like yep yeah, carry on <laughs> oh and she's she's dissolved into the path the circle of life <laughs> oh look if you click on a path it shows you the popular beaver song country roads Take me home to the lodge. I belong. <laughs> Ew, that was horrible. How's our water looking? It's not looking the best, but it still says we're over 200. So I'm not going to panic yet. Oh, we've just had a load of new births. So you should see they'll run out and then they'll just collapse somewhere. Yep. <laughs> so random. So random. Right, we've now got six homeless beavers, so it's potentially worth making another barrack. Now, as we found out last time, if the beavers have somewhere to stay, their life expectancy increases by 20%. So uh, it, it is well worth doing, I think. I think we'll plonk that one right there, right in the corner. There is a stump in the way, but I think I can just path over that. Boosh. Lovely. All right, here we go. We've got two new scientists. Huck Bear 424. Look at the science he's producing. So much speed. And Montana Williams also beavering away in there. Uh, although, oh, shit. All right, let's pause a second because water is down to 83. We've still got 1.4 days left. I don't know how long that is on the bar of the breeding progress, but I'm going to pause these because we don't want four new mouths to feed. Not yet. Uh, these other ones, I'll leave them going because their bar's quite way off. Oh, no. No, I'm going to pause them, actually, because I just remembered they, they do actually use up water and berries. So if I pause them, that will make sure they're not being used. Because, yeah, look in our water tanks. They are empty as anything. But look how many beavers we have now. This is awesome. This is so cool. Oh, and... <gasps> Oh, scrap metal scavenger flag. We actually have a worker. Sonolko. Where, where is Sonolko? Let's click. He's back here. Apparently, he works at the scavenger flag. But, oh, no. Okay, okay. So, you, you can see this little dot here. That's when the working day finishes. And this arrow, that's where we are on the day. So, the working day starts in the morning, but it finishes then. So, he was, he was just doing his own thing. He wasn't meant to be working. It's fine. Uh, but he's just grown up looking down here. So, that's his first job. Out of school. Collecting scrap metal. <laughs> nice. All right, so we've just fast forwarded through another night. You can see all of our beavers leaving their barracks now. There's so many. This is so cool. Uh, I am very worried about the water situation, though. You're on about 30. You've got a whole day to last. I'm wondering if it's worth turning a pump or two on. I don't really know. Look at this. Who's that? Lagomorph. He's literally just sat on his ass. But uh, to be fair, it's not his fault. 
So the guy over here, he's at... That's Felix. He's uh, he's also sat on his ass, and that's because we've got no power. So these guys literally can't do anything. Uh, I could pause them and put them... Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause both of these and put them on a different job. So one is now unemployed. So can we make you... We'll make you a hauler. There you go, Legamoth. You're now a hauler. Oh, God. And also, our storage is full. We're going to have to build another storage. Oh, man, look at me. Logs we got stacked under there. Oh, no, the logs are full now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to... Because I want to store more logs, definitely. So we'll come down to here, storage. And we'll build another industrial log pile. But we'll rotate it that way. And then we'll come into here, paths and structures. And we'll build steps up to it. So now we've doubled our storage there. And then I think we'll just put another small warehouse. Maybe just there. That looks... That fits pretty well. All right, so you can see we're now completely out of water. But it's only 0.3 days till the end of the drought. So the rain will come, do not worry. In fact, I feel like that's probably a good time to turn these back on. So water pumps away. And I may as well turn these on as well. The gear workshop and the lumber mill. Ready for when the rain comes again. Yeah, I'm also going to drop the haulers down uh, just to fill all those jobs. So Aramaki in there. Matt Nichols in there. EGB, Jalcon and Peronity. Sweet. We're all good. We've got one unemployed beaver. So we're going to gonna make you a hauler, Jordan. All right, and as it's very nearly the wet season, we will up the working hours back up to 16. That's standard for beavers. That's like, For humans, it sounds like quite a lot. But for beavers, that's nothing. I'm actually going pretty easy on them. All right, so it's a new morning. The sun is rising. And look at all of our beavers, even their barracks. It's a beautiful sight. All bustling away, ready to get to work. Now, they're actually all really thirsty. But I think that'll be okay. I think as soon as... These guys start pumping their logs. Yeah, look at that. EGB is a pro at pumping his log. These guys were still waiting for the water to come. So if we head over here, you can see the water is gradually flowing down. If we speed up, you can see it's reviving the trees. Lovely. Yeah, but the wheels won't start spinning until the water flows over the dam. There we go. Lovely jubbly. We are back in business, people. I'm going to unpause this lumberjack flag. So Dragon Eye's gone up there. Oh, and it's his first job. He's literally, he's only six. He's already a lumberjack. All right, so you can see they're stacking logs up here now. We've got our steps built. So we're going to have so many logs, which means we should probably start building some stuff. So this storage is filling up so quick. I might have to do another one. So let's do one there and we'll do a path around the back of it like that. And then we could potentially go up. We could multi-story one of them maybe but uh, hopefully that'll do that'll do oh we need to we need to unpause our next generation as well i forgot about those all right there you go breeding pods you can see the beavers are bringing water and berries over because that is how you create life for this colony all right over here you can see look felix is beavering away collecting scrap metal this ruins it has has about 20 scrap metal in it. So there's a lot of scrap metal there. So you can see up here in our resources, we've got over 50 scrap metal. So I think, assuming we've got the technology, we can afford a shredder. We need 10 more science because that costs 300 science points. Uh, we're going to unlock the shredder now because we've got 311 science points. We can afford that. Yes. And whoa, look at it. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, hang on. So how much power does it need? 250. That's like two water wheels. But I tell you what, I've got I got a bit of a plan up my sleeve. Because I don't really want to try and fit two water wheels in there. I'm sort of saving up for this, the engine, which will produce 200 HP. That should be BP. I, I'm standing by that comment. That should not be HP. It should be beaver power. Uh, but that requires 20 logs, 25 gears, and 20 sheets of metal. So I was sort of thinking maybe I could build a load of power wheels which produce 50 each oh god so i'd need a crap ton of those or just two now nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do water wheels i'm gonna have to do water wheels can i stack these in a line so i don't know how this works i don't even know how to fit these in all right I'll tell you what what if we put one there and one there and then we'll put our shredder building there we'll build our path to it lovely we'll spin around and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put... This is going to please a lot of people. Yeah, but we're going to put some shafts in. <laughs> so we've got a bendy shaft. So that goes there. And then we've got a straight shaft. So that goes there. So that will provide power to our shredder. So let's get that going. We'll prioritize that as it's the furthest one away. All right, we've got seven unemployed beavers. Blimey, what's going on? Right, haulers. Everyone can be haulers. Thankfully, there will be loads of jobs once this is open. Well, one job, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, and up here... I've noticed we've cut down the trees so we can extend our path. So if we build our path like that, 
And that should extend this range. Oh, it doesn't quite extend the range. I want to cut down these maple trees because that's a lot of logs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build some more lumberjack flags up here. So if we come down to wood, we can go into lumberjack flag. And we can build one of those there. And is that in range to be built? Yes, it is. That goes all the way up there. Nice. All right, so Little Brown, our forester, I've told him to plant maple trees now. Because I feel like we've got enough wood from the birch. And the pines are going to grow back. So if we get all these planted, then we can go back to these ones. Because as we already know, the maples, although they take longer to grow, you get so many more logs out of them. All right, and look at this. Look. So our power wheels are done. You can see how the shafts work now. We've got some nice gearage going on. Surprisingly, you don't actually need gears from the gear workshop to be able to create the power shafts. Very surprising. Uh, but anyway, how far along is that? So we're filling it up with planks. We need a load of scrap metal. Why is there no scrap metal getting to it? We've got so much scrap metal. Is that because it's so far? Oh, there you go. They're filling it up now. Right, so that'll be built in no time. This is going really well. I'm thinking, though, it might be time to start increasing our water supply because i know the next dry season is going to be even longer and potentially we're going to have even more beavers as well so if you we come down to water as we've got the science maybe we should do that which is a large water tank so that stores 300 water compared to just the 30 for the small water tank it does cost a lot more to build 30 planks and 20 gears but uh space could be getting a bit tricky so i'm gonna do that so we'll unlock that yes please and oh look at this big boy <laughs> what a beast. And it fits in there almost perfectly. Oh god, we've had so many new births. So many new births. Right, and we're actually in the point of the game where there's nearly more beavers than there are top tier patrons. So some of you, like this little fella here annoyingly, RCE is secretly an architect. Uh, although they died, they have been reborn as a new beaver. So congrats, I guess. <laughs> you bastard. Uh, meanwhile, storage is full again. Uh, that's because we've got so much food. we got all the food. So let's have a look at storage. Is it worth doing a large warehouse? That's 80 planks. We don't really have the capacity to make that many planks. We currently have one. <laughs> and I know that this thing takes 30 planks. This one, 50, but it's nearly complete, actually. Oh, it's very nearly complete. Uh, but also the gears take planks to make gears. We also don't have enough science points to build the large warehouse anyway. So I think we will just build a small warehouse. And I think we might just build it on there. And you might be asking, why have you built it on there? You can't get up there. Well, yes, we do need to build stairs up. You're quite right. So we'll do that. And then we'll do our path around. And then we have to do a path from there. Because look, we need handrails on top for it to be safe. All right, nice. And for the first time, it looks like we're actually farming all of our carrots before the previous ones start growing again which is particularly surprising considering Mondu Calera is sat on their ass doing nothing yeah, but that's not their fault to be fair oh and look actually the carrots up here they are growing back again so we could actually squeeze in another farm if we want to farm all of these carrots all right so looking up here by our maple trees no one has a job here so what I might do I might pause one of these so OC deer you're now fired. But now you work up here, OC Dick. And he's already straight to work chopping down the maple tree. That's eight logs for each one. I'm actually going to prioritize that by haulers as well. Uh, just so that he doesn't have to take the logs away. Because I do want him to log all this. And I'll tell you what, I feel like we could use another forester. Maybe in there we could put another forester. Because what the forester does, that allows you to plant all of these trees. I think all of these stumps, they're, they're just a leftover. They don't actually turn into a new tree. Unless they get planted on. So you can see with the massive area we've got. We're never actually going to keep up. Alright and look at this. Our shredder is built. Look at that. That is decent. So Adam Bond works in here. And he turns two scrap metal into one metal block. That is lovely. Because once we have the metal block. We can then create an engine. Which is unique to this faction. So that's very cool. But yeah, with our foresters, I'm going to tell them to plant up here. Yeah, so Dragoneye is the lumberjack up here, and he has just gone to town destroying that. So let's come into this, plant trees and bushes. And we can say replant all this, and we're going to say do it with maple. Lovely. So logs are flying, water's flying. Is our big tank built yet? No, I'm going to, I might prioritize that next, actually. So we're waiting on gears and planks. I thought that might be the case. I feel like that's what I'm going to use my engine for. I'm going to prioritize making more planks and more gears because Aaron Mackie and Matt Nichols they're, they're doing the best but it's quite a long process we could do with more of those 
Oh, wow, we've got we got 10 haulers in here. Look at all these guys. Butterpud, Bongo, Flutternutter. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't fit the R in your name. I did try. <laughs> Alright, so our farmers again are doing nothing. And that's because the storage is full. So we really need these stairs complete. I've just put them on high priority. But once they're done, we can get to this small warehouse. Yeah, which should just provide a bit more storage. Everything needs planks. I'll tell you what, I might pause gears for the time being. Do we need gears for anything? I'm guessing we do, because he's producing them and they're not being stored. Oh god, and it's three days until the next dry season. Water's still not great. I really need to prioritise this water tank. That's what we need the gears for. Okay, so yeah, definitely don't pause the gears. Oh look, a load of our generation two have grown up. Nice, so we've got seven unemployed beavers. We've got too many beavers. Okay, I'm actually going to pause these. I feel like it's getting a bit out of control. Because no one has died of old age in ages. Tell you what I might do as well. I might build another water pump. The question is, where where will that fit? Oh, look. One fits in there. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do that. And we'll do a little path to that as well. All right, so that's another job. Samuel Valdez. Good work. He'll be the next beaver to get paid to pump his log. Yeah, but yeah, so for this dry season, I think food is going to be... Is there like... Are there any graphs where I can see like what I'm making and... No, not really. That would be useful if you could see, like, your incomings and outgoings. Oh, 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 what's happened here? Some of my graphics have disappeared. All right, this is an early alpha, and thankfully they've got this down here. A little bug reporter. All right, unfortunately we didn't build our big water tank in time. We couldn't get enough gears, and it's the dry season. You can see up here, the river is drying up once again. So I'm going to quickly pause all of these water pumps, and then we're a little bit screwed for now. Just a little bit. I am actually going to plant some more berries though, as we got two foresters. I'm going to say plant bushes, and we're going to say all of this needs to be planted berries. So all these grey ones, they will be planted, because they don't exist yet. So that's good. And you know what? This little gap here, we'll make them berries as well. Try and maximise our green area. Right, I am very concerned we don't have enough water. 260 to try and last 52 beavers. We got 13 unemployed beavers. We need more jobs. We got a lot of wood though. So perhaps we can just start prepping for the future. Oh, I've really, I feel like I've cocked this up. I've got too many beavers. Damn you beavers. Now the good news is we pretty much got the resources to build an engine. Now gears could be an issue though. We are really not creating gears very fast. A few more hours and we'll have the science points to unlock the engine. So we'll do that. And then I think this area here, this like plateau, this will be our sort of industrial area. I've right, just done a load more houses just because we got loads of logs. Like look at all those logs. We've got we've got to use them up, surely. So a load of barracks there. That's all good. That will house our beavers. And as we're lacking jobs, I might build a builder flag or two. Oh no, I can't because that requires 100 science. We could do another. Yeah, let's do another hauling post. And we'll plonk that there. So we may not have builders, but at least we'll have haulers. But, uh, but look, there's still so many homeless beavers. We've got 12 homeless beavers. Maybe I should prioritize the barracks. I just don't know. I just don't know. Look at them all sleeping. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's you. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Our oh, water. It's looking like half full. We're only a quarter of the way through the dry season. I feel like there could be a culling about to happen. Let's turn the working hours way down. Maybe just two hours a day. Because I'm pretty sure. I'm not I'm not actually 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure the beavers drink less water if they're working less. But I could, could be completely wrong there if I'm honest. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to start work on the mega dam. If we build a dam in front of that, that'll be loads of water. And we can probably keep that pumping. But it's going to require a lot of platforms and things. I mean, or we could, we could just dam down here. Make this our next green area. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Maybe we should do that. Expanding down. All right, yeah, I'm going to get to work. While all that's sort of going on, we'll keep it fast forwarding and just hope that the water lasts. <laughs> I was going down so quick. Now, but I'm going to plan how to get down here. So we're going to need platforms to build our steps on. So one there and one there. Okay, that's good. And then stairs. Oh, one up there, one there, one up there, and one there. And then we can just path between those, and then we can just path all the way down to there. And then we've just got to decide where does the dam go. I sort of think we may as well make the most of this. Maybe do it across that bit. So if we do our path to there for now. And oh god, look at the water. We're only halfway through. Oh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to turn on a pump. Failure urn. You're going to pump some water and I really hope that doesn't cock everything up. Actually, we've got no working hours. <laughs> Maybe I should opt them. Do they? I don't know. I don't know how they work. I don't know how they work. Tell you what then, we'll turn all of them on, particularly if they're only going to work for three hours. 
And let's just hope the water lasts three hours. I don't want it to go brown, really. Now, nah, sod it. I don't I want my beavers to die. We're going we're gonna to up the working hours to 16. So they're pumping the water. Water's going back up. No beavers will die on my watch. All right, that's good. That's good. I think, I think we're fine. I think we're actually fine. There's a lot of thirsty beavers about. Because we're pumping water, it's alright. You can actually see the level going down. Look, can you see that slowly going down? Nice, that's really cool actually. So you can visually see how much water is left. Cool, and we've actually made it. That's the end. That is the end. That is our final evening. Somehow we survived the dry season. And the water is going to flow as soon as the sun rises. There you go, drought ended. Here it comes, regenerating the land. I never get old of that. It's like just really cool to watch. <laughs> like, ah... Oh. Right, meanwhile, Mega Dam project. What do we need for the Mega Dam? Oh, look, we got enough science points. Hang on, before we do the Mega Dam, let's research our engine. Yes, please. And then we're going to get one of these built up here. So we're going to have engine up that end because I'm not sure if there's like pollution or anything. So we have to see. And then that creates power. So then out the back of that, we're going to have a lumber mill or two and a few gear workshops as well. So this is our proper industrial mining area. And we'll add more power if we need it. How much does that produce? 200. So the lumber mills are 50 each. And they're 120. So yeah, we're going to need we're gonna need another engine. So another engine in there. Beautiful. And then we'll just do paths out the back. So that they're all connected. So meanwhile, down here with the water flowing. I don't know how high this water gets. Oh, I guess actually the water will raise once we build the dam, won't it? Yeah. Okay, so for the dam then, we come into landscaping. We've got all different types of things. So we're going to we're gonna do the levee to start. So we need 120 science. We need 20 more science. Right. Come on, scientists. Where are you? Hawk Bear, Montana Williams, Blue Fire Wolf. Come on, guys. Get to work. Get me that science. Right, there we go. So we can unlock the levee. Yes, please. And essentially, these completely block the water. So if we do that, that, that that so that's almost a full-on dam and then the top one that wants to be this a dam piece and you can see these have holes in the top so that allows the water to come out if i if i put a levee there then it means all of this area back here would flood um we, we don't want that we don't want that but uh, yeah that's the next project is that in range is the question they've already built the stairs down nice work beavers uh, yes it should be a range i actually built a dam in range <laughs> I've never done that before. And it also means we can select these trees to be cut down, I think. So we'll highlight all of you because these are now in range, which is good. And to be honest, we should probably do these trees over here as well. All right, so you can see our barracks are now complete. We've got homes for 70 beavers. We've only got 52 at the moment, so some of them are a bit empty. Uh, so maybe we'll turn back on the breeding pods because at some point we're going to have some death from old age. But <gasps> look, it's complete. That's going to store so much water. Excellent. That could really help us. We just have to keep an eye on the old water pumps and make sure we actually have enough. But that is good. All right, so the lumber mills are complete. That's pretty cool. They're working on the gear workshops. How are the engines coming along? We got logs, we got metal blocks. We're just waiting on gears. Yeah, I feel like everything needs gears at the moment. I also had an epiphany whilst reading a YouTube comment that told me exactly what to do. That maybe we should build like a dam here with an adjustable lock. And therefore, all of this will fill with water, which means there's a lot more water stored here. And then if we put an adjustable lock on it, then we can slowly let water through throughout the dry season, which could mean we can carry on pumping all the time. Uh, but if worse comes to worse, I'm pretty sure we can just pump down here. We'll never use up all the water down here. But uh, yeah, things are looking good. The only other thing I need to be wary of, our sort of aim of the game, is to create this, the 6x1 suspension bridge. We need 3,200 science. Now at the moment, you can see we've got two unemployed beavers. So I'm going to go ahead and build some more science centers. Is that what they're called? Science. Inventor huts. Bang, one there and one there. Nice. Two more inventor huts. So that should double our science output. Um, and I'm probably just going to try and squeeze in more. Because we got we got so many haulers. Like, why not just make them scientists? And also looking down here, we got four new births. And uh, thankfully, since last time, we've got a few new patrons. So Sevens, Dean Larson, Bebop Turtle, <laughs> and Duncan Brown. Uh, you've all picked a brilliant time to be born because things are actually looking up for a change. All right, so yes, meanwhile, I'm going to think about building more science. I might also, could also get these trees dug up. Oh, they're actually highlighted. We just need a lumberjack flag. Okay, we'll build a lumberjack flag. I think we'll plonk it in there. Oh my god, look at all these, look at all these little haulers. Look at them all, they're all grabbing scrap metal. Very nice, I'll tell you what, we do actually, where's our builders? We got four builders. Omkar, Mario, Ryan Reynolds, Dre the Smiter, 
They're all building. I think they're working on these engines at the moment. Yeah, we just, we need gears. So this will be the first one. Once that's complete, then hopefully some of these will get moving. And then we can make more gears. It's the circle of life. Because at the moment, our only gear workshop is this one. Which uh, Matt Nichols is furiously gearing away. All right, just notice as well, our forester thing. He can only plant trees down here. You can't actually guess up there. I've, can you see I've marked all of these to be cut? Uh, they're actually out of range. I'm going to have to build another forester hut as well. So if we put that there, then that should cover everything. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So we've currently got maples marked out for there. I might do the same down here. We'll just maple it up. And as we seem to have quite a lot of trees growing down here, I'm thinking maybe we add another lumberjack flag. We've still got two unemployed beavers. Yeah, so what I might do, I might prioritize some of these ones that create jobs, like the inventor's hut. So I've put that on high priority over here. So now we should see some beavers come running over. Are you come, Are you going to come build, Duncan Brown? No, he's, he's buggering off. Okay. <laughs> here we go, look. Who's this? Ryan Reynolds. He's 44 years old. But he is building. And he's joined by Joe the Smiter, Omkart. 53 on car that's pretty well going if you ask me yeah it does make me a little bit concerned that we might see some deaths from old age soon but like nice that's getting built so i'm going to prioritize the next one because i think the sooner we can jump on the science the quicker we can build that bridge i might even do a load of inventors huts down this edge it does almost seem like the ideal spot so there are only 12 logs no one there one there <laughs> Yeah, we're going to town. We are going to town. I think all the essentials are sort of done now. Maybe water we could do a bit better. But uh, I think I think it's time to expand. I feel like once this dam is done, and you can see they're building the dam slowly. Yeah, once that's done, our sort of water situation will be absolutely fine. We can just fill this with pump. This can be like water storage, potentially. Uh, have we marked these trees to be cut down? Yes, we have. I think there's just not a lumberjack flag in range. Are these in range? Ah, okay. So we're going to build another lumberjack. I might actually need to start creating some new people. People? Beavers? You know what I mean. And does our forester reach down there? No, of course he doesn't. Oh, look. A load of our beavers have grown up. Bebop Turtle, Dean Larson, and Duncan. But they were only born a second ago. They're already ready for jobs. So for now, you'll be haulers. Oh, and it looks like our inventor's huts are up and running. So who's actually in there? Sam Foltz and Bebop Turtle. They are our new scientists. So looking very good. Oh god. Uh okay, this is not good. We've got we got a dry season incoming three days. I'm really not sure we have enough water. Can we can we prioritize the dam maybe? Can we build this in three days? Sod it, let's prioritize. Alright, we need everyone on the dam. I think this could save us, because there's a lot of water down here. I right, think about how deep that's gonna be. And then along this edge we can put water pumps, and I think that's like the key to long survival. Alright, actually water's pretty full up here. Maybe we need to start looking at some bigger storage. I feel like once this dam is done, down here we're going to do like some water storage back there, some water pumps here. So maybe I'd want to do that now. Maybe I should move this path. No, no, no I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until the dam is complete because we might not get it done. we got under two days. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, you can do this. All right, who's carrying logs over? Maru. Look at Maru there just building the dam. This is your natural instinct, Maru. Yeah, I was thinking about building the dam up to there, like that level. And then just flooding this whole area. So it could be like a nice reservoir. But then I realized the water will just escape down this end. Unless we did like a massive wall. I don't know if I've got the patience to build a wall that long. I think for now this amount of water should be plenty. I'm just, I'm not convinced we're going to build the dam in time. Uh, one other thing I want to check as well. Let's rip up a path just to make some room. I want to see if we put a water pump along this edge. Oh yes it does. Can you see the, the log thing extends? It reaches all the way down. Okay, so if we shove that there, because even if our dam doesn't get fully completed, if, even if it's just that bit, we're going to have this like stretch of water which is going to be really long. So yeah, build the dam first, then build that pump. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do this before the dry season hits. Uh, but we've got, we got over 500 water. We've got 600 food. You just need to remember, as soon as dry season hits, turn these water pumps off. I'm going to turn them off now. Oh, and look, we got we got a load of new grown uppers. So Bob the Builder has grown up. Where are you, Bob the Builder? He's sleeping in the barracks. Now, he currently works at the hauling pit. I think that's no good. You need a promotion. We need to make you a builder. I feel like if we have this, the builder's hut, because we're trying to build a lot of things at the moment. It costs 20 logs and 10 planks, but then we can have another builder, and this actually extends the range as well. So we'll unlock that, yep, and we'll plonk it. Oh wow, the range is huge on this thing. Oh sweet, okay, that's fine, that is fine. I think we'll put that there, bang in the middle. High priority on that. 
And then that'll give us a load of new beavers to play with. <laughs> that sounds rude. All right, and now we are in the dry season. It's going to last four days. I'm actually going to pause our breeding pods because we don't want any new mouths to feed. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather my births happen when we're prepared and we can actually look after them. But yeah, so in the dry season, the water dries up. You can see up here is all completely barren. It's all dried up. Down here, though, we've still got water because we built our dam. And because we're not pumping water, the level is not going down very slowly, meaning this whole area stays green. So our trees carry on growing. Our farms carry on producing. Our berries keep going. It's, it's all good. It's all really, really good. Yeah, what's going on down here? Why are you sat on your ass? Okay, so some berries just grew and Rin is picking them. Rin is age 51. Blame you, Rin. But uh, they're literally waiting for berries to grow. And unfortunately, clicking on our forester, you can see you can see this is our range, the blue line. This this area, although I've highlighted it to be planted in berries, uh, there's no forester in range. So that was a bit of an oversight. We might have to try and fix that somehow. Uh, meanwhile, water situation seems to be losing about 100 a day. So maybe it'd be worth prioritizing this deep water pump just because all the water down here we don't need it to be green we can literally just use this for drinking water and this, they're still building the dam as well we're, we're getting close we're getting close plenty of logs we just need the builders and our builders hut isn't very close at all really so i think we'll fast forward and uh just see how we get on all right so another day look how much activity there is we have so many beavers 72 beavers and only two of them are homeless i feel like i've achieved and we've also got a new generation of beaver so who's this little kid down here? So this is Keld Muller 2.0. And this is the one, Bayleaf Walker 2.0. So our new generation. Uh, it, should, it should be obvious who's generation one, who's generation two. Uh, right, question then. Why aren't you doing anything? Jack, Jackie, Tacky. You're a lumberjack. Oh crap, there's a pump. There's a pump. Turn it off. Oh, bollocks. I did not see that. I didn't see that at all. Oh, so we were losing water. That could that could be a massive mistake. I don't know how much the levels dropped. It does actually look quite shallow. Balls, you might have cocked that. But yeah, DeLucas, age oh, you are age 60. I guess you can have time off. But you're meant to be in working time. He's not chopping down trees. Oh, and I think, is it because our storage is full? Yeah, so our industrial log pile is completely full. Okay, so we might need to store some more logs somewhere. And I'll tell you what, I might store them down there. So if we go into storage down here industrial log pile we can just about store them down there you can see you can see the line it's like sort of red by the time it gets over there uh, not ideal but we're going to be closer to where we're building which is sort of down in this direction i think or maybe we could just stack them in the middle does that reach over there it's very red but it does reach yeah sod it we'll put them there then so log pile will prioritize that as well i feel like everything's prioritized at the moment <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can't really build anything until we get planks. Oh wait, we got we got 46 planks. Okay, so it seems gears are what we're sort of lacking. You can see we've only got three gears there. Because it's a dry season, it means the river isn't flowing, which means our water wheels aren't spinning, which means we can't power these buildings, which means we can't afford to complete our engine, although it does only need two more gears, which means we can't make more planks and gears up here without the need for the water wheels. What if I prioritize that? Will that get it done? I, did, I thought the engines were prioritized, if I'm honest. Yes, yes, look, we got enough gears. Yes, look, look, we've got our first engine. Who's just sat there? Van Dyke, is that all you do? That's how you work, Van Dyke, is it? So are you working hard? Because it looks like you're hardly working. Oi. <laughs> Sorry. But look, you can see all of these are powered now. So Hexwind is in the lumber mill. And so is Jalcon, making more planks. We got Peronity and RCE secretly an architect. 2.0, that is. I just couldn't fit it in. Uh, they're turning planks into gears. Well, I'm surprised one engine could do all that. Yeah, power up at 200, but the demand is 340. So do they just work slower, maybe? Yeah, I think they just work slower if they don't have enough power. Okay, interesting. Yeah, let's prioritize the builder's hut next, because that means our eight unemployed people can then have builder jobs, uh, which is quite important at the moment, because obviously a lot of these jobs are seasonal, like... <laughs> All the things that are powered down here, all the water pumping, etc. So in the dry season, there are just going to be loads of unemployed beavers just bumming about. Uh, but there's only one day left of the dry season, just 24 hours. And oh look, a load of our new generation has grown up. A load of 2.0s. Let's hope you'll survive long enough to see our suspension bridge. I'm so excited for that suspension bridge. We need three and a half thousand science, so we've barely even got a thousand now i'm hoping once we've got some builders we can start prioritizing the science because uh, they only take logs to be fair oh meanwhile down here our dam is nearly complete damn <laughs> look the drought has ended which means the water is coming down rejuvenating the land there you go water is now flowing into this area 
uh, which should mean we can turn our deep water pumps back on. Frostinx 2.0 is in that one. Bayleaf Walker, Butterpud 2.0, all the new generation. They're all log pumpers. And meanwhile, is our dam complete? Our dam is actually complete down here. Look at this. This whole new area. It's all opened up. Lovely. Damn, and all of this is green as well. That's pretty good. Although what isn't good, we're completely out of water. Everyone is thirsty. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna build some more water pumps just so we can stock up a bit quicker. I'm gonna prioritize those as well. Everyone is thirsty. There you go. They're all, they're all drinking now. Oh man, everyone is thirsty. That is not good. We don't have a lot of water to go around. So I think new water storage is gonna be pretty key as well. So the question is, where should we do that? I'm sort of... Don't know if I want to use up the green area, but it is really close. Let's get large water tanks. We could just put them like at the back here. And maybe one up there, that's sort of out the way. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll path over to them. So we've got that one, that one. There you go. We've got a load of water storage at the back. That should be pretty good. Look at these guys in here with their massive logs. Who is that? Balia Urn, Clayton 2.0. And Super Bobbitch 2.8. That is great. Look how deep this water is. It's like so dark. I think the pumps down here, we can probably keep these pumping through dry seasons. So yeah, I think it's good. Oh, look. And we got Builder's Hut. Nice. I'm going to up that to four. And I'm going to reduce some of the haulers, I think. So I feel like haulers are just like extra. All right, nice. And we are producing some science now. Look at all of our scientists. <laughs> So we've got Luke Warm T, Lex Looper, Travis Hyper, William, Thomas Hook, and John Garcia. They are all scientists. Oh no, but we've had some deaths. DeLucas and Zach, they've died of old age. Oh no. Uh, which also reminds me, I should probably turn these back on, our breeding pods. Uh, they're currently turned off. Not ideal. Uh, meanwhile, sheet me. What has happened to the food situation? We're down to 100 food. How has that happened? Okay, that's really not good. Maybe we have too many mouths to feed now. I feel like we've got enough food in the ground. We just need an extra farm so we can farm it. Oh, wait, look, there's a, there's a, there is a spare farmer slot in that one. So let's pause a hauler. Oh, there you go. Pursued Crowd has joined Mondero Calero. So they are farmers now. I mean, our Darky Knights and Kimberly is in that one. Breezy Bro and Logan are in that one. It's just you can see now with our three farms, we never actually farm like this bottom area. So maybe we could add an extra farm in. I feel like if we're not going to replant berries, then maybe that's a good spot. Yeah, we'll, we'll build one there, I think. So we, we really need to get the food back on track. I also might look at down here, maybe, trying like the potato farms. Because that will make our beavers last longer, as we learned last time. So if we plant potatoes, we then need a grill. Can you see there? That gives us hunger and nutrition too. And if we click on a little beaver, like Peregrine over here, you can see if we add nutrition too. Oh, that gives us strength. 30% strength. Nice. That means they can carry more stuff. So that would be good. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Okay, we just had, we just took a big hit. So look how many beavers just died. So we knew DeLucas and Zach died of old age, but now Felix, Michael, Omka, Lytle Brown, Yannick Becker, and Marrow. They all died of old age. So we're down to 64 beavers. That's a big hit. Do we still have six farmers? Yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried about food. So I'm going to look at adding a farmhouse down here. So maybe there. I'll prioritize that. And then I'm going to come to this plant crops. And we're going to say spuds. Plant spuds everywhere. And meanwhile, we'll try and build our grill right down next to the farm. So I think there. Nice. So that should provide some sustenance. Uh, one other thing I wanted to try, I, I did read about this in the comments. Apparently, can you see here, I built a bridge, a little platform for them to get across. When I built that, I sort of completely forgot that there were beavers. <laughs> now, and obviously, beavers can swim. So apparently, if I had replaced that with just a path underwater with, uh, with steps going down, then they would have swum across. Now, I don't know how that completely works in terms of do they need step? Like, can I get across here easily? Or would I need steps down and then up? So I'll tell you what, since we have the dam there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend our path across the dam. I'm going to build a platform there and one there. And then steps, we're going to do that one and that one and then that one and that one. And then if I path between those, you can see now they're building the steps. And I am very intrigued to see beavers swim in this game. I know it sounds bizarre. It sounds bizarre, but these beavers have very much been dry beavers. Oh God, the food situation is really bad. What? I need, to, I need to try and work out what's going on with the food. So we don't have more mouths to feed. We've got less, if anything. Okay, okay. We've got, we got our farm, our new farm down here, but we've got, no, we've got no beavers in there. So EGB, you're currently a lumberjack. 
down in this area. I don't think we need wood that much. So I might pause you. And then have you become a farmer? No. Where has EGB gone? Where has he gone? We'll pause some of the scientists. Just because, look, we're completely out of food. This is really not good. Let's pause a load of science. And then farmhouses, we're going to prioritise these by haulers. Just so that our farmers are always farming. So meanwhile, down here, this is our new planting area. So we've got... We've got our potatoes growing. Thomas Hook is currently planting some of them. So this is our grill. This will cook our potatoes. Uh, who, who's that? Travis Hyper. You're, it's going to be a while until there's any potatoes for you to cook. So I think we're going to pause you, mate. And you can go do a useful job for a change. Uh, meanwhile, the berry situation is pretty bad. Oh, we could squeeze a forester in there, actually. So if we come into trees and bushes, we can say unselect those four. And then if we come to wood, forester... We can get a forester in there, and that will be the one that will plant new berries. Because at the moment, we're just waiting for them to naturally come back. You can see Rin literally has nothing to do. It's like one berry patch in the whole of that. So yeah, prioritize this. Oh, look at the cavalry. We're going to up the work now as I want this done. We're night shifting it till it's completed, boys. We need some planks. Are there any planks coming? Yes, there's the planks. There you go, it's being built. So now it's built. Travis Hyper's now in there, and we can say prioritize blueberries. So hopefully now, when he's back to work in the morning... We'll see him start planting up this area. Let's fast forward and see what that looks like. All right, Travis, where are you? All right, he's over there and he's cultivating the ground. And he's planted a berry bush. Nice. And I think he's just going around all the sort of spare areas, filling in the gaps, planting his seed. Nice. R meanwhile, the farmers here, the potatoes, they're only like not even 20% done. So we'll pause you for now because we're just going to wait for them to grow. Uh, we've now got two unemployed beavers, so we're going to up the hauling post. We'll turn that back on. I think we need to prioritize these engines. Because can you see down here logs? This is their fuel. So if they've got no fuel, they're not going to be creating any power. So if we prioritize this by haulers, that should mean these are constantly running. Which in turn means we get loads of planks and gears. These are cool though. I really like the uh, the engines. They look very, very cool. And downstream of our dam is absolutely wicked as well. There's water flowing all over the place. Oh, look, look. Our paths are built. Our ladders. Right, let's build something over here. Just so we can see... We can see a beaver swim. This is what we've been waiting for. Uh, what can we plant over here? Maybe we do... Maybe we just do more food over here. So what if we build another... Another farmhouse? We can plop that in there. Do a path to it. Let's prioritize this. And then see if any beavers swim over. All right, I can see them coming with logs. Oh, I'm excited. Are they gonna swim? He's swimming. Oh god, he sunk. He's swimming underwater. I don't know if that counts as swimming. <laughs> but yeah, they can literally swim. They're beavers. I knew they're beavers. Nice. So maybe over here we'll make this the like wheat area. We've got carrots, we've got potatoes, and we're going to have wheat. But yeah, the food situation's really bad now. We're on zero food again. We've got hungry beavers. I'm guessing we're just not producing it fast enough. Oh look, we've got, we've got a few Gruner Uppers. Zach 2.0, DeLucas 2.0. They've grown up. I tell you what then, maybe we just make this a carrot farm. Like, forget the wheat. Maybe, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's best. I think we need food urgently. Yeah, carrots take four days to grow. Potatoes take six days to grow. And wheat takes ten days. So that's more of a long-term solution. Yeah, I think, I think we've got to go carrot then. All right, let's make the mightiest carrot farm. All right, so they're all going to be carrots. And we're going to build another farmhouse or two. And we'll also mark these trees to be cut down and shove a lumberjack flag. Just like a temporary one. Just so we got more space to plant, I think. Uh, this building isn't connected to any district centre by path. Here it is. That path there. What do you want about? Do underwater paths not count? <laughs> Look at that beaver with his log. Who is that? Zack Attack MD. <laughs> nice. Oh, so maybe underwater paths don't work as I thought they would. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's completely ruined my plan. I thought my beavers could just swim. But it seems they can't. Okay, well, can I build... If I delete these paths, can I build up and over? So, platform there. Stairs there and there. I can't believe my beavers aren't even going to swim anymore. What a waste. What a waste. And a path over to here. And a platform there. Steps down. Delete that. Yeah. And then path over to there. Oh, man, we've had loads... We had another culling. Another culling of old people. So, Kimberly, Jalcon, Rin, Breezy Bro, and EGB. They've all died of old age oh this is not good this is not good uh, meanwhile the food situation is absolutely dire we need to really prioritize these farms oh no it's three days to the oh no it's three days to the dry season 
Although hopefully the dry season shouldn't make a difference. We got so much water saved up. We got these pumps down here, which we should be able to leave running without any impact, except for maybe on our potatoes. But yeah, carrots, we are screwed. We are screwed on carrots. And what the shit? This building isn't connected by paths. It really is. Like, it really is. I think my game's glitched out. No, <laughs> that's not fair. This building isn't connected to any district center by paths. And what I failed to realize, despite building two paths, is that my district center here, when you click on it, it has a range. And as you can see, the range literally finishes right next to the farm. So annoyingly, I sort of built that in the wrong place. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, as I've got the path up here now, I'm actually going to destroy this. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to destroy anything. I'm going to do something even better. Now, I haven't touched this before, so this could go very badly. But what I want to do, I want to come down to paths and structures here. If I click on that, I now have a choice of various different things we can build. But I want to build this a new district center. So if we click on that, I don't know what it costs to build. I don't know what those icons are. Are they beavers or what are they? I don't know. Let's try and build one anyway and see what it says. Are we going to plonk this up there? Oh, but we can't because it says districts must be separated by a gate. So we need to build a district gate first. And essentially, if we destroy this path, then we can plonk that in there. And you see this splits the district. So now this district here, it will finish there. So if we put our new district center here, we now have a new district. But our district has no beavers. We need to migrate some population. And what I feel like doing, this district center, we're going to call these the Patreons. They are my Patreon supporters. And our new district is not District 2. These are the YouTube members. Yep, let's show some love to the YouTube members. They don't, they don't receive enough love. So any beaver that is born in this district will be named after a YouTube member. Uh, but first we need to migrate some population. Now, I don't really know how this works. I think we can migrate two adults over there. Right, so here come my new district beavers. We've got Townshbone, who is my longest YouTube member. 11 months of support. Thank you so much. And you'll be planting carrots, hopefully with enough time to start feeding the Patreons. But I think, although it's the dry season and 0.8 days, very scary. I think because we got such a big reservoir here, this area should stay green, meaning we should be able to produce some food soon. Meanwhile, we've also got this guy who's in our new district. You're just sat on your ass. You're not doing a lot, are you? What's your name? Custard Guts. You're meant to be a builder and you're just sat on your ass, literally doing nothing. Like, look, there's two things to be built here. What is going on? What is going on? And now you're hungry. What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> Alright, anyway, with the dry season approaching and food still lacking, I'm going to pause all of these breeding pods because uh, these use up berries and berries can be eaten. So anyway, not... Oh, we've only got 17 food. Thankfully, we're going to be able to keep producing food throughout the dry season, but we will need to stop producing water. we got got 1,000 water, though, so that should be fine. Let's just check we've got enough farmers. So we've got Samuel Valdez and John Garcia, Logan and Jonathan Rama, Zach... And oh, no one in this one. Let's pause a scientist. I'll pause you. Now, lukewarm tea, you're you're now a farmer. And this final one, Mondari, pursue crow, right. So we should be maxing our food capacity down here. <gasps> Look, these are potatoes. Potatoes are growing. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So let's unpause this farmhouse and unpause this grill. And we need three new workers. So I'm going to pause another scientist. Well, I think I'm going to pause three scientists. So hopefully now down here, Yep, Bebop Turtle and Sam Fultz, they're now going to be farming. They should start harvesting potatoes. Uh, but no one's in the grill. Why is no one in the grill? Why is no one in the grill? Anyway, so it's only 0.4 days until the dry season. So let's pause this water because we really don't want to be pumping water in the dry season. Not from up here anyway, because all of this area will go brown. Meaning we won't be able to farm any carrots. All right, it's down here now. Do we have... Yes, Bayleaf Walker is now the griller of potatoes. And I haven't really looked at this building, but... It is pretty cool looking. All right, I've moved Custard Guts from the builder post. He's now a lumberjack. Because basically, because it's a new district, it doesn't share resources. They're all sort of separate. Um, so not ideal. I'm, I'm a bit worried they might die without food. <laughs> now, I know there are, there are some ways of sharing food. So yeah, I think with these two things, the distribution post and the drop-off point. Uh, but the, there's literally zero food. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, so this could go really badly. Let's see how hungry is a beaver. Yeah, hunger is pretty critical. I tell you what, because I don't want Townjbone to die, I'm actually going to migrate both of these guys back to the patrons because uh, there's literally zero chance of them getting food there. So there's a bit more chance over here. But first, we got, we got to make it through the night. All right, here you go. The drought has started. And as you've probably seen before, you'll see the river dries up. And as that happens, all the green area behind sort of dries out and goes all brown. Uh, but down here, because we've got a dam placed here, this remains nice and green. And that's why I've turned off my water pumps. Actually, the, I know that the water is going to stop spinning soon. So I should probably pause all of these powered buildings. Now, I'll keep them going for now as everything's spinning. But essentially, I think everyone's going to become scientists. It's sort of the uh, the seasonal summer job, a scientist. <laughs> oh no! Townsbone! <laughs> he died of hunger. Oh, I'm so sorry, my YouTube member. <laughs> You, you were alive for like five seconds. I shouldn't laugh. I really shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, down here, look, you can see, you can see in our potato grill, the smoke is coming out, which means we're cooking some spuds. Now, the important thing to remember is this, is it takes fuel. It does take logs to fuel this. So it looks like for every potato, you need a tenth of a log and that'll produce four grilled potatoes, which is very decent. So that could save the hunger crisis. Look, we got two grilled potatoes already. Maybe it's even worth doing another one of those. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. We'll put in another grill, put that on the highest priority so that gets built quickly. And then in our plant crops thing down here, we can say potato, plant some more potatoes. Nice. I'm also thinking because we've got a lot of water, I might turn these pumps off. So you can see as they pump, the water level is going down and it started up there. It's already down to that level. I don't think I want it to go too low because then these areas will dry out. So yeah, I'm actually going to pause them. And maybe I'll look at trying to get my other district powered up and raring to go. Because I can't really do anything more with food now. It's just, it's in their own hands. Somehow, this water wheel is still spinning. I have no idea why. Right, so if we go into labour, as night is setting, we've got a distribution post and a drop-off point. I'm not entirely sure how this works, if I'm honest. Like, do my builders still... They do. They can still build up here. So do I just build a drop-off point up here? So if I unlock that for 250 science, yep. Can I just place that there? And then district distribution limit. Oh, I can say what we want. Right, okay. So I've just said bring over 30 carrots, 30 grilled potatoes, 50 logs, 12 planks, and 100 water. And everything else I've made zero. So that should start being filled up soon i think the only thing is i'm not sure if i need this first the distribution post i think i probably will i don't know we'll give it a day or so and we'll see if anything arrives in that district but at the moment everyone's sort of staying over there all right so meanwhile i think we're about a day into our drought and we've used probably used like a hundred water up the water's still going up have i left a pump on somewhere no i think they're just moving stock from the pumps are they no i don't know why 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 is water going up that's a bit worrying. How is this water wheel still spinning as well? <laughs> well, anyway, it looks like nothing is getting over to this district. So we're going to have to go into labor and build a distribution post. So yes, we'll unlock that for 250 science. And oh God, this building is huge. Where can we build this? Oh my God, it literally doesn't fit anywhere. Okay, I tell you what, I really want to get over this span and maybe start building over here. So we got to work out how many blocks is that. It's one, two, three, four. So if we come into here with 800 science, we can unlock a suspension bridge four by one. I think we're going to do it. We're actually going to do a bridge. Finally, come on then, unlock. Nice. And then we can shove that there. And then the distribution post can come over here. So we'll plonk that there. Connects up with a path. Nice, now it's the next morning. We should see some beavers come over to here and hopefully start building it. All right, so there's a couple carrying logs. Yes, Clueless Clown, Zack, Attack MD, Sevens. They're all building a bridge. I am so proud of you. Now the bridge takes logs, planks and metal blocks. I'm not even sure we've used metal blocks for anything apart from potentially the engines. So yeah, looking up here, we've got nearly 200 of those. So 20 should be easy. Planks, you've got a load of those. And logs, we've got 200. So yeah, that should be fine. Uh, but oh goodness, we had four deaths. Mondu Calera, Aaron Mackey, Logan Scrauf, and OC Deer, they all died of old age. Which means we're down to just 67 beavers. 
Uh, so I might have to fiddle with the old jobs because no one is in this grill. So I think, haulers, we can lower you guys down a bit. All right, there we go. Clueless Clown has just got in the grill and he's turned on the cooker. The smoke is rising. And thankfully, our food is rising. We're on 100 food now. So that is fantastic. <gasps> and look, we've built a bridge and they're using it. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Look, they're carrying logs across the bridge. Because uh, they're building this, which takes 30 logs and 15 planks. So uh, that should be done in no time as well. So we'll fast forward that. I can't believe how lucky we are to get positive food again. I think the potatoes literally saved our ass completely. Oh, you know what's quite annoying? I've just realised our farm, it doesn't it doesn't extend down there. Why does it do that bit? That's well close. Oh, well, that's, that's annoying. So we've only got the spuds that we've got there. So it is what it is. But look, this is done. So Dean Larson is in there. You can see him just sat in the doorstep. He's got his rucksack on. He's ready to go. That's not a snake. It did look like a snake. But oh no, he's, he's shop shop. It's home time. But let's configure this. So we've never used one of these before. Uh, but it distributes goods to other districts. So route. There's no routes established. So we can add a new route. So select drop off point. So we can select this one. We can select goods. Uh, let's start with water i guess okay so dean larson he's working there on his own at the moment but he's going to be taking over water grilled potatoes logs and planks to the youtube members uh, which well sadly they, they don't actually exist at the moment yeah but i think once the dry season is over we'll migrate some people over and then they can start afresh they're going to need some breeding pods as well so maybe they are going to need berries actually so we'll come to this we'll say we're going to need some berries like 20 berries and then we'll add a berry root as well all right, so down here, our shredder lacks power, so we, we may as well pause that. Somehow this water wheel is still spinning, so these two are still powered, so we'll leave that going. But now we have one unemployed beaver, so you may as well become a distributor. So we've got Adam Bond and Anthony Avastia. Avastia? Avastia. And uh, oh, look, we've got three unemployed beavers. Oh, we've got three unemployed beavers because three of them are just grown up. DK Smoke, Josh, and Koyakoy. <laughs> Uh, they've all grown up, so DK Smoke, you'll become a lumberjack down here. I think everyone else, you're going to be distributors because we want to get these guys over as quick as possible so they can start producing their own food and logs and all sorts. And I think what we'll do, actually, we'll sort of we'll dig up a strip of carrots and then we'll actually plan to build a staircase up to there with a path. I think we'll even remove those as well. Because we want these guys to be self-sufficient, essentially. So we're going to build them a water pump. And yeah, we're going to mark these trees to be cut down. So like that. So now when the YouTube members move back in, they'll be able to cut all this down. And that will be the wood. Actually, actually, no, no, forget that. If we go bird's eye view, I remember someone said, if you want trees to sort of not just turn into a load of stumps like these ones, without planting them, you should like, I think we want to do something like this. And basically they said... Like natural trees, they produce saplings, like they multiply if there's adjacent trees next to them. So if we do like a checkerboard pattern, then hopefully this will like sort of stay self-sufficient. Nice, right. So how much how much stuff have they brought over to this place? Oh look, they've got water, they've got food, they've got logs, and they got planks. Excellent, okay. So very soon we can think about migrating population over there. But for now, let's just fast forward a bit. And I'm loving the bridge. It is so cool. I want to build two. I assume I can span like really long spans with like back to back ones. That's definitely my aim anyway. So I think we might be able to span like 12. We just got to find somewhere we want to get to for 12. Right. So now if we come over to the YouTube member district, you can see they've got everything they asked for. So essentially all these jobs are worthless. So we may as well bring that down to just one. So Koi Koi, you're on your own. I look like you're giving birth to other beavers. <laughs> uh, we'll turn on these two inventor huts. We'll up a hauler just so we don't have any unemployed beavers. And then we've only got half day left. So let's fast forward. Let's get through the entire dry season. Oh, but oh no. Peronity has died of old age. We've lost some beaver. Okay, I think it's time then. We need to turn these back on. We are definitely going to need a new generation pretty soon. We're down to 66 beavers. We've got no children. All right, and as you can see there, the drought has ended. This was our longest ever drought. I think essentially the mega dam saved us. But look, the water is coming back. So what I'm going to do is turn on all the water pumps again and try and stock back up. Turn those three on and we'll pause three science places. 
So who are the three beavers that pump their massive logs down here? We've got Super Bobbitch 2.0, Woozer, and Kimberly. They are all fantastic log pumpers. And I am very proud of to how much wood you can pump in there. Uh, meanwhile, up here, you can see the river is flowing into this. So we can turn on these four. And we can also turn the shredder back on. Uh, but now we are massively, massively limited on jobs. So we've got to pause a lot of science, I think. Science is sort of the, I think it's like the most seasonal job we have. I'll tell you what, now all this birch has gone. I'm actually going to swap that for maples. And another commenter told me any square that has green in it can be planted. So we can really go right to the end of these and sort of maximize our planting area. Assuming he wasn't lying to me, of course. Cool. So that's, that's sort of all of our resources back under control, I think. Oh, we just had a load more death. Matt Nichols and Blue Fire Wolf have just died of old age. Uh, we're down to 64 beavers. This is really not good. I think we're going to wait for a few births before we go about moving any over to here. I think the new births, they will literally just come over here as kids. So this district is literally just going to be like Neverland. It's just going to be kid zone. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, we've got three new children. So you you guys, you're going to Neverland. So migrate population, and we want to send three kids over there. Migrate. Alright, so here we go. Here we are in Neverland. <laughs> we've got our kids just running wild. We've got Valentin, James Lee, and uh, the very aptly named Tom Younger. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I hope you survive long enough to grow up. I assume you can just, like, grab food out of here, can you? Yes, it looks like they've taken a grilled potato. And Koyokoi, who's age 10 now, has just dropped off some more supplies. So I think he's keeping you in business. Excellent. Right. It looks like storage is an issue again. So what we might do, I noticed in storage, we have a large warehouse that we haven't unlocked yet. It's got a thousand capacity compared to just the 200 of the small warehouse. So I really want to see what that looks like. So let's give it an unlock. 250 science. Chomp change. Oh, look at this building. What shape is that? Can anyone tell me what shape that is? <laughs> That is the strongest warehouse I've ever seen. Uh, so shall we plonk this over there? Yeah, I think we'll put you there and then we'll do a path over to you. And that should give us loads more storage. And people have to use the bridge, which is awesome. Uh, meanwhile, I think we finally got this area sorted. So with four farms, it looks like we're actually harvesting the entire crop before planting again, which is great news. Oh, Jordan Miller died of old age. But we got a new birth. So this is our new little beaver. He's going for a wander through town. And it's Grun Rude Fruit. You did tell me how to pronounce your name, but <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but a nice welcome to the gang. Do not worry, I'm not shipping you over to the YouTube members. You are going to be the only child of the Patreon district. All right, meanwhile, I'm sort of thinking if I want to keep this area green like all the time, is it worth building a mega dam? I feel like it's always worth building a mega dam. But if I'm going to build a dam here, I want to actually try something new. So these are called floodgates and you can raise and lower them to let water through. So for example, if we go for the triple, I think the triple because it's so high, we'll go for the triple floodgate. Now you can see it's that tall. So if we want to build that, we're going to need levees first. Now, thankfully, we've learned water can't flow diagonally in this game. So I don't actually have to build it in that square. I can build it against that wall. So I think I might do that. I've just got to be careful over this side. All right, let's build it there. So we're going to do levees literally to the very top. And then for the triple floodgate, that's going to go there. And another one there. Right, so hopefully they should start building that. My only slight concern is, like, how do they actually build, how do they get to it? But uh, details, details, I'm sure I'm sure they'll work it out. They're engineers, they're beavers. Uh, we are very short on logs, though, like really short on logs. Is there anything we can do about that? Not at the moment. Oh, the only thing I've just sort of realized is <laughs> with our adjustable thing, we're actually going to flood these trees. Thankfully, they're adjustable, so we can lower them. So I think what I'll do, I'll lower them. We'll log all of these, and then we'll raise the water level back up. All right, here you go. Did you see that? If you blinked, you may have missed it. <laughs> but look, this guy here, Sevens, he's building the dam. From up there, he has the power to build down there. He's already placed three logs, so nice. 
the mega I called I called this the mega dam because uh, it does it is holding back a lot of water but I feel like this is going to be truly the mega mega dam what's what's after mega is it like super the super dam oh we've also had four new births as well so now we've got eight children so welcome for breathy and raven the depressed I'm sorry you're feeling a bit blue it's, it's sort of a greeny color, if that makes any difference. But nice, things are actually looking really good again for a change. Food is up, water is up, even beavers are up. We got three homeless beavers. Oh, that's these guys. I've just realized there's no there's no houses over here. Um, but no one's capable of building houses for you. You need to grow up first, guys. Just grow up. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to start planning some of their stuff over here. So we're going to do a path over there. I want to do two things up here. I think out the back of these trees, I want to build a log pile. And down the side of here, I want to build some breeding pods. Maybe three. And then maybe we'll build you some housing as well. No, we won't do housing. We're going to keep we're going to keep things like as essential as they need to be to start. Yeah, we're really struggling for logs. What I might do, because I don't think we need planks at the moment. I might actually pause this lumber mill. Look, custard guts is in there. We're going to pause you. We're going to keep the gear workshop going because we've got planks stored up. But uh, really, I just want to keep building this dam. There you go. They're all building it now. You can see. Look, they've built the first, first part of the dam. Oh, man, I'm really quite excited by the super dam. It's going to be, it's going to be incredible. And as I was just, I was just looking over my bridge. I was like, oh, what a good bridge. And I noticed over in the background, <gasps> they've grown up. Our YouTube members, they've actually started building. So we've got one builder, one farmer, and one lumberjack for now. And I think what we might do, we might prioritize a breeding pod so that these can sort of become self-sufficient. Because poor Koi Koi here is just transporting so many goods. Like, it's not even his kids. <laughs> He's not even related to him. He's a patron. He's not a YouTube member. But yes, let's, let's take stock of where we are. So science points are pretty good. Basically, in the dry season, this is our seasonal job. So when, like, the river dries up and we stop pumping water, the water wheels stop moving, everyone becomes a scientist, we get loads of science. So pretty happy with science. Uh, materials, we got quite a lot of gears. We got loads of metal blocks, loads of planks, loads of scrap metal. So I, I, I'm pretty happy with everything there. Food, not too bad. I feel like we could always increase our food. Uh, logs, absolutely terrible. I think that could be the next thing to focus on. Oh, but oh no, look. Sonolko has died. Oh, Sonolko. I do apologize. And the other thing we need to look at is down here. This is our YouTube member area. Now they're sort of trying to become self-sufficient. So they've got a few things they're going to be building, like the deep water pump these breeding pods. Yeah, but essentially, I think we're just going to leave them to do their thing. Oh, yes, and I forgot we started building our super dam down here. So that's why we're going to need logs. So let's try and look at possible ways we can get our log on. So you can see down here, we got we got a forester. They replace the tree stumps with saplings. This is Duncan Brown. He's 44, but he's still working hard. Or is he hardly working? <gasps> oh my god, no! <laughs> Look, Montana Williams and Huckbear424 have died of old age. So he's Lagomorph. Lagomorph has died of old age. Yeah, but green root fruit has grown up. So look, he is now a hauler. He works at the hauling post and he's only six years old. He's young and full of life, raring to go. Now we do need to be careful now. We're down to just 63 adults, which means a lot of our jobs are going to be missing people. So yeah, you can see in here, sort of not all the jobs are full up. The most important ones, farmhouse, that's full up. You know, the deep water pumps, they're full up. So they're the, they're the sort of main jobs. So I think we're okay for that. Uh, but we could do with these being a bit quicker, if I'm honest. Maybe we want to look at increasing that. Should we try and get more food first? I don't know. I'm I'm really tempted, actually. This might be really stupid. But to move the mega dam. Oh, no, that's a level high. It's a level higher, damn it. Okay, well, something I'm quite intrigued to do. I don't really know how it works. Water pump discharges water. But how does it get the water? That is what I want to know. So I can see like down here on the map, there's like this sort of, it looks like a dried out like waterfall. So if we could put a deep water pump up there and sort of make a river flow down. But I assume we need to supply the water pump, do we? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. God, look how many beavers are up. <laughs> there's literally so many. Right, I'm going to click on one if I can. All right, Peregrine. Let's see. How can we make you happier? Like, what are the effects of everything? So, fun increases walking speed. Nutrition is strength. Nutrition three is carrying speed. Work speed, work speed, work speed, work speed, work speed. Basically, everything just makes them work faster. But then there's all three, which increases life expectancy by 40%. What is all three? 
Is that one of these monuments? Yeah, all three. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you need 12,000 science points. So I think that's quite a late game thing. We'll probably leave that for now. All right, well, I'll tell you what then. We've got to look at chopping down some more trees. And I feel like the best way of doing that is going over onto this side. And the best way of doing that, I'm going to assume it's going to be a bridge. Now, we've only unlocked the 4x1 bridge, but uh, that spans the gap perfectly. All right, let's plonk that in. Prioritize the suspension bridge. I prioritize everything in this game. And then over this side, we're going to look at doing some steps. So we're going to want steps up there. And then probably down there. And then we'll just we'll just path in between. All right, sorted. And are these trees marked to be cut down? No, they're not. So we'll mark them up. So we just paint them in. Lovely. And then we've got a few beavers that have grown up. And I think they are now builders. So as we prioritize this bridge. Yeah, if you click on this guy, it's for breezy. And they've just brought a box over. And who's this? This is Lord Finish. He's only six years old. But he's already building his first bridge. That is an inspiring career path. Uh, meanwhile, Mr. Forrester up here. So look, there's one There's one little piece of land that hasn't been marked for trees. So let's make that a maple. There you go, Keld. Look, you got a job now. There you go. He's running over to there. <laughs> and now he's going to plant that. Oh, God. Is that what he's doing? Are you planting? He's definitely playing with wood. Let's put it that way. All right, I'm going to swap these pines with maples as well. Just because maples are... We more economic. The trouble is, I'm going to have to do it like one by one as each one gets cut down. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We can probably do this front strip as well. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Load more trees. And to be honest, we should probably start planting trees down there. So if we get another forester hut, because I don't think these ones reach. No, they don't. If we go into wood, forester, we'll plonk you there. And we'll plant a load of maples in there. Nice, because wood, wood is the big issue at the moment. Though I'd like food to be a bit high. I wonder if it's worth trying to replace some of these carrots with potatoes. We've got to keep the berry production going, because that's what fuels our new generation. Oh my god, there's so many beavers over here. <laughs> it's insane. So yeah, I reckon we'll try and spud some of this area up. So if we say... No, actually, let's not, let's not. I don't want to ruin the equilibrium we've got. So yeah, you you'll stay as carrots. You'll stay as spuds. We've got more carrots over here. We can fill in the gaps now. Very nice. And these guys down here, they've nearly finished building that log pile. And once that's done, I think that's everything built. Oh no, there's two more breeding pods. Okay, but look, our first breeding pod is on the way. So that'll be our first YouTube member birth. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to really limit this side. They're sort of just there to... I don't know why... The, why, why have I... <laughs> Why have we expanded over this side? I know the original reason was we were slacking on food big time. I was worried we we're going to die. They were sort of here to like feed the Patreons. But um, they seem to be coping. Oh, look, Christopher Walker has grown up. Nice. You are unemployed. So we need to give you a job. I feel like we should open the builder hut again. So let's unpause that. Chris, you're in there. You're a builder. Because we've got some stuff we want to build. We want to finish a bridge. We want to get our strongest shaped large warehouse. <laughs> Why did they pick that shape for it? Well, because it's sufficient, I guess. And the other thing I'm really intrigued to try is the dynamite. We haven't even looked at dynamite yet. I was thinking it might be a way to sort of move some water about. So we're going to have our super dam built there, but I'm pretty sure I could probably dynamite down this way. Sort of make that like a river. I don't know. But still, that's quite a way off because where is dynamite? It's in wood. So we're going to need a paper mill. Turns logs into paper. And then an explosive factory, which turns paper into dynamite. So that's a thousand research on its own. So that might be one for next time. For now, I feel like the super dam is priority. But in order to get the super dam, we've got to get, we've got to get some more wood. All right, so yeah, we, we're completely out of power. So these engines, they use, they use logs to create fuel. And at the moment, they've got zero logs. So I feel like we may as well just pause these. We don't need planks or gears at the moment. Let's just pause all of these. And now we've got four unemployed beavers. We're going to fill up the builder's hut. Joining Chris, we've got Mathis Van Dyke, Bob the Builder. Yes, Bob the Builder is a builder. And Hexwind. Uh, our hauling post. Let's up that then. People can be haulers. And oh no, oh no. So we've just been told the dry season is coming. I feel like we've got enough water. we got like 1,400 water. Food. All right, it's sort of going up. I think as potatoes are growing. Yeah, that's really helping. Okay, I think, I think we're fine actually. I think we're fine. And look, over this side, this is all growing now. So James Lee will pause you. And then <laughs> he just came over here to become a builder. We're going to pause the builders as well. All right, and now your farmers. We're going to reduce one farmer down. And then, yeah, Valentin, you are now a log pumper. Just so this side should be a bit more self-sufficient. They're creating their own water, harvesting carrots. 
They're all good. Uh, I, th I think we'll be fine, actually. There's, there's a lot of food going up now as everything's being harvested. Oh, look, can over here. The bridge is complete. It looks like they're building the steps over to this way. And then they'll start logging all of this. Oh, this is fantastic. Good work, guys. Look at them. <gasps> the dam! They're doing the dam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down. Slow down. Shit. Oh, God. Okay, we've got to be really careful here. I do not want to cause a flood. Oh, that's looking pretty close to flooding. All right, so this one I can raise and look. Oh, look how on the fly I can do that. So I've lowered that. So I'm letting water through. Am I letting too much water through? Oh, God, it is pretty vicious. I think because I just let it through in like a big wave, there might be a sort of mini flood happening. Oh, God. Yeah, look down here. Look at the dam. It's proper overflowing. <laughs> Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Holy crap, look at the water coming through, though. I guess a proper torrent back there. That's so cool. Can they reach that? Oh, yeah, they're building it from there. That hungry... Who's, who is the hungry guy? Hexwind. Although they are hungry, they were building from this corner. That's like... We really need some, like, safety railings up there. That's dangerous. But yeah, is that just the last... Oh, yeah, it's being built. It's being built. All right, pause, pause, pause. Ooh. Right. The mega dam is sort of complete, it looks like. Sorry, not the mega dam. The super dam is complete. And what a feat of engineering this is. And it's just in time for the dry season. So my sort of aim here was to turn this up. So if we bring the height. Oh, they're linked. I'm so glad they're linked. Oh, shit. Do we have a leak? I think we got a leak. Right, we, we got a slight leak. We might, we might have to fix that. <laughs> Okay, so if we go into landscaping to fix our leak, I thought corners didn't leak for some reason, but uh, turns out they do. So we're basically just going to levy that to the top, plug her up, basically. But uh, that's good. You can see we are filling that up. I probably don't want to flood those guys yet, actually. So yeah, let's lower that to two. Oh, shit. So I just let loads of water through. Or maybe two and a half. I feel like two is a bit low. We'll do two and a half. <laughs> oh, I feel like, God, I'm like... Playing with water levels. So yeah, we just got to make sure these trees don't flood. The water's very turbulent now. <laughs> I think two and a half is the right level. Oh shit, that bridge just went underwater. Oh god, oh god, it's flooding down here. Guys, be careful. I know you're beavers, but be careful. Flood water is dangerous. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what have I done? No, it's flooding. It is flooding. All right, is up here okay? Up here's okay. All right, I think, I think that, that is the right level. This bridge is now like... <laughs> Like a floating bridge. So yeah, I think two and a half is the max. Oh god, things are being flooded down it. How is there so much water suddenly? Right, that will fix itself, right? Or have I flooded the beavers? They're still building that corner. Maybe it's because the corner's spilling out as well. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? But yeah, the drought is incoming in 0.4 days. So this is our last glimpse of sunlight before we need to be careful. Oh no, look what's happening. Where they're building that up is pushing the water further. Thankfully, beavers can't drown, but I know that wood can. Let's just prioritize these. Let's just get them built. Let's get them built. Let's fast forward and see what happens. All right, it's nighttime. Nighttime flooding, dangerous. But this is our last evening. All right, so the drought has started. There's now no more water coming from the source up here. Oh, but oh no, while I was fast forwarding, so many people died. So Jonathan Rama died of old age, so did Less Than Marv, Papa Panda. Yeah, but then we had a new generation grow up. Yeah, then we had a birth, but then Tezquin died. All right, it turns out Tezquin died at home, surrounded by friends and family at the age of 77. You lived a good life, Tez. Uh, the beavers are appreciative for what you helped us achieve. Um, but anyway, we've got we've got our dry season to worry about now. So the plan here was this dam would be perfect for the dry season. So at the moment, we've got these raised up. So if we look behind, so you can see these are holding water back. And it should mean that this area up here will now stay green. Oh, look, we've like filled it with greenness. So we could potentially plant up everything up here but yeah my sort of plan was as this water level drops if it does drop rather than keep like stopping pumping during the dry season we could slowly like lower these so if we do it now if we lower this by half you see it lets a load of water through this raises the level up down here meaning it doesn't go green but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at two and a half for now and i'm just gonna lower that when this water like runs out a bit so the idea is we we just drip feed water through as we need it. So hopefully we are self-sufficient. And oh, who's this then? Who's this? The real architect has grown up. All right, I'll tell you what, you need a job. 
And you need a job that's right for an architect. So on top of the knob, I'm going to build that. We're going to do two sets of stairs so you can get up to it. Then we're going to watch this be built. They're building it from the inside of the knob as well. That's quite impressive. There you go. They're building from the outside as well. So steps nearly done. And now just the power wheel. And right, now everyone is beavering away trying to build this. They want to shame the architect. And it will happen. Hey, look at them all. These are real engineers. Lord Finish, the Breezy, Bob the Builder. All right, and Hexwind is up there and it's completed. Right, come here, real civil architect. You work at the hauling post. So we're going to sack you. I'm trying to sack you, but everyone else is getting sacked. Why aren't you getting sacked? There you go. No, get out of there, Frostinks. That's not for you. <laughs> no, Ampim. No, Frostink. No. There we go. Now the real architect is in the power wheel. All right, there you go. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> now you're destined to work the wheel as punishment. And if any other people think it's funny joining as a top tier Patreon with a stupid name, this will be your punishment as well. Oh God, oh God, oh, 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 oh. pause, 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 pause. Okay, so you can see up here, everything has gone brown. We've run out of water, we've over pumped. So let's see if our plan works. So we lower that down and the water flows again. Yes, it rejuvenates the land. And this is the like most satisfying part of this game. Just watching the land become green again. And we'll get to it multiple times throughout the dry season now. <laughs> Sick. Oh, that is actually wicked. I'm so pleased I did that. That is how you engineer the dry season to not be a problem anymore. My only concern is how low the water level will go up here. Like, where does the brown go to? So can you see now? This is now green down here. It's not water. Ideally, I like all this top level to stay green. Because then we can plant it. Oh, you can see it's shrinking back. Oh, it's not really sure where it's going. It's, <laughs> it's going all over the place. I think it's going to be, yeah, that's not going to be great for planting. And yeah, we might even need to, yeah, we might even need to lower those gates again. Although we've got quite a long time left for dry. So I might actually stop pumping all these. So we'll pause all of you guys. And then we'll turn on our science jobs. So the seasonal science jobs are back. So I don't think we're building anything at the moment either. So maybe we'll pause the builder's hut. And then more scientists. More scientists. But yeah, up here we definitely need another lumberjack flag. Just so we can get the ones on this side. So I think we'll plonk this there. So they'll come and build that. I feel like it might be sensible as well. In water we can unlock this. This is a depth marker. It's 150 science, but I think it will be useful now we've got our floodgates that we can open and close. So let's unlock that. I think if we put one down there, then we can just keep an eye on that depth. But nice. I'm glad we've sort of beaten the dry season. Like we can keep these pumping all the time now. And we can always add more pumps there. We've got space to do it. But our water's fine. Food is also fine. Things are looking fantastic. All right, and Sevens is just finishing up building the depth marker. There you go. So we can click on that. So highest water level 0.23. And then we can see how that drops over time. I don't think it should drop now, but it will be a good test to see. Oh, it does. So there is evaporation. Or like maybe the, maybe the plants are using it up. I wasn't sure if it was just the water pumps that lowered the level, but you can see there it definitely is not the case. It does drop gradually over time. All right, so our lumberjack flag up here is completed. So that is Adam Bond. He'll be heading up there and, and logging the trees over this side. Now let's just check our water level again. Yeah, it's still dropping actually. Interesting. Over on our YouTube member side, water in this place is filled up. We don't have any storage yet, but I think I might pause that and get them on farming. Oh, we've actually had two births over here. Yeah, we also missed quite a few deaths and things. Oh, God. Blue Fire Wolf, Clueless Clown. Oh, not all the deaths are bad. Uh, John Garcia. <laughs> but yeah, rest in peace, you lovely beavers. Uh, right, it's another evening. People are sort of packing up for the night. Uh, but what I might try during the evening is I want to see, because the water level is going down all the time. It's on it's 0.2 now. I want to know if I drop this by a half. Does that completely ruin the water level or is it accurate to the actual level? Because you can see it's like completely covered in water. My aim is to sort of get some water flowing over the dam. There it is. There it is. So we replenish down here a bit. So I don't really want this to go brown down there. But doing that might make up here go brown as well. I've got to be careful. It's all a balancing act. It's all a learning act. But uh, it seems like the water has settled. So what are we on? 0.63 and it said it went up to 0.78. Now the water's flowing through, so I think it is sort of, I've sort of put it in the wrong place. I think the level is getting a bit, oh, you can actually see, is that what the red thing is? That's like the max water level. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, it's not, it's not too, I thought the water flowing on top of it might sort of make the reading inaccurate, but maybe not. Cool. Good to know. 
Right, it's another morning. Things are looking good. The logs are finally going up again, which is good to see. Oh, why have you planted birch in there, you pillocks? I thought we said plant maples everywhere. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Right, nice. We've still got five days to last. That's quite a long time, actually. I sort of, I, I've been forgetting the drought's going to get longer and longer. So we need to be a little bit careful. But uh, to be honest, we got a thousand food. We got 1600 water. Like, this is, this is the most, like, prepared I've felt in this entire game. Sort of waiting for, like, something bad to happen, like a tornado to hit or something. Yeah, look at this. Dwight Schrute has grown up. What are you? You're a hauler. There he is, Dwight. Oh, Dwighty boy. I have a feeling one of the beavers might be playing tricks on you. They'll be hiding your beaver stapler in jelly or something. Anyway, science is going up really well. How much did the old bridge cost in the end? Did we work that out? So the big bridge was... Oh, 3,200. That's loads. So I want to find an area where we can actually build a 12-span bridge. I think it's going to take some doing, but uh, oh well. All right, so nothing going on for now. I think we'll just fast forward through this dry season a bit. I don't think there's anything we need to sort of be aware of or worry about. Just other deaths as they happen. Although we have had a birth down at our YouTube member site. Jared Nolan has joined. So I think we can start upping the jobs, to be honest. So let's unpause the Builder Hut. Do we have any spare people? I don't think we do, actually. No, they're all just kids. I forgot it's Neverland over here. Damn Never... Oh. <laughs> I feel bad. They're all homeless. Look at them. Got Hello and his. Just, just one year old and sleeping out in the rough. Valentine and James Lee. They're both 17. They can cope. Oh, there's loads of babies over here. Got Boarhound, who's five. Tom Younger, one of the originals. Matty Patity. <laughs> and Jared Noland. Nice. I feel like I don't want to have too many more beavers. I might pause them for now. Because uh, I do, I've now come up with a plan for my YouTube members. We're going to try and bring water back up to here. We're going to be trying out a water dump. Sod it. Shall we just, yeah, sod it. We're going to do it now. So we're going to unlock that. I'm going to literally just plonk it there. And then we'll build some sort of stair system to get up there. Yeah, but I think that's for next time. I think that's for next time. I'm focusing on focusing on the main area and the mega super dam. Oh, wow. Water level up here is dropping quite a bit, to be honest. What's it look like at the back of the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It hasn't dropped too much down the back of the dam. Yeah, meanwhile, loads of people have grown up. Tales of Telos, Jonathan Kivers, Shatika, which means plenty new employees for when we get through the dry season. Now, meanwhile, I've noticed we've used up all of our planks, so I've shoved a few people. Like one in the engine. We got Kali Pavlovsky in there creating some power. And uh, Logan Scrauf has gone in the lumber mill, so we will be getting some more planks now. Because uh, I think it's a good idea to stay stocked up on planks, because they do come in useful. Hey, boy. What are you doing, dog? What a good dog. What a good dog you are. Boy, oh, he's going upside down. He's upside down. Rub his belly. Oh, God. So I was just distracted by my dog, and it seems we've missed a load of deaths. It's quite nice. People seem to be dying, like, during their sleep. Apparently, Hexwind, he got 72. I uh, just died in the barracks, but so did Felia Earn and Sam Foltz. Uh, thankfully, there's a whole new generation coming through, so numbers, pretty good. Look, we got 69 adults. Nice. I also turned on another lumber mill. So in this one, we've got Jordan Tried, because uh, he tried to make planks. And that is all we ask of our beavers. Just, just try your best. All you gotta do, you just try. So as long as that wheel keeps turning, Jordan, you don't have to fear for your beaver life. All right, so it's another beaver day. Oh, and sadly, Zalithi died of old age. But look, we got two new grown-ups. Happy hallways and... What? Right? Prioritize. We need to prioritize all of this. And just like that, we have seemed to have survived the dry season. Yes, the drought has ended. Oh, it should mean we can raise this back up to two and a half. And then we should see the water will fill that up. Shall we time-lapse that? That could be fun. Let's fast forward. Right, there it is. Oh, my... Goodness, look at the green back there. All right, there we go. We've got water flowing once again. We had a load of deaths again. Oh, so many deaths. We're down to just 66 adults. Damn. So, Psucrode, William, Peregrine, Samuel Valdez, Jack Jackie, Yunru, Mathis Van Dyke, and Adam Bond. They all died. Oh, God. <laughs> So that's, that's not great, that. But uh, at least Sandax grew up, and they are now a farmer. First things first, we're going to be punishing Bridges Suck. Uh, but we need to create a lot more planks for that. So I think we'll turn on this lumber mill. And Bob the Builder's gone in there. So we should have a load of planks ready for next time. Ready to punish that horrible, horrible Patreon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just really happy that my thing... Oh god, did it work? What have I done? Why, Why is it so flooded back here? <laughs> Does that need to come down a bit more? It's on two and a half. I thought two and a half was normal. All right, we'll lower it to two. I thought two and a half was enough. Oh, God, there's so much water. <laughs> Look, these beavers are all getting wet. 
That bridge is like, it's an underwater bridge now. It makes no sense. Uh, we can turn these pumps back on. We can pour some science. So we've got a bit of a flood going on up the top. Now our bridge is now drowning, which is quite a horrible sight. But aside from that, everything was going well. Except for some smart ass bloody Patreons, like the real architect, who I had to build this lovely will for. And we built another one to shame another Patreon. Uh, so the start of this episode, this will be our highest priority. We need to shame those architects. Uh, but a quick overview, we've got like a big farm area in the middle for carrots. We got food production down here with potatoes. And we got a three tier dam system. So we've got one down here that sort of keeps this area green and these three pumping water. So that provides our beavers with drinking water. And that's stored in containers like these. We've then got this dam here, which keeps everything green, allowing our carrots to grow, all these trees to grow, because beavers need wood. Can't build dams out of air. So we've also got some water pumps in here and some power wheels to power various machinery. Over here, we've got a load of science production. That's sort of a, a seasonal job. So it only happens in the dry season when the river dries up. And these two beavers over here, Raven the Depressed and Mick Higgy, they've just been slowly gathering scrap metal from these ruins. And then if we zoom out, so this is our sort of main city. We also added an extra one down this end. So if we come down here, this is our YouTube member district. And uh, theirs is pretty simple. It's just collecting some wood, getting some carrots. But uh, they've got a special mission that we'll be focusing on today involving this area right so <laughs> oh what has happened over here i'm not sure i've been trying to fiddle with this i don't think i can lower the wasp level like, even if i lower that to the bottom like it thinks about working and then it just like nah it's not big enough so maybe i should have made that bigger like more floodgates oh no no it seems to be I think it's going down a little bit. We're still very flooded back here, but uh, it, it might be okay. They're beavers anyway. They, they, they're used to water. All right, so anyway, I feel like things are going pretty well. So today I wanted to focus on these guys and I wanted to give this a try. Do you remember last time we sort of, we imagined a massive waterfall here? Well, I wanted to sort of find out how this works. It's called a water dump. Now, if we want to get up there, we've got to build like a load of ladders and stuff. So if we come down into here into paths and structures, we can build a platform. And I think we'll do one there. So we'll do steps to there. I think we'll do one there. So then if we if we use steps to go one up there, one up there, and then up these two bits, one, two, three. Nice. So then we should be able to get to that pretty easily. So if we then build a path between all of these. So now obviously these steps, they take logs and planks. And these guys aren't producing their own planks. But down here, this is our drop-off point. So the patrons, you can see they're bringing over berries, planks, wood, grilled potatoes, and water. So we do have planks coming over. So that should be fine. They can get up there easily. Once that's built, I just want to see, like, how the water dump works. Like, because I'm not really sure, like, is there, like, imaginary pipes from a pumping station? Or do they literally carry buckets of water up and then just dump it? In which case, that's probably not the most useful thing in the world. But we shall see. Uh, in the meantime, I did want to think about... <laughs> So much water up here. I did want to think about trying to expand our water. I was looking down here the other day. Like, this is a huge, huge valley. And I was sort of thinking it might be cool to sort of, like, dam up either side of it. I don't know how this water dump's going to work. But I'm sort of thinking if I were to dam across here and then bring the water across from there over. I'm almost thinking like a viaduct sort of thing. Oh, yeah, a viaduct could be cool. So if we were to dynamite a little pathway along there and then we could viaduct along here should i viaduct i don't even know if viaducts will work it, it might do there's only one way to find out isn't there is it out of it is out of building range though that is the downside so if we want a viaduct it's gonna have to go along there or could these guys do it no it's out of range okay so i'm thinking we build like a little channel with dynamite which i haven't even unlocked yet but uh <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there oh look our power wheel's complete. So before we do any of that, we've got to find Bridges Suck. So Bridges Suck, you are currently an inventor. So if we pause that inventor hut, will you go in the power wheel? No, where's he going? Where's he going? He's going to a lumberjack flag. Which one? That one, right. We'll pause that lumberjack flag. Yes, and now he's going to the power wheel. <laughs> and we'll just fast forward as he runs over. All right, there he is. Shame. 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 Everyone join in at home. Shame. 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 <laughs> all right i have too much fun sometimes um i also i know this is a bit silly but i don't i don't like that bridge it's like it's cantilevered it's not it's not good looking it's not a bilf and we are here for bilfs so i was thinking we unlock this suspension bridge two by one it's going to cost us 200 science and a load of planks but i think it'll be worth it so yes we will unlock the two by one bridge please and then i'm actually gonna delete this i know <laughs> 
I know. This could be a mistake because I'm not sure how they build things. But yeah, that's deleted. And then we're going to plonk that in. Delete that path at the end. And then plonk that one there. And then if we prioritize both of these, I'm hoping they can build this end and then somehow build this one from the end. So let's fast forward and watch them build it. They are beavering away. All right, here are our team of builders. Look, for Breezy going insane. Sevens carrying boxes like no one. Lord finish. Good work, guys. Oh, God, what's happened with these beavers? <laughs> what are you two doing in there? The wheels aren't moving. I am not even going to ask what that's meant to mean. Uh, but let's let's work through the night. We'll up the working hours. I just want to see if they can build this bridge from that side. Yes, they can. Can you see that? They're building the bridge. Okay, we're going to do that just so these guys can get home. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> so their punishment was so hard, they literally fell out and fell asleep. But uh, this is nearly finished now. They're just doing planks. And then these stranded guys, they can get home again. There we go. So I took a bit of a hit there. Obviously, our distribution post was completely closed, meaning none of our YouTube members could get any of the resources they need. Uh, but to be fair, look at this. They've probably been beavering away. Oh, and we actually have an unemployed beaver. Yeah, Jared Nolan. He's eight years old. He's homeless and unemployed. So we can at least fix one of those things. I think we'll make you a builder along with Boarhound and Matty Patati. Or maybe we should try and make you guys more self-sufficient. Yeah, actually, sod that, you're sacked. You can go pump some water. Because I think we're going to need water for this water pump. I really don't know how it works, but I imagine... They're going to have to manually carry water up there, which, as I said before, makes this pointless. But uh, anyway, let's let's start designing our viaduct. Now, I should, I don't know, should I build the dam first, actually? Am I even going to be able to build the dam? Is it too far away? All right, I can definitely build this end of the dam. Okay, so let's do that first. Let's, let's design the dam at this end. I think if we do that there, do triple floodgates like that, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to block these up with levees. So we'll probably do those three there and those three there, right? So that should dam this up. I'm also thinking I might do another dam there with floodgates, just so we can get the water level up there, but I'll leave that for now. Uh, we're going to want a dam down this. Oh, damn, that's going to be a big dam. <laughs> All right, so that's three high, and it drops one step there. So we just need to do four a four high dam. So that should be all right for now, but no one can build that. I think that's going to have to be a new district. It's going to be quite complicated, I think. But uh, let's get a new district in. So I think we'll build that sort of, I don't know, down there maybe? Yeah, maybe there. So we've got district there. We need a district gate. I'm probably going to rip up a load of trees. So let's do that first. We've got to come into plant crops and close planting. I'm going to do these ones just because that's got the most birch in it. So they're all dug up. Get people to demolish all of those. Oh, we'll reduce the working hours down. Back to 16. 24 is a bit much when there's no there's no issues going on. Oops. And we'll do a path over here. We'll have to go up with steps there. All right, so as these guys remove the trees, I'll just path behind them. Nice, three more trees. Good work, guys. And then for this path, we'll put our district gate in. I've then just done a path from the corner of this dam over to there, and I assume... Oh, actually, are these in range? That might be in range. Let's see if any... Let's high prioritize that. Is anyone going to come and build it? If so, we can get rid of the district. Oh, no, it's only in range because it's in the new district. Hang on, let's delete that a second. Right, I've merged the district. Yes, it's actually in range. Oh, cool. Okay, so they can actually build that from there. Okay, so that's good. That is good. Um, Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to increase the height. Although, that would be a lot cheaper. Yeah, I'm going to unlock the triple platform. So that's 200 science. It'll be worthwhile, though. And uh, what I want to do, I want to stick those on top. So this is going to look a bit weird, but it will make sense in a second. So we'll basically do that. And basically, that will allow my little beavers to build a path on top. Meaning, as they build each one, they can build the next one, build the next one. Because they can only build things, like, right in front of them. Like, Mondu Calera. They're up there, beavering away. And uh, that's building this. Look, do you see that block? It got built from up there using beaver telekinetics. It's very impressive. All right, so since our dams are sort of in place, we should probably look at creating the dynamite. Because that's what we need to actually move the water about. I and mean, also, I didn't really appreciate... Look at the bridge! It looks so much better now. <laughs> I'm so pleased I did that. Look at it. It's like a proper bridge. Who's using it? The mayor. He's using it. And who's that? Big Riley. Nice. So yes, we need some dynamite. Uh, but before doing that, look, we've got 10 homeless beavers in this district. Right, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to build on top. We're going to have like two tier bunks going on. Oh, we do, we do actually have some cool barrack things to unlock. We've got large barracks and row houses. I'll tell you what, let's build a large barrack. 400 science that is. That's quite a lot. 
Look how many beavers we have. We got seven unemployed beavers. I've not been paying attention. Are you sure you want to unlock the large barrack? 400 sites. Yes, please. So that will hold 16 people, which is insane. That's awesome. So we'll bung that there. And obviously no one can get to that. So we're going to need steps up. We'll do step there, a platform, and then steps on top. And then we'll have to put a path in because we need our safety railings so no one falls off. So that's quite a fall. That Look, it looks like this guy's already fallen off. Santa's enforcer. <laughs> You're meant to be good at being on roofs. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, let's turn this forester on up here. So Nolan does stuff. You're going to be a lumberjack now. This isn't just any old stuff. This is important. You're going to be getting your feet wet up here. Look, <laughs> Look at the water. Be careful. It, it's deeper than you think. Uh, I guess we can turn the shredder back on. So William Johnston has gone in there. And that turns our scrap metal into metal sheets. We've currently got 422 scrap metal. Yeah, but only 208 metal blocks. So you can get to work doing that. The lumberjacks are all good. Wraithful Nick, Big Riley, DeLucas. They're all in there. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I've just noticed the YouTube members, they finished their water dump. Uh, so let's just pause it quickly. Time is flying. We need, we, need to, we need to sort this out. Right. So let's get everyone employed first over on this side. So we're currently not making any gears, but I don't think we need to. I feel like the only job we need to do. Yeah. All I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn science on, I think. So eight equals D. I like that your name sort of looks like a knob. It's a very strong name. But you're now a scientist. So is Vodarsky and Tatoff. Nice. So now we have no unemployed beavers again. So that's good. And we're producing fat science now. So that's even better. Uh, before we get to YouTube members, I am going to start building the dynamite stuff. An explosive factory costs 400 science and then 30 planks, 30 gears and 30 metal blocks. So I think we'll build one of those. And oh, that's quite a cool building, isn't it? I think we'll plonk that there. So that will create dynamite. We then need to unlock dynamite, which costs 600 science. Bloody hell. So I guess we may as well unlock that. And then we can start planting these wherever we want them. But they won't get filled up until this is built. So let's first just put this explosive factory on high priority. It's going to take a bit of building because there's quite a few ingredients there. Oh no, does it actually need power? Oh, it needs power. Hang on, hang on. Right, delete, delete. We're going to have to build it on this side. So explosive factory. Oh, it doesn't fit very nicely. That's annoying. I'll tell you what, we can plonk it there. And then because it's touching these buildings, which are touching the engine, it should have power. We'll just have to redo the path at the front like that. And I'm going to delete that one because that's annoying. There we go. Cool. Uh, so this takes 150 power. So what I might do, I might turn a lumber mill off because these use 50 HP each, which I'm still annoyed they haven't changed it to beaver power yet. Uh, so that engine creates 200. So if we pause you, I'm sorry, Jonathan tried. You you tried, to be fair. You did try, but you're, you're sacked. You're fired. <laughs> right, explosive factory, high priority, and that should be fully powered. And then we don't need to turn the extra engine on. So that's all good. That's sorted. So for the actual viaduct itself, we just need to be in building range. And I think, looking at this... Our range goes pretty far, so we should actually be able to go wherever we want down there. So I'm thinking it might be better if we sort of explode a route through there. I'm going to say get rid of all the trees along that line. I'm going to say demolish them. And with our dynamite, we want one there and one there. Basically, we're going to do like a strip through there. So where those trees are, that will be exploded. And that takes a block out underneath. Then water will come out there. I'm sort of thinking rather than dynamiting, I'm only going to dynamite that strip, I think. I might use levees to like make our viaduct. I think I want to use, I'm not entirely sure. I think I want to use like the platforms. But I don't know what the metal platforms look like. They're really high. Shall we unlock one? It's 500 to unlock. That's like half my science. I want to see what they look like. Yeah, sod it. We're going to do it. We're going to do, we're going to unlock it. 500 science points. Oh, it's huge. It is huge. Oh, so that's annoying. That's actually too high. <laughs> Oh, but they look fantastic. That's literally just what we want in terms of looks. All right, I'll tell you what, this is going to be stupid, but I'm going to dynamite a strip out so we can put them under the ground a bit. So if we plan where we want these, All right, so <laughs> this is so like pointless, but cool. <laughs> How much do these cost each actually? 200 metal blocks. Oh God, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford this. There's not a lot of metal left. Yeah, I tell you what, I think that's too expensive. 200 metal blocks a piece. We're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Right, so the other method I was looking at is we can use a various mix of platforms. Right, the trouble with doing that is I don't think water's going to flow on there. So that probably needs a levee on top. Oh, and you can't build a levee on top of 
Ooh, okay, that's that's sort of changed everything. You can't build a levee on there. Now, I could build it out of levees. So we could sort of do that sort of thing to funnel the water. It's definitely not as impressive. Definitely not as impressive. Let's be honest, that's going to cost a fortune as it is. Let's just check before we do anything. Can we build levees on top of these platforms? No, we can't even build levees on there, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. Because I was going to use levees, like, either side, so the water could channel down the middle, but... Oh, but that's a shame. That is a shame. I, I thought we had something good going on there. Okay, I'll tell you what then. We're just going to... We're going to do this the cheap way, kind of. And we're just going to use dynamite. So if we do a strip along there, do that sort of thing. We'll mark those trees to be destroyed. So you are in the way. And then we'll explode on the path. We'll put a platform for the path to go over. And then more dynamite afterwards going up to there. And that will fill that in. All right, nice. We seem to have gained an unemployed beaver. Uh, you're not a YouTube member. I tell you what, YouTube members, you're probably getting pretty old now. I might turn on the old breeding pods again. And yeah, I'll leave that unemployed guy for when this is built. Because once it's built, they can be the explosive factory person. So over to the YouTube member side. So we want to see how this water dump works. So who is that sat on their ass? Jared Nolan. Right, mate. I, I, I went to fire you. I accidentally fired the other guy. <laughs> I'm going to fire both of you. Sod it. You're both fired. Right, one of you. You're a water pumper. Matty Patati. You are a water dumper. Look, is that him? He's carrying a barrel of water. So he's stocking the water dump. Oh, oh, it's brought life to the area. Oh, okay. So that's filled with water. It's got six water. And then is that it? Is that all that happens? Because that's going to run out. Yeah, he's used up three water. So when that number gets to 100, that's all the water gone. But look, we're bringing life back. We are bringing life back. Oh, but then it dries out again. Unless we keep it running. So we might need like a hauling post over this side. Just to keep it sort of stocked up. So you can keep pumping. And someone else can keep moving water. So shall I do that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So hauling post. That can go in there. Now, there's no one to build at the moment. So we need to unpause that. So Jared Nolan, you build the hauling post. And then you're going to become a hauler. But uh, that's quite interesting. So I think we could possibly get that flowing so we have greenery on this side and then once this is sort of set up we can top this up with our dam with our floodgates yes yeah, so this is just like a temporary solution it's not it's not really a solution i don't know why i'm doing it really <laughs> i'm just doing it because i really like looking at this area going from brown to green let's let's just watch it one more time ready oh it's so satisfying i don't know why look how far it spreads that's awesome but yeah, that's good. That is going to expand our area down here. We, we could plant some more trees. We are a bit short on trees. So maybe the YouTube members can sort of be foresters and farmers. All the Fs. All right, meanwhile, our dam is still very much flooding. I think what happened was I let it fill up to the top and the sort of pressure behind it got way too much. Like that's open fully and like more water should be pouring out than that. It's just weird. Oh God, we got leaks over here. We got leaks. I don't think it's leaking, actually. I think it's just overspilling over the top. But, um, yeah, we'll have to fix that somehow. All right, so meanwhile, our explosive factory seems to be built. Uh, task program is in charge there. I don't know why you just sat there, mate. Why aren't you making some dynamite? Have I have I messed something up? Oh, they need paper and explosives. We bulls. <laughs> we haven't got any paper. All right, so we need a paper mill, which takes 80 HP. Oh, God, okay. So, yes, paper mill unlock. Oh, wow, look. It's like a roll of toilet paper. Alright, so paper mill goes there, and I feel like I may as well, just while we're here, I may as well unlock the printing press, because that gives us knowledge. And knowledge is power. And that fits in there lovely. And it means everything is connected, but it means we're going to need more power. So we'll turn that on. So Ryan ML, you have gone in there to create power. Cool, so they're all getting built now. You can see, oh god, look at all those haulers. They're all carrying logs everywhere. Yes, they're fueling the engines. That's what that was. They were making sure these were stocked with logs. Because uh, if they're not, we don't have power. Uh, meanwhile, up over here, they're demolishing our trees, which is good. So we can start pathing behind them. No, we don't want to start pathing. No, 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 no. Not yet, Matt. Later, later. We want to start dynamiting. Now, I don't think dynamite should be getting wet, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not built yet, technically, so it should be fine. Yeah, we're also going to need steps up to there so they can build that. So let's bung some steps there and just extend this path. Uh, yeah, I thought this might happen. So this is the downside with using floodgates is they can't get around them. Like usually they can just like stand on top of these levees. But because it's got this stupid roof thing on it. Well, it's not that stupid. That's what raises and lowers the gates. But they can't get round. So we're actually going to have to build like temporary scaffolding platforms just so they can get to that side to build. I mean, or we could put a bridge in. A bridge could be cool. Oh, bridges are quite expensive. 20 planks. 
compared to just 12 if we do that. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right, I've just seen we've had our first birth in the YouTube members. So look at this little beaver down here. What's his little name? Bert Haas. Nice one, Bert. Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one. Michael Hart. Nice. Two little baby beavers. How are the other ones getting on? Green pods, low progress, low progress. Ooh, there will be another one soon as well. And also I've noticed down here, you guys aren't doing anything. James Lee, Valentin, I think I'm going to sack you for a bit. Oh no! I was going to say, why aren't they doing anything? They've got loads of food. They've got nowhere to store it. So in which case, we're going to build you a small warehouse. And I will pause you for now, just so we can get the warehouse built. So you're all builders for now. But then you can start harvesting your carrots. Uh, Tom Younger, again, I'm not going to just have you sitting there, mate. As comfy as you look, you can go be a hauler. So that hopefully we can just keep Matty Patati supplied with water up here. Because no, look, this is proper filling up as a little lake down there. That's pretty cool. Although, why, why am I bothering to prioritize that? <laughs> I think we'd be better off having everyone as builders, to be honest. Because uh, we do need to get this, this end structure done. Like the dams and all sorts. Who's that? Is there a lumberjack over there? Yeah, hello and his is the lumberjack. I don't know why they're not doing anything. Oh, yes, I do. I do know why. It's because I told you to cut every other tree, didn't I? And it looks like you've done that. I don't know if that was the best plan, to be honest. It might be worth putting like a ladder up so you can go chop down some of those trees. Or well, not a ladder, steps. You know what I mean, steps. Yeah, so tell you what, we will pause you for now. And then you have become a builder as well. Nice, cool. All good. All good in the hood. Oh, look down here. I've just noticed sleeping out in the rough. So our new baby, baby Julie Delaney. I'm sorry you've been born into completely homelessness. Now, at least you're not sleeping alone. We've got a whole YouTube member pack here. Is it a pack? Is it a pack of beavers? We do have like a weird name. It's, it's usually like quite linked, isn't it? Like, could it be a dam of beavers? Yeah, I'm going to call them a dam of beavers. Oh, but anyway, as another sun rises, look. Everyone was sleeping in our new large barrack. Look at all these people that slept in there. So many. Is, is it completely full? It's full already. And we still have two. <laughs> There's still two homeless beavers. Oh, wow. Okay, we might have to build another barrack. I'm sort of thinking I might pause some of these. I feel like we're giving birth to too many beavers. It's a bit overwhelming at the moment. I think we'll pause half of them for now. Uh, meanwhile, look up here. Look, we're making paper. We're making beaver paper. So Realm Cross Myths is in here and they are turning logs into paper. That is, that's such a cool building. Like, <laughs> look, so it's got the little, like, the printing roll thing. So like, squish it down, get rid of all the water. And then look, you can see the sheets of paper up the top. They like hang up there. That's so cool. <laughs> and then in the printing press, we got Jordan Tried and Mythos. They're creating books. That'll give us knowledge. Uh, but the priority for me is the explosive factory. I'm actually going to prioritize that. We want to make sure it's always stocked up. Oh, but cool, good. We've got three unemployed beavers as well. So I'm going to have another scientist. Position time wasting a jalapeno. I'm sorry your name didn't fit in. We got we got to Halla at the end. Uh, you're now a scientist. Congrats. Uh, we should... <laughs> We've still got Bridges Suck and the real architect in there. Thankfully, this time, we had no disgusting patrons join. Because <laughs> uh, these are quite expensive to build, so I'm quite pleased about that. Uh, two more jobs. I guess we may as well just increase haulers. So down it, you can, you guys can join Tom Oliver and Jonathan Kivers. So we've got Dorastafan and Slarty But Fast. And that's great. Slarty But Fast. That is exactly what we want from our haulers. We want them to be fast, but a little bit slarty. I love that this warehouse power wheel thing now looks like the strongest shape. It's shooting, um... Yeah, ignore... Ign <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> All right. So before we get too far, let's do a little stock up. Look, we're actually gaining some dynamite now. So the guys, they can start laying those down. Oh, and now our now our strip of trees have been done. We can also dynamite through there. So let's get them laid down. Nice. I'm I'm not sure like what's going to happen here in terms of like, the waterfall. Like whether I need to do that a little bit wider at the bottom just to sort of catch the water. <gasps> our first dynamite's gone in. Oh, I want to press the button. It's a big red button. I want to press it. I want to press it. Uh, but I, I also want to do it in a chain reaction. So I won't press. I will not press. I will leave it for now. Oh god, we got three new unemployed beavers. Because three new people have grown up, including Booty Blaster. <laughs> and we've also been told the dry season is approaching. So in 2.4 days, we're going to have a long dry season. So thankfully, the water will finally be lowered here. Now, I wonder if it's worth. Should I raise this? Is that going to cause any carnage to two and a half? Oh god, it has 
It's flooded a little bit more. Nothing too major. That's all good. Our unemployed beavers, I think we'll put them in the holding post. So Booty Blaster, Little Brown, and Ace Rob 20 have now joined the other haulers. And okay, now we've got 12 homeless beavers again. Oh, God. Let's, shall we build another, some more housing for them? Let's build another large barrack up there. But yeah, I was, I was taking stock as to how we're doing. So gears are pretty low. Maybe I should turn the gear workshop back on. So nuking into Kruken. <laughs> What a name. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds incredible. Uh, they're now creating gears out of planks because uh, gears take ages to make. They're really slow and we had used up quite a lot. Uh, otherwise, food's looking good. 1200. Water's looking really good. 1500. Logs, again, not ideal. I feel like there's a lot of logs to be logged. <laughs> If you know what I mean. So maybe I should build some more lumberjack flags down here. Because so we've got four down here. We've got Go Get Forked, Wrathful Nick, Big Riley, and DeLucas. They're all logging. But there seems to be like more trees than logs at the moment. So maybe we could add a few more as we got so many beavers. Oh, and over here, look at this dam. Oh, this is a hell of a structure now. Great work, guys. And look, the line of dynamite is in as well. Oh, this is going well. This is going really well. Oh, look over here, look. We've somehow stopped the flooding. It looks how it's meant to look again. <laughs> yes. Oh, we had a whole episode of flooding from our dam, but now it looks good. Anyway, as you can see in the top right, it's now the dry season. There is a drought happening, which means we're not producing any water at source. So we're going to have to use our adjustable mega dam to keep an eye on levels. You can see here, current water level is about 0.3. Oh, it's going up. How's it going up? <laughs> is one of you peeing? Wait, who's peeing? Who's peeing in the river? Oh, yeah, we've still got these four things. So these are where people come for some alone time to uh, pump their logs. They, uh, they use the latest in log technology to extract water from the river and turn it into drinking water. So in these four, we have... Robert Beckley, Anthony Avastia, Mr. Brutiful, and Happy Hallways, they're all busy working their wood in there, uh, which is great to see. However, their water level will be dropping over time. So yeah, we're currently down to 0.28. It's going back up. Is someone pee? What is going? Is it you? Who, who are you? Jordan, did you pee? Uh, but we have this, our adjustable dam, where we can raise and lower the floodgates to allow water to enter here again. And likewise, same down here. We have a massive, massive lake down here. Uh, with three more log pumpers, Super Bobich, Wooza, and Kimberly. They are all pumping away. Uh, thankfully, though, this one's way deeper, so I don't think this is ever going to run out. But as we let water into this, we do have a little overspill dam, so it will come down here, which is quite nice. Uh, but yes, things were going well in our Beaver Kingdom. However, we do have a couple of sort of emergency situations occurring. There's really not much scrap metal left, so we might have to think about expanding. Now, or we just stop production completely. We currently have 500 on us, and I don't think we need scrap metal for anything, if I'm honest. Um, the other situation is I've looked at the latest Patreon names, and it appears these punishment wheels will not be enough. We've got at least two or three more coming, so... We're going to have to build. We'll do two more warehouses. One there, one there. Two power wheels on top. And then stairs so they can get to them. And cheeky path, just because they may as well use the actual storage. Not a complete monster. But yeah, if you didn't watch the last episode, we built these for Bridges Suck and The Real Architect. And uh, I'm glad to see their comfort levels are pretty low. I'm considering taking off the steps to see if they get stuck in there. <laughs> Shall we do that? Who do I hate more? Real Architect or Bridges Suck? Oh, they bloody escaped. They escaped right in front of my eyes. Oh, next time. Next time we'll get you. All right, so meanwhile, I'm just pausing these because they have no power currently. Because it's the dry season, the river is not flowing. So the power wheels are not spinning. And it just reminded me, as I clicked on this gear workshop to see who's working in here. Um, I, I got a bit embarrassed at the end of last episode. <laughs> I, I didn't realize what the translation of this meant. So um, you know what that means, don't you? Shame. 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 Right, everyone join in in the comments. Shame. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> no, fair play. You got me. You got me good. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. Oh god, so I've just noticed we've, we've run out of water. These guys have completely overworked their wood and there's no water, so we're going to have to lower the adjustable super dam to uh, refill this area. And I love doing this because uh, I say it every time, but look at it. Look how satisfying it is. Just all the trees going back to life. All the carrots coming back to life. Beautiful. Uh, it's definitely something we need to keep an eye on, though. Uh, and the same down here as well, because if we pump too much down here, if the water level drops too much, I'm pretty sure all of this area will go brown. So our potatoes and our carrots here, they will be at danger of dying. Um, so I might lower this again, actually, because uh, the more water I let through... Oh, and look how satisfying the water physics are. Can you see, like, the level dropping behind it? 
That is cool. You can't say that's not cool. But yeah, you can see the water level rising in here. It's sort of coming through in a wave and it should spill over this dam. There we go. And that will top up this bottom area a little bit. Lovely. And oh no, look what I've just spotted. A dead beaver. <laughs> Oh, it's sevens. They got to 80, to be fair. That's pretty good. It looks like you sort of fell off, like you fell from a height. Were you trying to stack logs up there? But yeah, joining sevens was Duncan Brown and Dean Larson and Bebop Turtle. Oh, no. My poor little beavers. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, but at least Julie Delaney has grown up. So we have a new generation coming through, ready to replace some jobs. All right, the water just got used up again, so I'm letting more through. We've still got an extra block to go down by, so I'm not too concerned yet. Oh, God, maybe I am. Maybe I am. Look, there's hardly any water left. Oh, God, okay. All right, I'll tell you what, then. We might have to pause these log pumpers for a little bit because we've still got two days of dry season left. So we're going to stop... Pumping water. We've got plenty stocked up. We've got 1,500 water. Because what I don't want to happen, I don't want this to go green. Oh, God, everyone's gone hungry and thirsty. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, they're just ravishing the water supply. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, crap. That was like 200 water instantly. All right, down here has dropped a level as well. Like this grass, it was not out earlier. So whether I need to pause these pumpers, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, crap. Jared Nolan died of thirst. They're YouTube members. Why are the YouTube members thirsty? Where's your water? Right, so I've just paused the water dump. I don't think there's any need to uh, <laughs> pump water up there. Especially if they're not going to drink it at thirst. I thought you'd prioritise drinking, you idiots. Oh, it's because we can't get any more water. Look, because of where it's located. Oh, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Right, I'll tell you what then. We can fix this fairly easy. We can either move the pump like to there. But I want to try a bit of dynamite. So I feel like our other dynamite is going to take a while. Oh no, maybe we can't. We can't place dynamite because the pump's there. Bollocks. Okay, we're gonna have to demolish that. Sorry, Boarhound, you're out of a job. There he is. He's like, oh, bollocks. All right, so in order to move this back a bit, we're gonna need to place it on platforms, I think. That's probably the cheapest way of doing this. So I think just put one platform there, and then I can put this pump there. Nice. That's a lot better. And we'll path that up. Sorted. Jobs are good. All oh, good. Right. Meanwhile, how are you guys getting on? There's a hauler not doing it. Well, there's three haulers not doing anything. James Lee, Bert, and Michael. Now, I think they're not doing anything because we paused this. Their main job was bringing water up to there. So I'll tell you what, we may as well get on the farms. So we'll unpause that and we'll pause the hauling post. So the builders will be building that. All good. Now, they're also, I think they're still building this as well, aren't they? All right, so thankfully the dry season is over. You can see the water is flowing through, which means we can turn all these water pumps back on. And things that require power, like the shredder and the lumber mills. Oh, good. Look, water is flowing again. And oh, you can see down here, actually, where the water level dropped, half of their crop did get ruined. Oh, no. No. Okay, so over here on the YouTube member side, I was like, why is, why is this side gone all brown? It's because our water dump thing was paused. So no water was getting down there. So let's unpause that. All right, so now Bert is going to be dumping some water. Water, and then the hauling post is back open to take water up there. Uh, for some reason, they're not prioritizing this. Let's prioritize. I'm worried they're thirsty again. Why are you always thirsty? Oh, look, they got a new baby over here. Oh, dear. Oh, is that another one down there? Yeah, it's baby Grant Purdue. You're having a little snooze on the path there. I assume he's just been born. That's sort of what happens to new births. But yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about the YouTube member side. They see... I don't know what they're... I don't know. They can't really get their shit together. I don't... <laughs> I think they're a bit unsure of their purpose at the moment. It doesn't help that I'm just wasting water by pumping up. Oh, no one's actually working in there. And where have they all gone? Anyway, let's raise our dam now. I think water has flown through everything. So up to two and a half. So that should store a nice bit of water back here. Oh god, we've had a few old age deaths. I don't mind old age deaths. But yeah, right. So we were working on mainly the dynamite thing last time. Now, if we click on the explosive factory, you can see here the efficiency is not 100%. Now, we're not actually making enough power that the entire network, all these buildings connected together, are not too great. So I'm thinking, do I pause the printing press? Now, what does knowledge do? Knowledge increases working speed. I'll tell you what, I might pause the printing press just because I want to focus on the explosives and that reduces the amount of energy used as well. And so if we come over here, oh, you can see our dynamite's nearly ready to go. Nice. I think as they're making dynamite, it's being planted and it's not quite complete yet. Um, oh, bollocks. The de Not again. <laughs> All right, I'm sort of thinking this should probably be like three wide, maybe. Maybe the water physics require a three wide river at all stages. Bollocks. Okay. 
We'll lower that for two for now, and hopefully that will sort of fix the flooding up there. And not that it matters too much. So as you can see here, they do they they find the dry patches to work in. <laughs> but yeah, they are they are beavers, so they're fine they're fine in water. They just waddle about. It's all good. But yeah, I will I will probably replace that strip with another floodgate. Now we might have to fix that to make sure the floodwaters doesn't come on there. So maybe some dynamite to like hollow that out a bit. But uh, for the meantime, I want to look at our canal that we were doing. So this top bit is ready to be blasted. I don't want to do that yet though. Uh, not until these ones down here are done. You can see who's that. There's Fabrizi. They are planting some dynamite. I can't actually build these ones. They're too far away. Okay, okay. So if I just do a path, hopefully they'll be in range now, will they? Oh no, you can see there, they're still out of range. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to need a more direct route. So I reckon if we just went straight up, that should probably reach. So if we go to there and put stairs in. Uh, otherwise, we can probably come from this staircase if we just put like two platforms in there. In fact, I might delete these trees. So if we come into demolish, we can say demolish all those and then we can put our platforms along there. That can be like a little shortcut over to here. But yeah, down this end, these are all like ready to explode. So shall we do a little strip? Just see what happens. I've literally never used dynamite in this game, so I'm pretty excited right now. It's a big red detonate button. <laughs> right, three, two, one. Oh god, are they too close? Ooh, frig me, that was close to those guys. Look at that though. Yes. Okay, so we've made our strip. Uh, we can probably detonate these ones as well. Detonate. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that is cool. Right, and then I want a temporary diversion. So I'm going to use a platform. I'll bung it there. And I'll put a path on top. And I'm going to delete that path. And then I'm going to say bung a dynamite on there. And then we should be pretty good. So we explode some dynamite at night? Yeah, let's see how bright it is. Yay, it wasn't very bright. So that's that bit done. I want to I wanna make this edge a little bit neater. So I'm going to do two more dynamites there. And then one more in the middle, just so the water drops straight down. I'm so looking forward to exploding this trail though, because as soon as I do, actually, yeah, we can we can do this one now. I was worried I was worried the water might leak, but uh, you can see there's a path there, so it's only if the flood water goes. I don't know. Shall we see? Let's see. <laughs> I'm enjoying detonating stuff. So boosh, 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 boosh. Were any of that flood water? Oh no, it is flooding. Cock. <laughs> oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. <laughs> Uh, we've got a flood. We have a flood. I don't think it should matter though. Look, we can see how this end is going to work. So the water enters that and it enters down here and it goes along. Oh God, I believe I flooded. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> I really didn't think that would happen. But yeah, this is going to be good. And that will fill up this channel where we built this huge damn thing last time. And my sort of end aim is to like completely dam this up to the top. And then maybe do a second flood gate wall thing there. So we're almost like a lock. But uh, we're waiting on these guys down here to finish building first. Otherwise, we will get a flood and that will not be good. Oh, I tell you what, I did not see that. Before. That is a huge ruin. That could be where our YouTube members go next. But yeah, that was that was fun. Despite the, <laughs> despite the uh, kind of big flood mess that I've made. Oh, look, this ruin's got like ivy on it and stuff. Is that because I've sent water over there? Has that just grown quickly? Don't know. Anyway, oh shit. God, right, detonate that quick. Detonate. <laughs> look, it's all flooding down here. <laughs> that would actually flood our town if we're not careful. Thankfully, I've just exploded that. And yes, we're filling up this, but this dam isn't finished. <laughs> oh no, this is going to be bad. Uh, why didn't I put floodgates on this? All right, anyway, that's prematurely filling up this dam. I really should have thought this through. They don't have the logs to build that yet. But it does mean I may as well pause this water dump because there's water coming from the other end now. So we got Hello and his in there. I might just say, sod it, cut all these trees down now. I'm not sure the checkered pattern worked. So if we go into cut trees, we're literally just going to say, yeah, cut cut them all, cut them all down. Who cares anymore? Who cares? All right, there you go. And this is filling up and the water's going that direction. That's good. Uh, is this stuff now in range? Oh, it's still too far away. Okay, so we're going to have to do our platform from over here. So if we put three double platforms in, a path on top, if we prioritize these, then we should be good. <laughs> How is it still so flooded? There's like two ways for the water to exit. Oh crap, oh crap, look, so many people have died. So we had a few old ages, but then we had a load of thirsts. Oh, they're all the YouTube members. Cock. 
Oh no, look, even Grant Pert, he was like the newest, he was one of the newest YouTube members. They've literally been annihilated. Why are you guys so thirsty? Is no one bringing you water? I thought the patrons are bringing water over. Yeah, we're actually, we're quite short on water. 700, what's going on? Are, are these pumps not filled with people? The pumps aren't filled with people. We don't have enough water. All right, I've just sacked all the haulers. So Booty Blaster, the Rasta Fan, Jordan Tried, and Mythos, they're all pumping water. Down here are three in there. Okay, so we're pumping water again. That is good. I might add another water pump as well. Just purely because I need to get more water over to these guys. So I'm also going to this distribution center, this like circus looking thing. I've just put It's Icy in there as well. He's going to help him and William. And what they do, they carry materials. Can you see this? This is William Johnson. He's got a load of, he's got a load of resources on his back. He's using our bridge. Lovely. He brings it over to here, the drop-off point for the YouTube members. Because uh, they are they are literally dying of thirst. Look, they got a red exclamation mark. That is never a good sign. If we click on here, they've got zero water still. Right, can we prioritize water? I don't know. They're so thirsty. Oh, we've got a water pumping out. Right, stop the logs. Go pump water. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did that go so badly wrong? We lost so many lives. Oh, God, this is getting stressful now. I actually care about my beavers. I'm sad that they're all dying. All I can really do is up the amount of people that help out. Look, Hippity Harry is now helping too. So do these guys have water now? Yes, they've got water. They've got 13 water. They're making their own. They're being brought water. I think we've just prevented a beaver-demic happening over here. You, thank goodness. And look, good work. Who was that? James Lee is building the dam because he knows the water is coming. All right, and look, our paths are nearly complete. There's just one more to do over here. The double platform. We're just waiting on some planks. Uh, we've got plenty in storage. We've got 13. We only need two more. And once that's done, we should be able to do the remaining dynamite. <laughs> and maybe get rid of this flood. Just maybe. Oh, and over here, we've just, we've just had a new birth. Look, this little, this little munchkin running around. Look at his name, Engineer Matt. You're going to go far, I feel. You're going to go very far. But look, our platform is done. And now the beavers are bringing dynamite over. Yes! Yes! Anthony, you legend. All right, so the official dark is just planting the last piece of dynamite. So I'm going to detonate these two. So that's pretty good. I'm going to detonate maybe two more, maybe just one more in there. So I think one there for now. And then we'll see how straight the water goes. In real life, you'd probably do a bit of a plunge pool there. But maybe that would be enough. Uh, this will be another test as well. So if we detonate these... Boosh, 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 boosh. <laughs> Love it. Right, will that get rid of the flood? How does the waterfall work? There? Oh, it does. Yeah, but yeah, that seems to be working okay. I, I was a bit worried the water might spill out the sides, but uh, it seems to be all right. Somehow down there, the water's sort of defying physics and just going in a straight line. I'm still going to detonate that one. So that's being built there. The official duck is our dynamite expert. So that is nearly done. And when it is, I'll press the big red button. Boosh. Nice. Just that's a little bit neater. So we're nearly done on our canal, uh, but currently our only waters are flood waters over this path. So I'm going to delete that path and we're going to plonk a dynamite there. And this will actually be like an overflow, uh, meaning it should prevent this from happening again. Should being the key word here. All right. So dynamite is nearly ready to go. Detonate. Boosh. All right. Then to connect our path again, we're just going to put a platform on top and then a path on top of that. And then look, things are all good. So we can probably raise this triple floodgate back up to two and a half. Yes, and we finally fixed this top area. Look at the water coming down. Oh God, there's a fair bit of water. Yeah, but looking good, that's cool. We've made a canal and it's filling up this dam, which just in time they finished this end of. That is good. I might even lower these for now just to get some water down the bottom, just to keep the carrots going. Oh God, look. Is that like a crop circle? If it go like this thing, what, what does that crop circle say? That's, they've definitely made a crop circle there. What does that say? If you look carefully, what, what is that? What is that? I don't know. Um, I think it might be worth doing another load of floodgates for this top bit. So I've just sort of realized if too much water comes down here, it's just going to flood this area. So yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll put them to work on a second dam. So we want levees probably across there. I feel like these can just be the small floodgates, which we haven't actually unlocked yet. 150. So yeah, we'll unlock those. So they're just the mini floodgates. Oh wait, no, we don't even want floodgates. We can just put dam pieces up. So I think we'll do that with dam pieces on top. Or do we want floodgates? Maybe we should do floodgates. Floodgates are adjustable. Oh, but damn, we can walk along the top. I don't know. I don't know. I always want this to be full. Or am I going to want to let water out? 
No, I think that's good. I think that's all I want there. All right, so down here, we've got to try and work out what level everything is. So that level is the top. All right, so I think if we levy up that, and then what I'll do, I'll put adjustable floodgates on the back, and this will be like our overflow thing, because essentially we don't want down here to flood. Oh God, which is pretty close to doing. Let's raise the floodgates. <laughs> Let's raise them to two and a half. Because yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty close to overtopping down there. Right, so if you remember our second generation, uh, they've all uh, they've come to the end of their life. So all these guys, all the 2.0s, they've all died now. But yeah, right, so look at look at this lot. This is beaver teamwork. They're all coming over to build these levees. Right, that's one done. Well, look, did you see that? As the water level rises, the green area is expanding. That is good. Oh, crap. Right, right, pause, pause. Oh, God. <laughs> Right, so over here, the water level is about to overtop down into here again. Look how look how full this is now. Um, thankfully, we've just finished this. So this levee is in. So what I plan on doing here is deleting this path, deleting this triple platform, and then actually deleting a block and then replacing it with a triple floodgate. So I'll do two things if we press play. That will let the water out this side so that end doesn't flood just in time. And then it means the beaver builders, they can come use a path, build that, and then we can do the same here. We have to work backwards because we can't get around otherwise. But yeah, look how much green space we've expanded to. So we can use all of this to plant now if we wanted to. I mean, and all this up here, this is all like unused at the moment. You want to come up here? I'm going to have to stop recording if you come up here because i got headphones on pad. But yeah, you'll notice I kept this platform in here. I was thinking I could like platform all of these canals up so you can't even see that they are canals. And it can be like the new path network. Like get rid of all these weird paths and stairs and maximize this space for growing. Yeah, potentially. Maybe we'll do that. I'm also very close to unlocking our super mega bridge. So we need 3,200 sites. We're currently on 3,045. I'm basically going to use it to build like a really huge spam bridge. Uh, so I'm just wondering, should I go across here? So we can go from up here over to there, straight line. Or we could do like over here, like over... We might have to thread through the shaming area, but we could connect those two up. Obviously, there's not really much point. I just want to do it because it's cool. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what do you think left or right i love the fact that from this angle that really looks like the strongest shape <laughs> but yeah may maybe i'll do both maybe i'll do both but let me know in the comments anyway what you think i should do uh meanwhile i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do the covering the canal thing up yet i think i should wait until all these dams are done and stuff oh look the ivy has died so the ivy grows back when these get wet that's quite interesting that's a cool little cool little thing we didn't know about before but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we've achieved today, guys. We've finished our canal. We've started filling up this, which is going to be like an, almost an unlimited source of water, I expect. I'm going to put loads of water pumps along here and, and all sorts. Uh, we finally fixed our flooding issue up here as well. Lovely. We've defended the engineer name by shaming more architects. Shame. 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 And we had a bit of a culling of the YouTube members, which isn't a good thing, if I'm honest. But... <laughs> Sorry, YouTube members. Um, but now they've got fresh water down here. I've got big plans for these guys. You can see I've unpaused all of their breeding pods. We're going to be YouTube membering it up soon. And we were slowly building this end. So we've got to delete that path. Delete this triple platform. And they've come down into here, landscaping. We can plop a triple floodgate if we rotate it. Oh no, not, not yet, Matt. Not yet. We need to delete that levee. And then water's coming out this end, which is good. But uh, we want them to build that. And we're actually going to lower the floodgates as well. I think we want this to be low so this end doesn't flood. Because uh, basically we've got like a tiered thing going on. We're going to have like a three-tier canal. Sort of like a lock. Lock long, we'll call it. Not lake long. Lock long. So at this end we're just building adjustable floodgates. And then we're currently building something here. What are we building there? So here we're just building a normal dam. So you can see there's, can you see there's like a gap in there. Oh look, you can see my beavers building in the back background good work so yeah this will this will sort of allow this area to be max level and then the water will overspill there come down to here and then we got floodgates here that we can sort of raise and lower at will actually i'm not entirely sure why i did a dam there i think they should be floodgates yeah tell you what we're gonna delete all that and we're gonna put floodgates back in all right so we've got triple floodgates along there and then to get across i'm thinking we do a bridge the only trouble is with a bridge i'm not sure if they can build from the bridge now there's only one way to find out but we'll do it right behind like that so hopefully they'll build that and then they can build the floodgates off of it but no idea if it actually works like that we will have to find out uh, meanwhile, while that's all being 
built. We are very close. I think we've actually done it. We got 3,207 science. Now, this has been like my aim for quite a long time. Yeah, and that's to build a super bridge. So if we head down here into paths and structures, uh, we have a range of things we can build. We've got like platforms and bridges, but we want this one, the six by one suspension bridge. It's the most expensive bridge you can research. But it's going to allow us to span a huge area. So let's unlock that. Yes, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we've got one. You can see like how long it is. Um, My sort of aim is either to do it from here over to there or from there over to there. I'll probably do both. Um, But this is going to take some planning because I'm not entirely sure like where to start. I really want it to be symmetrical about the middle. So I think to start, we'll just sort of work out the height. So I think that side and that side are the same height. So if we were to go from there. <laughs> Look at that. That lines up there, is it? <laughs> oh, it's going to be like one of those bridge meeting in the middle disasters where it doesn't quite work. Um, but yeah, looking at that, I don't think it's going to work out exactly. So I think I want it to go from there. So if we delete that, if I put a platform there, how high does this platform want to be? I think, is that the right height or is that one higher? I think that's the right height. And then can I do my bridge from the platform? Yes, I can. Okay, but I think I need another platform to do a bridge going back the other way. Yeah, I do. So we do another platform, you think. And then a bridge. I can't believe we're building this this early on. Like that. Oh, yes. That's going to be awesome. Okay, so I just need to do the same on this side. So if we delete that one, and then we just want a two-a bridge. That one there. And then we're going to have to demolish some potatoes. If we look straight down, it's that one. So we'll come down to here, demolish buildings and resources. And we'll say, get rid of that. High priority. Oh, and the one next to it. Yes, and the one next to it. I forgot. And then over this side, to connect things up, we're going to need a district gate. Because this is the YouTube member side. So if we put our gate there, then we should just be able to path like that. So that ends sorted. Uh, why has no one destroyed that? All right. I think it's because I have everything on high price. Oh, no, there you go. They've gone now. They've gone now. All right. So now those have been dug up. We can put our platform thing in. So we do two triples and two doubles. Oh, bollocks. Why have I done it there? <laughs> I did it in the wrong place. Wow, that was that was really stupid of me. Maybe I'll just edit that out. No one has to know. No one has to know. But because we're putting a platform in the water now, we're actually going to need two triples. So triple and a triple. Oh, this side's way higher because... Oh my god. What is with me today? I know it's early, Matt. But come on, use your brain, man. All right, so to get that at the same height, do we just want a double? Yeah, double looks good. Um, Although it's actually looking a bit wrong, isn't it? I think it's too close. Balls, it's got to be back one. Okay, so it looks like we can't do a symmetrical bridge, which is actually a massive shame. Or maybe we can. Maybe we can. We'll just, we'll make the gap a bit longer. So we'll delete that. And we're actually going to dynamite this. So dynamite there, please. Um, They can't get to that at the moment. So they're going to need a staircase to get up. So if we bung a platform there, and we'll do steps up. One there, one there. And then steps up there. And then we'll just connect it all with a path. All right, and then we'll delete this one and then we can build where we initially planned to build i think we'll just do two twos because that is the right height and then big ass bridge there lovely and then a little piddly bridge there right and that is quite a cool bridge oh man that's actually a really cool angle i cannot wait to see that oh look look who's grown up engineer matt we've grown up oh and another matt has grown up matt cross key as well so matt cross key you are a lumberjack very good work an engineer matt oh you're also a lumberjack the two mats are working together they're team mats oh, and also i've noticed there's an architect with an mit engineering degree who's grown up <laughs> um how are you using your degree you're a farmer and you're picking carrots. And you know what? I think that's punishment enough. I'm not going to put you in the shame cage. Um, and if you haven't been following, the shame cage <laughs> is this. We've got three very, very ungrateful Patreons. We've got Bridges Suck, The Real Architect, and the name that I can no longer say. These guys have embarrassed engineering, and hence they are set to live out their lives in the wheel of shame. And the best thing is, I'm not even using the power they're creating. Their lives are literally pointless. It is beautiful. Uh, but right, I think things are looking pretty good. We've got our mega structure bridge being built. We've got, oh look, so they've built this little bridge down here. I wonder, can they build? It looks like they can reach the triple floodgate now. Because uh, that's not out of range. Um, I might put a path in though. Just so they can get to it a bit easier. If we come into paths. If we just go like. I actually, actually. I had master plan, didn't I? 
I wanted to maximize our growing area. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put platforms along there and then path on top. All right, down this end of Lock Long, we can finally do the last bit of floodgating. So we'll delete the platform, delete that levee, and then bung a triple floodgate on top. Nice. So this end is done. So we can raise those gates when we want to raise the level here. We just need to wait for this bit to be done. And nice. Nice. Okay. All right. But down in our YouTube member area, you can see here we have one unemployed beaver. So what do we want to focus on down here? They, they're pretty good for food. They're pretty good for everything, to be honest. I wonder whether it would be worth building them some water storage. Let's build those two. Then they can store a bit more water. Oh, and it was Mon38. He was our newly grown up beaver that didn't have a job. Uh, we could probably use some more storage up here as well. Shall we build that as well? Now we've got another beaver. So another small warehouse. Halfed up. Lovely. Cool. So YouTube members, they're, they're pretty happy. They know what they're doing. Uh, they've also been building the platforms as well. So uh, nice work, guys. Uh, oh, and look, our dynamite is complete. So let's blow that up. I love pressing this button. Ready? Three, two, one. Boosh. All right, so now we should be able to plonk our two-way bridge in. Yes. And then they'll start building it. And I think they should just be able to work along whilst building that. All right, so meanwhile over here, you can see we've now covered up our canal, which is pretty cool. Maybe I should do that the whole way up. Like put stairs in there, maybe? Could be cool. Could be a good thing to do. Could be terrible. Not entirely sure yet. Uh, but once they've built this platform and path around there, I want to click on this and see how far will that extend. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to extend far enough. Well, they're actually, who's that? Oh, yes. And look, did you see that one? So they are actually building this dam from the bridge. Excellent. That's just what I wanted. Uh, meanwhile, I feel like it might be worth sort of planting some of this area up. I know we don't have any jobs open yet, but I feel like we need more wood. And But before we do that, I've noticed we've got 11 homeless beavers. Is that just our YouTube members? We click on here, the Patreons. Yeah, so the Patreons, they have plenty of houses. Uh, YouTube members, they're, they're all homeless. Sorry, YouTube members, you're, you're staying homeless for now. We've got bigger priorities. So to expand our wood production, I reckon up here, Engineer Matt the Forester. I think he, is he on top? I don't know. Maybe he's planting over there, actually. Oh, there's actually no work on that one. Maybe that's why we're not producing enough logs. They're just all empty. Yeah, so actually looking at it, I think we've I think we've got enough wood. We just need more people to cut wood. Because there's so many maples about. There's like maples for days. So what I've done, I've just gone through and just made sure there's people in the logging post. So they're all full up. This one up here, Joseph Topanko. Uh, he's now in that one. So I think we should be chopping some more wood down now. Um, I feel like my food's a little bit low. So what I might do with this huge area we've now got. So in food, we haven't unlocked it yet. But we can unlock this, a grist mill and a bakery. So that will allow us to eat bread uh, as long as we plant a load of wheat. So maybe up here, if we choose to put a farmhouse down, so maybe we plop that in that corner. That looks pretty good. And then we'll say plant a load of wheat. So maybe that can be our wheat field. I don't really know like how big it needs to be. Maybe we can go all out. Uh, the only downside is I've just noticed for the grist mill, we're going to need power. Uh, and ideally, I sort of, I wanted to do, I wanted to do that up here. So what I might have to do is make this canal thing a little bit wider. Maybe put a water wheel in it. The trouble is, I'm going to assume if it goes wider, the water level will drop even more. Particularly if we don't go wider from up here. So I'm not too sure what the best way of doing this is. I might try just, yeah, I might try. All right, this could be sneaky. I might try and just put like a little porty bit in. So if we say demolish trees and buildings, get rid of these trees. I don't I don't want these trees. They're annoying me. And we'll even use this, the high priority tool, which we've barely touched on. But we can select all of that. Oh, look at the light. And they're all super high priority. So the first job of all of our builders will be come and dig those up. Uh, then we can come into landscaping and we can lay some dynamite down. So what I'm thinking, if we explode like that much and then maybe where that tree is as well. That should be good. Let's just speed up time. Come on, beavers. Look at them all. Good work, guys. All right, so let's get another stick of dynamite in there. Let's use the old prioritized tool again. Come build these people. We've got 23 dynamite, so that shouldn't take too long. There they are. They got the boxes of dynamite. And the last one. Who's that? You're so slow. Omka. <laughs> Why are you so slow just waddling with the dynamite? All right, so they're in. Let's detonate these. Boosh, 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 boosh. All right, so let's just see how the water reacts. So as expected, it's sort of rushing down this side and it's pretty still in there. If we come into our power, we can build a water wheel. 
You can see that sort of spans both things. So hopefully that should just take the power and be fine. Tell you what, I actually want to detonate one more because I get two wheels in here. Oh, and oh God, we've got the warning to say in three days time, there's going to be a dry season, uh, which sort of ruins all of this stuff. But uh, <laughs> oh well, right, let's detonate that. Let's detonate this one. Now if we come to power water wheel, we should be able to fit two of these in. So we can get one there and one there. Nice. So if we come back to food, we've got our grist mill. Cost 180 science points to unlock. Uh, we got 800 again, so yep, we'll unlock that. And if we plonk that there, and we'll unlock the bakery as well, 160 science, yes. And the bakery we'll put there, and then we'll just connect them both up with a path. We'll probably delete those paths, put a platform there, and we'll just path up like that. Sorted. Question, how much power does that need? It needs 60 HP, and these produce 180. Okay, that's a bit overkill. I wish there was, like, batteries to store power for, like, the dry season. But anyway, nice. In our farmhouse, we've got Buzz flying down under thunder. That's definitely an Aussie name. Uh, we're going to prioritize wheat and planting. And you see, they are busy planting away. Then pretty much once they're grown, they're going to be out of a job. Oh, and i tell you what, actually, it might be worth, rather than having a platform there... Hang on, let's delete that, let's delete that. If we put a dam there instead, then that should hold some water back in the dry season. And then I probably want to do the same down here with that piece as well. We'll have to see how that works. Uh, however, shite, the drought has started. Ah, panic. <laughs> All right, oh, and up here, look, they've built the two power wheels and the power shafts. So we can get them building the grist mill again. Uh, but right, I'm a little bit worried water could be an issue. Because uh, at the moment, all of our water is sort of spilling out of here. So this was our storage area. What I might want to do, I might want to put an adjustable floodgate here. Like a little, the smallest one you've got. So then as soon as it becomes the dry season, I can literally just lift that up. Because uh, that won't flood because this end is lower. And about the moment, we're basically just wasting all of our water. It's all coming down here. And uh, not being used. So that's not very clever. Uh, still, it is what it is for now. We're just going to have to... Oh god, yeah. So this this canal has dried up. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. This wheat could be in trouble. <laughs> Alex, how long does wheat last? It will dry out in 0.5 days. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. That was a complete waste of time. Use that sat in their ass. Buzzfly, yeah. Waste of time, mate. I think we're going to pause you. <laughs> Oh, what a waste that was. All right, I'll tell you what then. That one, rather than being a dam, I think that needs to be adjustable floodgate as well. Just a one-wayer. And then we can at least raise that to stop water spilling out. Oh, and annoyingly, it looks like they can't build bloody... They can't build the dam. So it's in building range, but it looks like they can't build off of a bridge. So as cool as that looks, that was a complete and utter waste of time. So if we delete that suspension bridge, then we can build some platforms. So if we do platforms like that, we know they can build off platforms. We'll just do that across. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, meanwhile, we can we can try and keep this green down here. So you can see the water level is dropping. But uh, we got some spare water, so we can drop that. Oh god, no water came out. The water's already dropped. Drop again to one and a half. So a nice tidal surge down here. Oh, a bit of flooding. A little bit of flooding. But I do really like how the water works in this game. It's cool. Let's hope we don't let too much through and flood the YouTube members. But uh, it looks like just about the right amount. You can see this end just filling up there. And we can just raise those again before the flood happens too much. Lovely. So that will keep our YouTube members in business. And uh, you can see we've got six unemployed beavers. So if we click on like a district, they say the YouTube members, we can see four of them are unemployed there. If we click on this one, the other two are over here. So we probably want to pause all these things that use water power because there's no water coming through for a long time. I can see we're completely out of gears, so I might come up here. What, what's the power like up here? We're, we got way more supply, so I might turn on a gear workshop. So Ace Rob has gone in there. He'll make some gears. Uh, otherwise, it might just be worth getting the hauling post back up and running. So there's our three unemployed people. And should I... I feel like maybe I should start turning these back on. I know it's the dry season. I probably shouldn't be doing this in the dry season. But uh, I want more beavers. That is not enough beavers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of beaver there, but uh, it's not quite enough. I want more. I always want more. Uh, meanwhile, the YouTube district. Oh, look at them all. They're all sleeping out in the rough. You've got James Lee, Chris Roy. Who's over here sleeping on their own? Cody. <laughs> 
Why are you sleeping on your own, mate? Everyone's down here. Who's up there? Mr. Resource, Mon38, and TN. He's only two. What have you been born into? Oh, I've also realized, I think, the way that, like, the building range works is beavers can build off a bridge if they're building another bridge because it touches there. But they can't, like, build these platforms. So we're going to have to do some, like, temporary scaffolding just to build the platforms up. Um, so what's the best way of doing this? It's probably coming from over this way, isn't it? So let's put a temporary path in. Sort of thinking, if we do platforms over to there... We need to get to that level, I think, to be able to build that one. So if we do that block there, we'll do stairs like that. Unfortunately, those potatoes... We're going to have to dig them up. So I'll give them a chance to actually harvest them. Then they're not going to, are they? They're not going to. Oh, yes, they are. They're harvesting, right? So once they've been harvested, we can say dig it up. There you go. It's gone. It is gone. So we can do a triple and a single. And then if we path on there, they should then be able to build everything from that. I hope. Maybe. Potentially. Uh, we, had, we had a few deaths, though, during that. So Logan Schrauf and Zach, uh, they're both Generation 2.0s. They died. James Lee also died. Now, uh, we've had a load of births. Oh, man, it's all kicking off. Uh, hang on, what's this? Architects over it. Right? What are you doing? You, no, no, you're not picking berries. That job is far too good for you. Turn on the power wheel. The gatherer flag, you are being paused. Oh, and I've just noticed this area has gone brown, so we need to lower the floodgates. So we'll lower it. Oh, no, no water came out. We'll lower it again. 1.5, that's not good. We've still got, like, nearly four days left. But yes, the satisfying rejuvenation is in progress. All right, Architects over Engineers is in the power wheel now. You will spend the rest of your days... In the power wheel. Generating power for no reason. Shame. 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 <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Never gets old, shaming architects. Uh, it looks like we're massively low on planks. They can't build all these platforms. So I've just sacked Ace Rob from the gear workshop. And he's now just making planks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the skills are transferable. So that, that should be fine. Shylock, you are a forester here. And you only plant berries. Um, I'm not too sure your job's worthwhile, you know? So I'm going to sack you for a bit. We're going to put you to work hauling so you can join these guys. Right, so down here is like fantastic. Like, it stays so green. So maybe we could expand some sort of growing down there. <laughs> that really wasn't the best location, uh, but they have built that dam piece now. That's pretty good. Let's plonk a path on top as well. Uh, how are these two buildings coming along? So the bakery has everything apart from planks, where we've just we just fixed that. There's more planks being made. Uh, the grist mill has everything except for one gear. How many gears have we got? Ah, oh, bollocks! All right, we're gonna have to turn the gear workshop on just to make one gear. So Ace Rob, <laughs> sorry mate. You're, uh, you're back in the gear workshop. Make one gear, please. All right, I think he's made a gear. He's made a gear. So we can pause that and you can go back into the lumber mill. <laughs> yes, we've made the grist mill. Uh, but we have no power, as you can see, because the water's run out. Oh, look, and this is done as well. The bakery. So I'm going to keep both of those paused for now. But oh, shit. <laughs> the water. Right, we've got to lower this again. We're down to one. Oh, so satisfying, though. Um, my aim is, sort of, when we get down to, like, the last half, I'll turn these pumps off. Um, oh, bollocks. That might be now, because I've just realised this top has run. Okay. Okay. We are turning off all of these water pumps, and we're going to lower this another half. Let some more water out. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> I'll tell you what it might be worth doing. we got 43 dynamite. I might make this top lake a little bit deeper, just so we can store more water. I think that would be quite useful. So let's go into landscaping and dynamite. And uh, let's lace this thing up. Right, we'll make sure they've got a way down, so we'll do stairs down there and down there. But uh, that's a lot of dynamite. That might be more than 43 dynamite. <laughs> Still, every little helps. Every little helps. Uh, oh no, <laughs> that's just reminded me. So you can see here, the Major has died of old age. For some reason, in an earlier episode, I referred to him as the Mayor. Um, Y's and J's, they're very similar. They're very similar letters. I got confused. I apologize. I got confused. And all meanwhile, bloody hell. So down in our YouTube member area, we've got six unemployed beavers. That's insane. 
So what we're going to do down here, we're going to take advantage of all this food. So we're going to unpause the farmhouse. So Mr. Resource and Killer 230, they have gone in there. Um, I think as well, we can probably stop bringing food over because from this place, the distribution post, we are taking food to the YouTube members. Uh, I'm not entirely sure they need it. I think they're self-sufficient in food now. So let's pause the food. We'll keep the logs on the planks and everything else going. Uh, we're going to up the builders. So TN and Chris Roy have joined Mon and Cody. Because uh, we're going to do some building. We are going to build a forester hut. We're going to plonk that there. We're going to path up to it. And we're going to path over here as well. And we're going to build another log pile back here. Probably there. And a couple of lumberjack flags. And then we're going to say plant all of this area. So plant trees. And we want maples. Because uh, we're trying to we're trying to go self-sufficient with the YouTube members. And ideally sort of help out. So if we can provide more logs... Uh, that's all good. Right, it's the end of the dry season. The water is coming back. A uh, little bit worried about our dynamite down here. Does it work underwater? I think it. I think it'll be okay. They've only actually placed one thing of dynamite, <laughs> which is a bit lazy. But I think that's because they were busy building the stairs. Yeah, they're trying to build those. So fair play, it's not their fault. Uh, there's two unemployed beavers in this district. So as water's about to come flooding through. Let's turn on these again. We've got the lumber mill on. We'll turn the shredder on. And we'll turn these four water pumps on. And then I think we might pour some science. I don't think science is worth doing in the meantime. So you lot are all going to have some new jobs. So one of you is going to be a gear workshopper. Down under thunder, that is. Everyone else has gone in these jobs. So yeah, planks are being made. And then otherwise, it's just a case of making sure the lumber mills are full. And I think they are now. So if we want to get water back down this side, because I want to put people in here. So we're going to put farmers back in there. And to make the ground green again, we're going to have to raise the floodgates up to two and a half. And if we just speed up, you can see as the water rises, it should go down there. Lovely. And then... These will go back on. They're replanting that. That dam's doing its job now. Oh shit, it nearly flooded. It's okay. It is all okay. We're back in business. We've got floodgate at the end. What if we lift that up? Does that flood anything? Oh yes, it floods everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa, okay. So that's pretty powerful. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. You've got to be careful with this floodgate. That's sort of for emergencies only. Uh, when the dry season hits and this sort of runs out, that's when we'll do that. Same with this one. So yeah, we've got those guys in there doing that. That's going to take 10 days for those to grow. But once they're grown, we can then put people in these two things. Uh, but for now, I think that's all good. Oh, look. So how is this coming along? They're building the triple floodgate. It's just taking planks now. Nice. Oh, back in the YouTube members, we've got two lumberjacks doing nothing. So prisoner 108. <laughs> you're not a prisoner. You're a beaver. And Rajar. We haven't actually told them to cut down anything. So we should probably do that. So cut trees. We need to mark up all of these, basically. So now they're not just waiting for things to grow they're actually going to cut down these trees so that's good that is all good oh and look this floodgate's finished yes yes okay okay so that means finally we can leave that on two and a half yes and then over this end where we've got the water spilling out the end we can now raise this up to two and a half as well and that will allow lock long to fill up with more water and then we'll have an adjustable way to get water down here so basically we'll just be adjusting these ones to let water down like for example if we come down to zero that gets some water going through i think we'll fill up like this so we'll raise this one up two and a half and if we fast forward we should see this water level start to rise ish it's a bit slow it's a bit is there water coming out there is water coming out it's just taking a while that was a whole evening and it's barely raised, if I'm honest. Um, but reservoirs, they will they will take quite a long time in the season to uh, fill up. So I think that's high enough for now. We can do this one up to 2.5. And then block long should start filling up. And then, oh, bollocks. Why is, why is it flooded down here? Oh, that was the max level. That's why I didn't fill up, because it was all topping down. They don't really miss that. I, I, am not, I am not very smart. But yeah, then I'll probably want to get the YouTube members to sort of keep their base over this side, because then they can pump water from down here, and we should have an almost infinite supply to give them. Yeah, and then we can look at mining this as well, the old ruin. So that's expanding well. Oh, 
God, hang on, I've been, where I've been fast forwarding for so long, trying to watch this fill up. Loads of stuff has been happening. So we've got nine unemployed beavers. Two of them are YouTube members. So let's open this farm. So Livcot and our bunkie have gone in there. And then YouTube members are sorted for now. All right, and over here we've got seven unemployed beavers. Uh, so I'm sort of thinking maybe one can go up here. I think we need another lumberjack. Let's build a lumberjack flag there. I might do another one over here as well. And then we'll start planting these up for more trees. We'll just go all the way around the edge. All right, that'll keep you busy, engineer Matt. <laughs> I gotta do that end strip. That was that was really bugging my OCD, that was. All right, so that's all planted. And that's gonna take well, another like five days or so. So we may as well pause that farmhouse. And we've got even more beavers. So let's unpause the holding post. Let's get some stuff moving. So we've filled that with nine people now. Look at all these lovely, lovely haul. Hang on, who's that? RC looks like an architect, right? <laughs> oh, seriously, there's not even a wheel of shame left. Hang on, I can't be having that though. I cannot be having that. I tell you what, nuking in the crewkin. I feel like you've done your punishment. I am going to pause you. I'm basically playing roulette here. I feel like it's the quickest way. Just pause and then unpause. And as soon as RCE looks like an architect appears, we'll go again. So I'll see you in like 10 minutes probably when this game of chance finally works out for me. Yes, he's finally in. <laughs> Right, so holding post back up to the top. So in the morning, when all of our beavers come out of their lovely barrack. Look at that. That is a hell of a barrack. But look at them all coming out. It's amazing. And then we can head over to here. The real architect. Bridges suck. Architects over engineers. And RC looks like an architect. It's surprising that these guys have all chosen to support me on Patreon. But, um, <laughs> but you, you have brought shame to the beaver community. Uh, oh, and look, they're finally building the big bridge. Uh, before we get into our city, I just wanted to, uh, basically someone from my Discord made a mod for this, and it's based around me. Can you believe that? I'm so proud, but uh, essentially, it works like this. So say say you want to build some, I don't know, shall we, let's start building our mega bridge part two. So we want a bridge, so we'll come down here, paths and structures. And we'll say we'll start off with a little two by one. -er. Make sure we're lined up. We want to be down that path. So we want to be there. So if I click that. Boosh. Did you hear that? That wasn't me. That was not me. That was the game. <laughs> uh, so let's build some platforms for our next bit of the bridge to go on. So they need to go about there. So ready? Boosh. Boosh. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ready? Boosh. Uh, I, I had this, I had a little go with this the other day, and uh, it doesn't take long before it's very grinding, but... Boosh. Right, so the next platforms have to go there, ready? Boosh. Oh, that was a good one, do you hear that one? Oh, it looks like that's high enough, sweet. So we'll shove our next bit of bridge on there. Boosh. Thank you, Matt, for booshing. <laughs> oh, bollocks, we've done it in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to have to delete all that now, balls. So yeah, that, that's a cool little mod, and uh, he also added, if you, if you do quite a few... Boosh. 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 Oh my god. The power. Oh, well, that's a good one. Boosh. 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 <laughs> you get a combo. <laughs> oh yeah. But anyway, we're going to restart this without the mod. As good as it is, it's a bit grating for me listening to myself say boosh all the time. Especially when I just want to say it myself. I just want to put a platform down and go boosh. boosh. Oh, that was weird. That was like double effect. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Captain Dapper, for making that mod. And I can't believe, like, of all the mods to create, that's one of the first ones for this game. <laughs> oh, incredible. Right, anyway, let's get into today's episode. So last time we built this, which is like lock long. It's essentially like a tiered canal thing with a huge overflow dam at this end. Anyway, let's unpause so you can see what's going on. So this end just overflows. And these two, we sort of let water out as and when we want it. We're basically trying to keep this level down here topped up. So all of this is green. And today we're probably going to be planting this strip. Whether we go with trees or whether we go with more wheat, I'm not too sure. We will see. Uh, we might even try and get this. Get some metal mined. I'm a little bit disappointed. I've noticed over here. So this is where we last time, if we look straight down, we made this wider. Uh, sort of hoping that our power wheels would create power. But... We've since put a dam in here, so I wanted this to stay, like, green, so that this didn't die. Uh, that seems to be a mistake, because these are no longer spinning, so we might have to get rid of that dam. That's quite annoying. I'm guessing this movement is just too slow to move that. Bugger, what if we just quickly, like, lower that, just let a bit more water out, does that give it a surge, start it moving? Yes. Will it move for long, though? That is the question. No, they stop. 
Crits. Oh, no, they're, they're sort of having a go. I think they're trying. I don't think there's enough water for them to do that, though, which is very annoying. Yeah, so it means we'll have to get rid of that dam, which probably means this is in completely the wrong area. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to grow in time. Also, I've just noticed, check out the shape of this building. Like, like, the skyline of this building is beautiful. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's our that's our bakery. Oh my god, that looks like a spiky chode one as well. Am I just seeing these everywhere today? Is that weird? Is that just me? Oh, no. Oh, crap. We've got floods down here. Uh, why did that flood? Okay, it seems to have fixed itself. I don't know why that flooded, though. Oh, I do know why it flooded. Because I let more water out. I gave it a surge. Yeah, if I'm ever going to fiddle with stuff, I need to lower this one first. Anyway, we are currently building this bridge. I sort of realized that after the last episode, they're going to build this end fine. But uh, we need some temporary scaffolding up to these bits. So the YouTube member side, which is this side, they're going to have to build that. And I think we'll do it by coming over here, doing a platform there. And a platform there with some steps up. So now these guys, is that guy carrying a box over? Yeah, he is. Who's that? So this is Cody. He's bringing a box over and building that stuff. And then they can build like that platform and that platform, uh, which means from this side, the main bridge can be built. Because I don't think the YouTube members will build this because it requires metal blocks and they don't have any metal blocks. They, they're they quite basic. Oh God, hang on, hang on, we're flooding, we're flooding. Let's lower, let's lower one of these. So maybe the middle one will say unsynchronize and just lower. So now that's got some water pouring out, which should... <laughs> back <laughs> which should prevent this from happening oh man we're, get, we're getting soggy beavers no one wants a soggy beaver oh and i've just noticed down here koi has died of old age so for those that have been following this series from the beginning they will know that koi koi although a patreon member the youtube members would not have survived without him he was bringing their valuable resources from this distribution post and he was making the long pilgrimage over to the youtube drop-off point uh, to ensure they they could all live as well so i noticed in the comments last week people were they feel like i'm favoring the patrons just because i gave them houses and variety of foods and loads of good stuff but no if you think about it the youtube members have it easier because they're being gifted by the patreons all sorts of resources so if i really favor the patrons would i make them be the youtube, the YouTube members, members slave, slave of bringing over resources have a think have a think right so essentially we're gonna do what we were doing to start with when we were booshing about and it's from there so we'll do bridge there two platforms there they gotta be triples and then doubles to get the right height and then another double there and then we can use our massive sixer that can go there and then i think is it over that staircase i think it might be over that set of stairs for the next ones so, yeah that fits perfect nice we'll do another triple and then we gotta work out how far that is can we get away with two twos again no we might need a three yeah, you might have to unlock that. That's 400 science points, uh, but it unlocks the three by one bridge, which I think should fit. I've literally looked at it for a split second, so <laughs> I'd recommend before spending any money, you actually evaluate whether it's worthwhile. But in this case, we're just going to say yes. All right, so now we've got that. You can see this bridge is slightly longer, so we can put that one in there. And then if we delete that path, we can put another one there and look at that perfect fit. We'll just connect those up and lovely we got another bridge and it goes through the shaming area <laughs> all right so that is gonna be amazing the trouble is at the moment it's sort of i've done this a bit like an architect if i'm honest i've decided yes i want a bridge let's build a bridge but there's no purpose for it yet there's no <laughs> there's literally nothing up here and there's nothing over here either so what we're gonna do we're gonna try and make it a bit more practical so think over here we do want to turn this pump back on and i might try going into landscaping and then just putting the dam pieces across here i don't want this to be adjustable i think i just want it to fill up a certain amount and then overspill if required so we'll path over that and then that should at least make this be green so it should be a bit of a nicer area for them still completely pointless but shush uh, meanwhile over here how can we get this involved i'm sort of thinking maybe up here when these beavers get up there, it should be like a nice sort of social area. So if we head into leisure, which we haven't really touched before with these guys, uh, perhaps we can build some of this stuff. Yes, we could build a temple up there. That makes perfect sense. So let's unlock the temple. It costs 300 science points. Whoa, look at that. And then that will go up there. Maybe I'll put it on stilts. I feel like it needs to be higher. But first off, we're going to have to get rid of these trees. So mark for demolition so see you later trees because this isn't high enough as it is it's, it's got to be higher so we'll do stairs there and a platform and then more stairs 
And how will that fit? Oh, that will fit perfectly there. All right, so I'm actually going to use levees to make my platform. I feel like they're a bit more spiritual for a beaver. So how big was it? I think it was like that big, five by five. So we'll make sure those tree removings are on high priority. So we'll just say that one, that one, that one, oh, and, and these outer ones. Actually, just all the trees. All the trees, high priority. Get rid of them first. And yeah, then I want to do an extra sort of... I'm always making it like a pyramid. And then the actual temple will go on this bit. Yeah, the temple will sit on there. Lovely. I'll tell you what, priority tool. I might make these outer ones lesser priority. And that's cool. It actually, show, it's got like different shades of green to show you how prioritized things are. Nice. All right, but they won't be able to get up there until the bridge is completed. But nice, that's looking good. Um, I've noticed we've got six unemployed beavers. What district is that in? Okay, so five of them are patrons, so we got to find five more jobs. Now, looking at resources, again, it's the logs that we're struggling with. Are these guys still logging? Oh, that one's being built still. Oh, and that one's being built. Let's prioritize these lumberjack flags, and we can have a couple more jobs up there. Yeah, but otherwise, can we just up the haulers? We can up one hauler there. So Ryan Kramer has now joined these guys, and I quite like <laughs> this guy here. He is a hauler, and obviously he has the name to suit. Haul in the big one. <laughs> oh god look at food food's being completely slaughtered we have farmers oh man we might need to get some potatoes going maybe over here yeah because the wheat still has a few days left or actually shall we just wheat up everything because i feel like staggering might be quite a good idea now yeah let's do that we'll turn the farmhouse back on now flying monkey and johnny tar have gone in there we'll go to plant wheat i think basically we're just going to fill in all the gaps. Now we should probably get someone to remove those trees as well. Let's get all these trees dug up. And then same with those ones as well. And then a few more gaps of wheat. And we're all good. You can see they are planting away. They are very efficient. Got to give them that. Yeah, but that should get our food levels up. Especially now potatoes are being farmed. How are the early potatoes? Oh god, they're not very grown. So I just noticed we had a new birth over in the YouTube member. So I just typed this person in. And I just realized we got 69 YouTube members. Nice. Uh, thank you. I'll do my best to fill you guys all in. Unfortunately, we've only got 21 beavers at the moment, so there's a bit of a queue, a bit of a waiting limit. Oh my god, look at the bridge. They've built half of it. Oh, they've done all this side as well. This bridge is nearly complete. Oh man, I'm so excited. That is going to look amazing. Uh, something I realized though, they're not going to be able to build those platforms without getting down there. What we might have to do, it's a bit annoying really, trying to figure out the cheapest way of doing this, but I think it's going to be platforms across there, and then a two platform there. I think that's the cheapest way of doing it. And then if we just path over to that, and they can build those platforms to get across, and then they build that platform, then they can build down and at level. So that should be everything, and that will allow them to build the bridge from this end. Yeah, I think that's all good. I mean, we could even get them started up there. Should we just put a single platform like there and then stairs up? Because I think this is going to be quite a lot of logs. So as long as they can get up there pretty quick, we should be good. Now, I can see we're struggling on planks though. So I might pause the logs. Where is our, yeah, our gear workshop? Down Under Thunder is in there. I'm sorry, mate. You are fired. And during the last episode, the stream highlights, I realized down in decoration, there's things like these. So there's benches and shrubs. There's all sorts of roofs that you can put on top. Yeah, but there's also this one, which is really important. The beaver statue. A statue of a hardworking beaver. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. Uh, that satisfies aesthetics within three tiles. If we click on a beaver like this one, so liquid E, you can see if we go down to aesthetics and hover over that, that increases working speed by 10%. So I'll tell you what, it might be worth just building one of them. It takes 30 metal blocks. We've got 156. Oh, that's what our main bridges are built out of. Who's in the shredder at the moment? Eight equals D. Oh, it's the knob guy. Because uh, we've got so much scrap metal, but not really enough metal blocks. I don't know. Anyway, I was thinking if we build this statue. So yes, unlock for 500 science. And it's got like an area on it. So I think beavers just have to pass through it in order to get the perk. And what I'm thinking is not many beavers will go over in that direction. They'll all come this direction. And we've got double-sided housing. So if I focus on this side and make sure like this road here is covered. Or I just put it on top of all the houses. Yeah, sod it. Let's shove it up there. I was actually going to build on top of this, but maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just bung that on top. Can they even build that? I don't know if they can build that. 
<laughs> Damn it, why do I never think things through? Alright, let's move that then. I can't be asked to do stairs and all sorts. I think we'll just shove it there, maybe. So you can get to that, and that should cover both paths. It's just if people start using that road, they won't. But I can always dig up that road. Maybe I'll do that. But for now, I think that's good. That is fine. Anyway, last time we sort of tried to make this lake deeper, so we covered the bottom in dynamite. If I come to this button here, you can actually like make the water see through. So, oh, they've they made quite a dent down there in the old dynamite. So fair play, we'll, le we'll leave them doing that. I think they've got that under control. So over in our YouTube member, I've just increased the number of haulers. So now all these guys are hauling in there. Good work. And look, it's a momentous day. The bridge is complete. Yes. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Right, it's a new morning in Beaverton, and check out over here, we have wheat! That's really deep, I love that. Why, why do I like that so much? Uh, anyway, our little beavers, who is that? Flying monkey, look, he's harvesting the wheat. Oh, which means we need to turn on our gristmill. So, gristmill, you're going on. Oh, and check what I've just found out. I think it's a glitch. I think I've glitched this. But uh, this is an engine. It produces power for the adjacent buildings, like the lumber mill, that require power. So, if we come to here, you can see we've got this building prioritized by haulers. So, essentially, they're bringing these over, these logs, uh, which the engine uses as fuel. Now, obviously, to run this, the logs can't just put themselves into the furnace or however it works. Now, there's a beaver in here, and this one, it's Kali Pavlov. Lossky. So they're slaving away inside. However, I've just sort of found a glitch, I think, where you can pause that. You can see the engine stops. But if we unpause, you can see there's no worker in there because there's no unemployed beavers in the district, but it's producing power again. So that's a bit of a sneaky way to get some free employees working for us. Um, unfortunately, in our grist mill, Ryan ML is in there. Uh, there's, there's no power. It's not working. So we could do the engine trick again. But I think instead we're just going to delete this dam because I think that's what ruined everything. Now, I know that's going to cause a water surge. But hopefully with this floodgate open over here, that shouldn't cause any flooding downstream. Let's see what happens. So delete. Yes, delete. And we're going to put a platform back on top. So in there, platform, path on top. Get some water moving down there. All right, nice. Now we're powering the grist mill. Ryan is turning wheat into flour. And then Kelly, who is now a baker, they are taking that flour, putting it in the building, and using logs as their fuel, they will create bread. Oh, no, no. Boarhound has died of old age. He was one of our earliest YouTube members. We had such great memories with him. He used to carry boxes, carry logs, carry barrels of water, sit on his ass, but not anymore. You will be missed, Boarhound, and you will be remembered. Do not worry. Now, but look at this. We've just put It's Icy up in the pumping area now that our dam is complete. So this should be nice and green up here. And the question is, what do we do with it? Do we plant trees or do we plant food? I feel like we've got quite a lot of food. These guys are pretty self-sufficient now. I think they've just got nowhere to store their food. Yeah, so maybe they need another storage. So let's plonk that there. Because they're just leaving boxes of carrots around everywhere. And they've also got a fair amount of logs over here as well. Fair play, guys. The YouTube members, they are proved me wrong. They are... <laughs> they have got their shit together now. Uh, Patreons, they're sort of slacking a bit. Like, this bridge is taking forever. What is going on? It's just the planks. We're really low on planks. How many planks do we have? Yeah, that's not good. At least the logs are going up now. And uh, thanks to these guys, the old food situation is getting a bit better as well. I'm just going to fill in that square of potatoes. Just because every little spud helps. Now, I might even do that little strip as well. Yeah, I am loving our bridge though. Although, bloody hell, three days until the drought is coming. Do we have enough water everywhere? So YouTube members, they only have 33 water. Maybe we need to pause this. Like, it looks so nice. It's so green, but I think we're just wasting water. They seem to not drink water. They seem to prioritize the water dump. So I think we will pause you. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I've noticed it's like daytime and there's actually, there's hardly any beavers up here. I think that's because they're carrying logs like to a storage pile. Yeah, so if we click on this and we say, Joseph Topanko, where are you? He's over there carrying a log all the way to the logging pile. So I think what we need to do, we need to build like some log storage up here. So if we bung one there, we'll have to demolish that tree. But uh, now you can see how that works. So we've got the path going over to it. They're just building. Oh, look, it's nearly built. It's nearly built. So now, hopefully, all the loggers that are up here, rather than heading all the way back. Flame Sulis, what are you doing? <laughs> He works at Lumberjack, but I think he just started carrying that log before we built this. But what I'm hoping will happen is these loggers will just start filling this up instead. Let's speed up and see if they actually do that. Yes, yes, they put a log in there. Look, can you see? There's a log. There's a few more logs. Yay. Okay, so hopefully that's made chopping down trees a lot more 
efficient. But yeah, that's good. Right, so we've only got 0.9 days until the dry season. You can see down here, because I've lowered this floodgate, there's enough water going through that's allowing these wheels to turn and to make power for our grist mill. Uh, the thing is, because the dry season is coming, I'm probably going to have to shut this down. Because uh, basically I want all of this to store water. Oh man, I really want a dam there. Tell you what, I'm actually going to put a small floodgate there. Yes, they won't be able to use that path anymore. Uh, but it will allow us to store water there. Yeah, but basically I'm gonna I'm gonna start raising this now. So I'll go up to 0.5 for now. And then when the dry season properly hits, this will go up to one. So it should store water in this little this little channel. And then if it dries up down here, I can just slowly let that through. Now, ideally I want them to build this in time. I don't think it's gonna get built, but we will see. And yeah, essentially I think I'll close these in order. So that one first, then that one then that one and then I'll probably close this one at the end as well I might even do that now so that back up to two and a half let's lower those a little bit let some water out oh god it's a proper tidal surge <laughs> right that's filled up pretty nicely so we'll pause that and that's allowing water to flow down here <laughs> and that should fill this up I love the water physics in this game I said it exactly at the same location as last time that is filling up also up here that's dried out already so that's really not ideal yeah, but that's way more topped up that's good unfortunately two more YouTube members have died Matty Patty and Hello and His uh they dead they are dead <laughs> In a word. Oh no, it's the final evening. What do we do? I'd like to think food situation is back under control. We got a thousand food. Water is also pretty good. So I think we might do the old pausing of the water pumps. We'll leave those four running down there. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel really bad for these YouTube members being completely homeless. Like, look at them all. They're so cute. And one just sleeps over here all the time. Killer Sue 30. It's because everyone doesn't like his name. So they're all like, we'll all sleep together and safety in numbers and all that. Killer guy is on his own. And, oh, there's a little baby one just on the side. Ryan Webb. And then, oh, careful. Bloody hell, who's that? Be careful, Jason. The floodwaters are coming. <laughs> Oh man, Jason is at serious risk of drowning in his sleep. Oh, but look, he's about to become an adult. How exciting. All right, wake up. Wake up, Jason. Phew, he woke up. It's fine. All right, pause, pause, pause. So the drought has started, which means over here at our water source, it no longer creates water. So what I want to do is stop that floodgate. We probably need to pause the grist mill worker. And tell you what, I think I want to lift up all the floodgates. So all of those are max level. Let's see what that does. You can see the water shut off there, shut off there. And it's no longer coming out there either. So that should keep this wheat nice and green. My sort of thinking is if this water does dry up, hopefully I can just open that floodgate and let a bit more down. Now we've stopped those water pumps so the water there should be fine it should keep this area green for the most part i feel like here we got loads of trees again i think this could be another area that could benefit from a log pile so if we go to storage and put another log pile in like there that should be closer for all of them surely uh, right, oh we got quite a flood down here i think that's fine though to be honest so all of this is good should we run out of water down here which doesn't look like it at the moment but i'm sure that will go down eventually we can just let more waters out of our tiered system i uh, mean oh we've had so many beavers grow up look at this so many more people we can put to work we got 10 unemployed beavers that's because ryan and jason grew up in the youtube members we've also got javier chris oh god or catch Lawof. <laughs> sorry i probably said that really badly <laughs> St. Francis Dam. We need to find a new dam to build and put you on that, sir. Uh, Mook's Mischief, Joshua, and Nectarside. I tell you what, guys. I think I'm going to put you all to work as scientists. Your first job can be a summer job. All right, then we're just going to leave three of you unemployed, I think. Oh, no. We've actually got some homeless Patreons. We can't have that. <laughs> I need to prioritize this over everything. Sorry, YouTube members. Oh, man. What do we actually do here? I, I want to try out the new housing. There's, like, different housing opportunities. We've got a row house and a large row house. Shall we try one of these out? Let's try... Let's see what a row house looks like. So, we'll unlock you. Yes, please. Oh, look. It's really... It's tall and slim. Like me. <laughs> oh, it's actually taller than the other ones. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Let's put two of them, like, there. And then we'll do a little path to that as well along the top like that that's pretty nice isn't it i tell you what i might even put a roof on this i feel like that's as tall as that needs to be if we come into decoration 
We've got all sorts of roofs, so I think we want a 2x2 two two for that one. And that also satisfies aesthetics. Though annoyingly, that's what a beaver statue does. Oh well. So, yes please, unlock that. And we can bung that on top. But look, we've got our first ever pointed roof. So when it rains, if it ever rains in this game, the water won't just go straight into the house. It'll actually come down the tiles. Awesome. Right, the other thing I was thinking of doing, down in monuments, is also this, a labourer monument, which satisfies all one. It costs a thousand science though, and then it'll cost 200 logs to build. But every we click on a random beaver like actually emmy here we can see what all one would do and all one increases working speed Ooh, that could be quite useful actually how are you getting on anyway actually emmy are you all right your nutrition too ain't too bad but yeah you're pretty good you're very aesthetically pleased i think that's because we built an amazing bridge over here and oh look we built half of this amazing bridge as well uh, so yeah let's let's unlock the monument and, oh that is a huge area all right i think i might just shove that on the log pile like that can they can they build that they can build that nice it just takes 200 logs so it will make everything a lot faster to build like, oh god look over here our scrap metal supply is nearly done fair play who is that raven the depressed 83 <laughs> and the god king emperor of beaver kind yeah, i'm sorry you're you're put to work scavenging i mean you probably expected to have this sort of treatment but um <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, Raven the Depressed, an 83-year-old still carrying boxes around like that. Fair play. So pleased we finished a bridge. That has made me immensely happy. And this one is very close too. People can walk along the shaming area throwing rotten eggs at the dirty, dirty shamers of Beaverton. And then up here, it looks like they've already started. And we've got a massive temple going on. So now they've demolished the trees, we can start building that up. So we'll grab some more levees. We want to go fill in all the gaps. And then that is a perfect platform for when we go into leisure. And then we can build a temple. Why, why can't we build a temple? Is it too big? Why doesn't that fit? <laughs> My master plan, why doesn't that fit? Can you not build temples on levees? Do they need to be platforms? Maybe. Yeah, let's just pause the game. Let's just see something. Can I... Yeah, I can't even put a campfire up there. All right, I'm going to have to delete all these. God damn. Wait, can we build a platform on... Oh, we can build a platform up there. Oh, what about a metal platform? Right, what? What is the point of these platform things? Like, you can't build anything on them. You can't even put a campfire on them. What? Can you build anything? Like, I don't know, a house. You can build a house on there. Okay. Did the leisure things just have to go... Oh, I think they have to go on the ground. Can we just try with normal platforms? So if we were to build that, can we put our temple on there? No, they have to be... Oh, God, okay. Well, to be fair, at least we found that out before we started building all of this. Though this is going to take a while. <laughs> I'm literally doing, like, drumming with my fingers, like triplets. I'm going mouse, delete, enter, mouse, delete, enter, delete, delete. It's like Iron Maiden all over again. Anyway, that is now deleted. So I guess we're just gonna build our temple there. I'll tell you what, we could do we could make this area like a proper chill out area. So we've got a temple, got a road going straight to it. We've got a campfire there. A campfire there. It's proper like festival vibe. Cool. Well, you guys can carry on building that then. And meanwhile, the shame wheels are still going good. Uh, we, we are in a dry season, aren't we? Yes, we are in a dry season, which means there's no water being produced by the source. Uh, so we've just got to manage that quite carefully. So up there, water all looks fine. Oh, look, we are growing wheat. So once we get some power, it will be time to turn on our grist mill again. That's awesome. All right, I feel like with the floodgate there, we could use like a faster route to get around. So I think I'm going to put a couple of platforms in just while it's nighttime, while everyone's sleeping. Just plan ahead. So you got those with a path on top. And then I'm going to put a storage area here as well, because I think it will allow them to store all this wheat. So we got two platforms there, and that just allows us to build our storage on top of there, facing that direction. Nice. And I might build another farm like down here maybe now i'll tell you what i think i think they're doing a good job we'll leave them we'll leave them to it we won't get too involved no micromanagement here uh, something we do need to be aware of though there's not that much water down here you can see it's pretty low so what i might do before i let water down there i might just open this a little bit just let a little bit of water out oh god none came out okay it will go down again all right there's a nice little surge there i could let a little bit out of there as well just to top up the downstream end so I'll just do that to half and let it completely empty. So when this water stops, I'll lift it up again. There you go. So lift that back up and then we'll empty this one again. I'll tell you what, I may as well fill these completely actually. So let's open you back to a half. Keep you on open. 
Oh god, this is flooding. Okay. <laughs> and the reason I've done that is because we've got no water flowing because it's the dry season. Just topping these up will keep these fields nice and green. I should keep all this wheat growing and all these trees growing, etc. Because at some point I'm going to have to lower these to keep this large area green. Or to keep these filled up with water. Because this is where people are pumping their logs to uh, provide us with drinking water. We've got 700 drinking water at the moment. But that's always going down. And the way this like overflow channel works down into there is it's only one deep. So once I sort of empty the water out this way, water won't be able to get down there. So maybe that's a bit of a design oversight. I might have to make this a bit deeper, this trench. Make our floodgate taller. Uh, but for now, I think that's pretty good. We'll go check on the bridge again. Oh, look, they are doing so well, those little beavers. I am so proud of you. Real quantities of it. That's surprising. Not usually the most practical people. Just bean counters, I like to call them. But in beaver form, they seem quite useful, so fair play. Oh, look at this down here. The better Josh. He's three years old. He was just staring like, one day I want to build a bridge. Oh, look over here. We've just had a new birth. Who is this? Baby Kia. Welcome to the YouTube members. Oh, who's that? You're up a bit late, aren't you? Commander Thire <laughs> just fell asleep there. Yeah, but look, you really get a sense of how many YouTube members there are in our colony now. There's, they're like sleeping all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Maybe I should start building homes for them. I do feel quite sad that they're all just out on the streets. But at the same time, like, why not sleep at the farm? Like, why sleep outside your farm? In a backpack, infinite. What are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, maybe today is the day we'll actually start to look after the YouTube members' housing needs. But first, I've got an important mission for them. We're going to come over to this side and start planting this up potentially with wood. So we're going to come to here, we're going to say, right, build a bridge so you guys can get across. So I think a two a bridge should reach perfectly. Yes, look at that. And we can just do a path over to there. Nice. And then they'll probably want to do a path down. So we'll do a little platform and then two stairs. Very nice. And then we can decide what we want to do over there. I'm going to put a lumberjack flag in ready. So that will go there. And then I'm going to tell them, cut down all these old trees. I'm actually going to paint in the entire area because we are going to plant them up with trees. And am I going to do two layers? I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll do, we'll do down there as well. All right, nice. That should keep them busy for a little bit. And then we might get them started on... Yeah, sod it. I'm going to put the paths in ready. Basically, we're coming over to here. And we'll just put steps in all the way. And they're going to come down so they can scavenge this. So I think I'll just squeeze in a path along there. And then put a couple of scrap metal scavenging things. There you go. Scavenger flags. I think we'll just do two. Sorted. Right. So YouTube members completely sorted now. They are very busy. Oh no, we've had two deaths. The Groon Rude Fruit has died of old age and so has Lord Finish. That is quite sad. All right, anyway, I think let's come up here where we can turn the water off. Yeah, we've actually finished our dynamite or at least as far as we can dynamite up. So it turns out these ones are too far away. So I might just delete these and we'll have like a stepped system. So these rocks here, they're the water source. That's where the water comes from. So basically it flows down into this lake up here and then this is where our floodgates are. However, we found out, can you see that's like there's a little pool there, which meant essentially our main storage area was only two blocks deep. Uh, so I decided to lace the place in dynamite so we can make it a bit deeper. Of course, it doesn't really matter if the source is higher because water flows downhill. So that will be fine. I think we're going to set these off. Should we do it from the back or from the front? I reckon from the back. And then, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a big red button. There's nothing more satisfying than pressing a big red button. Anyway, three, two, one. Oops, I pressed it too early. Boosh! Oh, crap! Get down, beavers! Cover your ears! <laughs> oh, look at that goat. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a bit slower than I thought it would be. But nice. And now we're a step lower. Um, unfortunately, we turned the water back on. You can see that's made all the water drop down instantly. So I probably should have done that in the wet season. Uh, oops. But anyway, I'm going to add another layer of dynamite. So we need more stairs so they can get down. And then we just come into landscaping. We go to dynamite and we just lace the place. I feel like as well, I don't know why I've got those steps there. So we should probably get rid of those. Yeah, that's good. We've got plenty of dynamite in our storage. We've got 55. So I think that will probably cover all that area. And then if I do want to dynamite this all the way down, I might want to tweak this dam just so it has like a multi-stage floodgate. Because if we put a floodgate at the front, and we should be able to let water down all the time. Let's get rid of that depth marker. I don't think we've ever really used that. But yeah, so what I'm thinking is if we put a floodgate there and there. And then we can levy that up. And then we might have to put some steps just so they can enter the water and build all of this. Because I'm not sure they'll be able to reach otherwise. But I think that should 
allow us to use the full depth of water up there. Things are looking good. Uh, although, maybe not. The water's looking pretty bad. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, then. I might turn on these water pumps. And then I think we can pour some science. So who's in here? Javier, you're sacked. Ryan, also sacked. Orcatchel Wolf, <laughs> also sacked. <laughs> and Mook's Mischief, you are sacked as well. I think you're all now log pumpers. Yep. And what I'll do, at the risk of making our new construction site a little bit ropey, yeah, I am going to open the floodgates. Okay, that did nothing. We'll open them a little bit more. There we go. And we're just topping up this lake now. No, we got some more deaths for Breezy and Raven the Depressed. Oh, they were so depressed. I'm pretty sure Raven spent most of their life mining this. But now they've been replaced and joining God King Emperor of Beaver Kind. It's Yori Mamasan. Although there's really not a lot of ruins left. You've probably got like a hundred scrap metal and that's it. So very important that our YouTube members make it over here. And they've done half the bridge. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, meanwhile up here, we've got a bit of a disaster. Because the water levels drop so low, everything has died. Not good. Thankfully, only 1.6 days left until the end of the drought. And I think these trees last, yeah, a long time. 16 days without water. So maple trees really are the camels of the tree world. Uh, anyway, how is our bridge getting along? Our second mega bridge. Oh, it's looking good. We've only got one bit left. And we're just after metal blocks. Do we have enough of those? We've got 86. We need 35. Yeah, that's good. And some planks. Planks, we're quite slow at making. So that could take some time. But once we're there, it will fly through. Now, what does this temple need to be built? Logs and planks. Campfire, just logs. Okay, I think I think we're fine. I think we're sorted. Yeah, water's flying up now. We're on 500. So that was a pretty quick fix. We've still got... We can lower that another two times. And now, because we've lowered the water level, we've actually got water storage at that height. Whereas previously, we didn't. So that's good. Really want to make sure this doesn't dry out. Because I know wheat does not last long it's no maple tree if it doesn't get water i think it dies within like a day all right anyway over here our statue is built the beaver statue so everyone in range like you little jonas swanson uh, you should have some yeah, you've got aesthetics now which increases your working speed unfortunately you're just a baby so that's not going to help you but when you're older you'll be very grateful. Uh, we've also built this awesome row house. Look, it holds all these people, which is good. Uh, however, the roof on top hasn't been built. Is that because it's out of range? Yeah, it's out of range. So annoyingly, in order to build a roof, we're going to have to do some temporary scaffolding. <sighs> so that's quite annoying. I tell you what then, we're going to going to put platform down there. And if we do stairs up, that will get us to the back. So then if we path along there and along there... Then we can put another platform in there. I'm not sure if we need stairs. I think they can build up one. So if we just put half there, I think that means they can build that once all this is completed. And I tell you what, I quite, I actually quite like this. Could we use that to put our rooftop terraces on? Yes, we can. Yes, that's awesome. So when that's built, we've got double rooftop terraces, which I tell you what, that is a pretty good view, especially with the beaver there. Oh no, but that isn't a good view. Look. We've dried up. Right, pause, pause, pause. Right, so we've got no water, so we need to lower our triple floodgates again. So as that fills the water course with water, you can see it's all returning again. So thankfully, no permanent damage. You can see, though, the water back here, where we haven't built and exploded the dynamite yet. Uh, it's drying out rapidly. You can see the entire flag now. That's not good. That is not good. Anyway, I'm more concerned about this area. We've got... Oh, we've only got 0.4 days left. We've got less than half a day. So I think that's fine. Oh, look at this. They've built like a little... They farmed in like a bullseye pattern. I tell you what, I think that means there aren't enough farmers. So I might down here in this nice little space put another farm in. So if we do that, that'll just help these guys to farm all of this wheat. So it looks like we can manage well an area about that big uh farm so we might even want another farm like up there maybe yeah, but for now that's good we will leave that as is we've got lots we've got lots of building going on like everywhere so i think we're just gonna fast forward oh loads of beavers have grown up loads of beavers where are you guys they are all patreons but yes the drought has ended as it says up there so you can see up here now the water source rocks they are producing water again so if we just fast forward you should see this start to fill up with water once again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise the triple floodgates. I want to lower this floodgate. What are you doing there? Engineer Matt. Oh, he's planting trees, old engineer Matt. We remember that. So yeah, this floodgate goes down, I think, to 0.5 was good. And then this one, 0.5. And the same with this one. 
down here, 0.5. So that should keep everything flowing again. And look at this. The water is flowing over here, filling up this. Lovely. Which means the water flowing down here. Let's get someone back in the grist mill or the chode mill, as I like to call it. Kevin Braheny has gone in there. He is our grist miller. He's going to be grinding wheat into flour. Oh, and look down here. The real architect has died of old age. Get in. Back, Back of the, the net. net. <laughs> I shouldn't be happy that any of my beavers die, especially my Patreon beavers. However, I think you had it coming, Mr. Real Architect. Although, what is above the Real Architect? Were you trying to trick me into saying your name, mister? I tell you what, I feel like that is a sin on an architectural level. And now you've grown up, you're at an age where you can do a job. And if you look at the Wheels of Shame, you can see we have an opening. So congrats, you have made it into the Wheel of Shame. So where is he? Here he is. He's coming up the stairs. Shame. 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 Everyone join in. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Write shame in the comments to shame Big Willy. Shame. Shame. Damn it, I said Big Willy. Shame. I said it again. Shame. <laughs> shame. <laughs> All oh, right. While that was all happening, we had we had a load more people died. We had Chill, Anno had to Jordan tried. They all died. Oh, well, that rhymed. Uh, but yeah, we got so much building to do. I might just fast forward. Oh, shit. Hang on. We got a flood. Why have we got a flood? Oh, crap. I tell you what. I know what I forgot to do. I need to lower one of these floodgates. Just the middle one. And that just keeps the level sensible everywhere else. Like down here. Because uh, at the moment, not very sensible. It's flooded, as you can see. But there you go. There you go. Sorted now. I tell you what I might do. I feel like we are slacking on water a bit. We've got a lot of water. I feel like down here, this is almost like our largest unused area so maybe we should fill this with water or actually how many youtube members are all unemployed okay maybe not i was thinking maybe youtube members we could just pump all of this but no maybe the patreons okay let's along here set up some water pumps then i would use the large water tank but you need 20 gears and 30 planks and gears are like so hard to come by so i might just do the small ones they only take logs so it's a lot simpler to build. So if we just do like that sort of thing, squeeze another one in there as well. And then we can just path along that. And I'll tell you what, maybe we can do a big one at the end. A big storage tank like that. Lovely jubbly. And that could mean we can even raise that depending on how much they're pumping out. We've got to be mindful of like the inflow and the outflow. Now we're not sure there's a way to measure that. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. And meanwhile, I might pause Joshua Hewer. Are you actually doing anything? Let's pause you. And maybe we'll put you in a gear workshop. Because we're going to need at least a few more gears. We've got 15, but we need 20 for that large water storage. So I've put you in there. Uh, we're struggling on the old power down here. This is really not good. What if we lower that floodgate? Yeah, we'll flood this briefly. But it won't take long for it settles. There you go. Will that make this work any better? It sort of doesn't look like it. <laughs> Why doesn't it spin? What if we lower that one? All right, there you go. Just need more water coming in, I think. So that seems to be running smoothly now yeah that's good that is good now sweet so we're finally making flowers you can see that we haven't actually seen that in this list before i don't think uh we are stacking up the dynamite is no one actually planting dynamite i feel like we need some more builders should i build another builder's hut we've had a few more deaths as well him houdini and dwight shrew has died <laughs> Oh, I couldn't hack the banter between his colleagues. I don't know what job Dwight did, actually. I, sh I assume he was a farmer. A beet farmer. <laughs> we don't have beets, so maybe he wasn't. Maybe he just worked in the paper mill. <laughs> yeah, he must he, was, he must have worked in the paper mill. That makes sense. But yeah, we are really slack. I wish we had a way of getting more beavers that weren't just doing useless jobs because of the shame they've brought on the community. Oh, no, and look up here. The God King Emperor of Beaver Kind. You're out of a job, mate. So we're going to delete that. And I guess you're a hauler for now until we can build this. I might actually prioritize that. Uh, <gasps> yes! The second bridge is done. So now we've got the long... Look how long our bridge is. Oh, no, I've just realized. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I just realized we can't get a path around there. Or can we? Maybe we can. No, look, we can't. Because of the rope, which is doing important engineering tension stuff. Uh, we're going to have to delete that campfire. That's very, very disappointing. Uh, but at least everything's connected now. Then I guess we could do our campfire back there. It's not symmetrical, which isn't as good. But uh, campfire, I guess you can go there. I'll tell you what, while we're up here, I feel like this is a bit of a chill out area. Can we add some decoration? Shall we try, shall we try a new fence? 
Let's unlock a fence. Oh, so they go in. Okay, they go in like that. What about a bench? Hey, yeah, we can plonk a bench there. Nice. Oh, the temple's nearly built. Build progress 75%. We are nearly there with the temple. Oh, and down here, the builder's hut is done. Colton and Mr. Razzle have gone in there. Let's reduce some haulers. There you go. Shylock and Rye the Pie are now builders. So hopefully we should start building things a little bit more quickly. But look, the temple is complete. Whoa. What do they do in there? Let's try and let's try and have a little peek in the temple. Oh, look at these little kids though. They were like, who, who was in there? Chris Fall. We've got Mr. Cold Hollow, Nyanka. They're all just like playing about. This is like turning into like a kid's play area, it seems. <laughs> It was meant to be for the adults to chill, not for the kids to play. Oh, well, as long as they're having fun, that's all I care about. All right, look, two more kids coming to have a play up here. Andre LeBlanc and Bujo, they're up there just chilling out, doing what baby beavers do best. But cool, look at our bridge, though. I feel like it's really cool as well. Like, it's almost like a story, like... Like, you start as a YouTube member in the barren area. But yeah, if you follow our bridge, it's like you start over here, bridge over to here. There's not a lot going on here. It's just a way to keep an eye on the shamers of the city. Uh, then you carry on through. Like, that is a cool view, like, with the temple in the background. I'm happy with that. I think that's planks well spent. Two huge bridges, a massive temple, lovely jubbly. Everything seems to be, like... In a bit of equilibrium now. It's all sort of balanced. I feel like I could potentially leave it running to get things built a bit. Water's pretty high. Food's doing all right as well. Logs are very high. Yeah, I think I think we've achieved today, guys. I think we've achieved. We've planned a lot of building. We've just got to wait for it to get built. Look at all the lights here. And look at all the beavers. There's so many beavers. They're all off to bed. And over here, a double floodgate thing, which appears to be flooding everywhere. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Um, I, I sort of realized this isn't going to work at all. Uh, not while there's these blocks underneath. So I don't really know why I did that. I guess it will look cooler, which I guess could that be a thing? Looking cooler is that a bit architectury. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, I noticed down here we had, we had quite a few deaths at the end of last week. So Kali Pavlovsky, Jonathan Kivers, Shatika, and Tears of Talos. They all died of old age. But thankfully, Motorway Matt, the new generation of engineer, they've grown up and they're ready for a job. And Mot away matt where does he the power wheel no matt no matt <laughs> no you got to get out of there get out of there hang on what's going on why, why where's our shamed beavers let's just press pause a second who's in that one architects over engineers that's good rc looks like an architect yep that one that i'm not gonna say yep they're all in there so did someone die what's going on oh look bridges suck died of old age yay bridges no longer suck okay that is fantastic uh, over here the flooding is getting a bit serious now it's sort of spreading towards our city what i'm gonna do i've just remembered if we press this button we've got all this dynamite under there so let's turn that off and we're going to from the middle i think we want we want dual explosions we're going to press this detonate button which is one of the most magical buttons you can ever press in life a big red button with the word detonate on it so three yeah i couldn't be asked to wait we're just going straight off look at that look at it and this is going to lower the water level as you can see there uh, which should mean Yes, no more flooding. Now we've also got this ledge that I was trying to get rid of. So detonate, do this little strip, detonate. And then there's one there on his own. So we'll detonate you as well. So we've got a lot more water storage back here. Oh, and there you go. It's filled up to there. Oh, we've got our we've got our tiered system going now. Nice. That's pretty cool. I'm I'm happy with that. Although completely pointless, this front thing, pretty much. <laughs> uh, it looks a bit more professional though, and appearances. They do matter occasionally. Right, so we've got a lot of building works going on over here. We've got our new water storage plant, a new farm. We've got the rooftop terraces and stuff. We've still got some of this to finish. Uh, and you, you may have noticed this is all north of the river. This is all in the Patreon land. Uh, and I've had, I've, I've read the comments of my videos. We've had quite a few complaints that I've been leaving the YouTube members behind. As you can see, we're we're halfway through the night. If we do a quick scan of our YouTube members, you can see. Well, apart from one, no, there you go. He's he's gone to bed now. Dank Supreme is now asleep. But you can see all of our beavers. They are all sleeping peacefully on part. Joe Doro over there, just by the cliff. We've got a load in the carrot fields. Koi Koi reborn as a YouTube member. It's what he would have wanted. Uh, we've even got people sleeping on the edge of the pier there. We've got Liv Cot Edwards, Josh Colk. To me, they look pretty pretty comfortable. But I've been told by the comments, no, you, you, you're not having this. You want me to build a home for the YouTube members. And I feel like, to be fair, 
Yes, we did last time do a very, very posh super apartment complex for our patrons, which actually I'm going to connect this log storage area up there. So if I just press pause quickly, I want to come down into... By the way, I do realize I, I was... I started talking about the YouTube members. And I've instantly gone to patrons. <laughs> I'm like, hang on, I just got to do something for the patrons. I care about my patrons. I will be back to the YouTube members. Do not worry. We're going to build them an amazing, amazing accommodation. But for now, we need to come into demolish buildings and resources. Say, so dig up all of those. Come to parts and structures. You want some steps there. And then we just want a path from there over to there. Maybe we'll prioritize those stairs. But yeah, that should just get some logs down to this area a bit quicker, which is very handy. Uh, but anyway, anyway, back to the YouTube members. We're going to build them an accommodation. And right, before we do that, we need to we need to get rid of some of these trees. Let's just come into cut trees. Oh, they're already they're already selected for cutting. In which case, they're probably out of range of a lumberjack flag. So in which case, we're just going to demolish these, which means we won't get any wood from them. But at least they'll get removed. So that's all sorted. The other thing we need to do while that's being done is make sure these guys have enough building materials. Now, the YouTube members they don't produce too much themselves they've got a load of logging stuff over here Ooh, which are actually both full up so they've got a lot of logs uh, but if we come into housing we can see exactly what they need to build all of these and it looks like it is just logs okay so that's actually really good but i'm going to use some mega engineering here we're going to be going up so we're going to need stairs and platforms which require planks yes yeah, so i'll tell you what we're going to come over to here which is the distribution post now these guys supply the youtube members with some extra resources so they're currently sending water logs planks and berries now they're not producing their own berries and they need them to reproduce logs they are producing their own logs so perhaps we could reduce that or we could just say Let's get some more builders in there. Because currently we've got William Johnston, It's Icy, Hippity Hiri, and the real electrical engineer. I'm sorry there's nothing electrical you're doing. I guess I could put you in a power wheel. Because then at least you're generating power for no purpose. Yes, I do realise that. But you are an engineer still, so maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. So if we open all four of those slots, if any more patrons grow up and require a job, they can start bringing resources over so that we can build our housing. Now look up here. You can see our YouTube members are getting rid of those trees. So now we've got space. All right, so first off, we're going to have to do some planning. How do we want this building to work? I basically want to build as tall as I can. How tall will that be? That's pretty tall. I think they'll probably be happy with that. And in this district... Oh, look, they're all sleeping again. So in this district, there's currently 30... 32 homeless beavers. So we don't want to go too mental. I don't think we want to build this with the large barrack. Uh, but perhaps we'll unlock the large row house. So that costs 600 science. We've currently got 2,322 science. So we'll click this and we'll say, are you ready to unlock? Yes, we are. So we've got that now. And look at this. And I'm going to build this right by the sea. So they've got a sea view. So I think what we'll plan to do is like that. So they hold eight each. So with six of those, that will be more than adequate. The only other thing we need to consider is how each of these doorways will be accessed. So we're going to need some sort of platform arrangement. Probably like a spiral staircase going around. So let's just pause because I can see there's, there's a lot going on down here. There's births, there's people growing up. There's even a death. I'm sorry, Wayne. Yeah, but let's try and work out a layout in order to get the height. If we had steps there, for example, and then a platform... And then because that's in the water, so that has to be a double platform. And that can be a double platform because there should be steps. And then that one needs to be a triple platform. Let's put the steps in and just make sure I'm doing this right. No, I completely got that up. <laughs> so that needs to be a triple. Yeah, that's a triple. Yeah, and then that's a triple up there. So to get up to that door level, we're going to need two sorts of platforms. So we can either do a triple and a single, which would be six logs and four planks. I just want to reduce the number of planks, I think. So I need four planks plus another one platform, which is four planks again. Or I could just do two and two. Yeah, basically there's no difference. So I think I'll do two and two. Then I think I probably want my steps around the side rather than around the back. Because around the back could be like a nice little balcony sort of area. So perhaps we'll do like that sort of thing. And of course, health and safety. What does a balcony need? It needs edge railings. So we'll put a path along there. So along this front edge, we put railings. And then we just go up again, I guess. Do a double and a double with stairs on top. And a double and a double with stairs on top. So around the back, I think we want two doubles. 
So that'll get us to that level, yeah. Man, this is going to be a lot of wood. <laughs> a lot of wood. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just going to be double doubles everywhere. So that's nice and simple in terms of building. I'll tell you what, just for the banter, we're going to go around the back and just put in our balcony. Now, I've just done that at the front, just so that they can build if we decide to make a rooftop. All right, so now we need to add the stairs. So we've got stairs there and there. And on this side, they go there and there and there and there and then we just got paths so the paths go on every other floor so along there and along there and around this side let's go along there and so if we wang a roof on the top which is in decoration this little bunting covered tree stump we can plop a roof there and that's gonna be beautiful if i say so myself in fact i don't even know if we want a roof on top would we prefer a statue we could put that on top that looks incredible Oh no, we can't. It's too high. I think it's too high. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to hit save and I'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. And I feel like, I feel like what I built, it's, it's not really, it's not doing them justice. The months and months these guys have spent sleeping on the streets need something better. They need something more powerful. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back into the large row house and we're going to keep building up. Yep, I will not stop until these beavers have adequate housing. And yes, basically I just installed a mod that allowed me to build far higher than I could previously. Uh, but that is gonna look fantastic. <laughs> look how tall it is. Look at the view of the timber borners are gonna have. They're gonna be able to see everything from it. Look at the shadow. <laughs> uh, the only downside is we're gonna have to build some crazy scaffolding in order for them to build this. Well, and to access the doors to use it. So let's get building scaffolding. And this might be a good time for a montage. All right, that's that done. That looks <laughs> incredible. Time to do all the stairs and everything else. So for stairs, we'll do there. I think we'll just do one side at a time doing every other floor. So these should all be in the right place. All right, pretty good. We'll do the other side now. Let's try and do this zoomed out. Maybe this can be a nice time lapse for you all as well. Nice. And then it's just a case of doing the paths around the front and back. Again, easiest way is just do every other floor. I'd say what, we probably should be fast forwarding because it's going to take a while. Oh god, there's also a dry season on the wait. 2.9 days. Uh, probably should make sure we're equipped for that. But I do want this thing to start being built in the meantime. Right, lovely. So that is all planned and ready to go. And I don't think anyone can complain I haven't looked after the YouTube members' housing needs anymore. Um, but yes, we, we have a dry season approaching. So we need to be sensible now and make sure we are covered. So if we head over here... <gasps> look! Our water storage area is completed. So that's fantastic. Do we have jobs? So Andre de Silva LeBlanc is in there. What about the others? They're all empty. Okay. So first priority is to make sure they have jobs. So are there any jobs up here we can get rid of? Uh, it seems a shame to do this, but I think maybe the distribution post. Joke across New York City and Nine Cun, you are both sacked. Maybe real electrical engineer. I think you can you can do better than that, mate. Uh, perhaps. I don't know where they went. Okay, for some reason they're not they're not pumping their logs anymore. We got some new job. Oh no, I know why. Look how many people died. Woro died. Rafael Nick. Robert Beckley. Oh, that is not good. We had some good times, but that is not good at all. Uh, meanwhile, we've got we got a lot of a lot of warning lights. So what have we got? Breeding halted. I assume that's because there's no berries, and I guess that's because we're just using them too quickly. So maybe, Mr. Forrester, you're actually not planting anything, are you? So Chris O'Bro, you paused. We'll keep down under thunder gathering berries just as and when, but uh, breeding is going to be greatly reduced for a little bit. Oh, look at this. It's finally the grand opening. Right, so let's delete the temporary scaffolding. And look, baby, definitely a contractor. <laughs> <laughs> it's enjoying the new rooftop terrace. Oh, look, there's another one over here. Who's that? You're proper lazing back there. Bujo7. So yeah, maybe they're just warming that up because this evening, the beavers, it's, like, it's, it's sort of like beetles, but with beavers involved. Uh, they're going to be doing a rooftop gig. That's going to be very exciting. Uh, but anyway, with all the deaths, we need more log pumpers. So do we pause science? I feel like everything, is everything built over here now? Maybe we can pause the builders. Yeah, let's pause four builders. And are they all pumping their logs now? Yes, Colton's in there. Mr. Razzle, Rye the Pie, and Shylock. They are all going to be pumping away, just like Andre. 
<laughs> now there's nothing wrong with pumping your log if it helps the community. Oh, we've also got a warning here for unconnected building. This large water tank, this building isn't connected to any district center by paths. Now, as you can see there, there is a path. It's just out of range. If we click on our district center, the red lines are sort of how far our district center spreads. You can see <laughs> it just finishes there. So whether we sacrifice a water tank just to put a path in, maybe. Yeah, because the thing is, I'm not sure, although these log pumpers are right next to it, I'm not sure they'll use it if it's not part of the district centre. So yeah, I'll tell you what, before they add any water to that, let's get rid of that. And we'll do a path down there. And now when we click on the district centre, you can see it's in range. Right, okay, that is good. It's now night time. It's ready for the gig. So welcome to the stage, the beavers. The beavers, even. <laughs> and let's hope I don't get a copyright takedown for this. Help, I need some word. Help. I also need water. Help! We're nearly running out of food. Help! When I was young, I had so many hopes until I realized that Matt was in control of us. I was gonna build a dam. I had so many other bigger plans. But then Matt came along with his architect beaver in ways. So yes, the, the beavers, they had a great, they had a great concert. I wish I could show you the whole thing, but uh, we don't have time. We've got, we've got many things to do. We've got a dry season approaching in one day. Uh, by the way, please, please like the video for that. That took me so long to edit. I don't even know that. I know in my head I've got to edit this. It's going to take me bloody ages because I'm going to give them stupid wigs and instruments. I'm probably even going to make their arms move so it looks like they're playing. I'm an idiot, yes. But anyway... <laughs> Oh, I got far too much time on my hands, apparently. Look at all of our beavers this next morning. They're getting back to work. They had a fantastic gig. Morale is super high, even if the beavers' lyrics were a bit anti matt And but yeah, so first things first, I am actually going to, I'm going to pause this water dump over here. Joe Doral, I apologize. You are no longer required. Now that's because we need to start storing some water so that Kia, who is pumping her log, I uh, could provide water that won't just be dumped, it will actually be used. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually, the old the old water level is a bit low over here. I'm going to top everything up before the dry season starts. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention, I wasn't paying attention. We've got, we got flooding down there. Raise that back up to two and a half. Open this one. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube members. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so it's night time now, the final night. So I think it's probably worth starting to raise floodgates and make sure we've got water storage everywhere. So we want to start with this bottom one to so raise you up. Uh, once this starts flooding, which is pretty much instantly, we'll raise that one as well. And we can see this is backing up. So we'll raise that one. And now this is backing up. So we'll raise that one and we'll raise that one. Uh, I've probably gone a little bit too early. I think this is going to flood pretty majorly in a second. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of water. Oh, God. Okay, I might I might lower these a little bit. That's quite a big flood. Oh. <laughs> it's just typical. A flood would happen just before the start of a dry season, isn't it? All right, there we go. We, we've stopped that area of flooding. It's now just flooding down here. But that's fine. It shouldn't flood too much. Right, the drought has started. Right, so let's raise that. Okay, phew. Right, so that water should drain. I think we'll leave these pumps running, although no one can use them because they're flooded. I was going to say we'll keep using them to lower the water level, but it seems to be going down really, really bloody quickly. Oh, God. So I'll tell you what, I think I will pause these. So Toff, two Ts, I'm, I apologize. Position wasting time. Yep, you're out of a job. Looks mischief, so are you. Uh, we now have no power here, so knob guy, your paws from the shredder. Vidarsky can't make any more planks. All right, so this middle area is completely paused because there's no power. We don't want to lose any water either. We want to keep this area green. Uh, down here has plenty of water. Hopefully that should be long enough. We got 5.8 days to survive. So this is our longest dry season, uh, but it should be okay. These floodgates are full, so we're not losing any water down there. So we should be able to keep them pumping. We've now got quite a lot of unemployed patrons. Yeah, we've got two. So I think we'll put them in here. So Knob Guy and Vodarski are now taking resources to the YouTube members. Um, but I just had a thought. I know, dangerous. Um, I was thinking, perhaps, I know I quite like that these architect guys, they don't have a purpose to their lives. But at the same time, it might be an idea if I were to take power over to the YouTube members, because they have no running water, they have no way of producing power. But if I were to do it via shafts, <laughs> shafts, then perhaps they could make their own lumber mill. 
and they can make their own planks. So shall we look at doing that? I don't know what it will entail, but power shaft. Oh, can they only be built on platforms? Yeah, they can. All right, we might have to unlock the high power shaft. This does take up a gear, which isn't ideal. Yeah, but it's only 80 science. So let's unlock it and at least see what it looks like. So that will take power down to there. Or do we just do platforms over? The trouble is, that's going to be... We're going to need like a whole other bridge just to transfer power over. Maybe it's more worthwhile doing the power just to here and then just taking logs over that way. I'll tell you what, actually, I've noticed no one's actually using these bridges. I might get rid of this drop-off point or at least put another one up there. So drop-off point there. I oh, know we're, we're on the wrong side. We're on the wrong side of the border. Hang on. So the drop-off point can only connect to that side. So I'll tell you what, we'll do our path over to there. Now, where are you going? Real quantity surveyor. The bean counter, he's using the bridge. Is he off to the campfire or the temple? He's warming up by the campfire. Lovely, look at them. They're loving it. But yeah, if we fast forward to tomorrow, will any of these distributors use the new routes? No, they won't. All right, I'll tell you what then, I might have to get rid of that one. Sorry, drop off point. You dead. And hopefully they will go that way now, will they? I just want them to use this bridge. I want it to have purpose. Is that so much to ask? Oh, it's because I didn't add a route to it. Oops. All right, I tell you what then, I tell you what. We'll keep the drop-off point we did have, and we'll say, add a new route. So to the original one, we'll just have berries and water, and then we'll add a new route to the top one, and that's going to be planks. Maybe logs as well. They might need logs. Oh no, we've had a load of new deaths. Dancer's Enforcer, the guy that fell off the roof. He had used up quite a lot of his lives, but not anymore. He is brown bread. So is William Johnston. And Nolan does stuff. He will no longer be doing any stuff. So I apologize to you beavers. But you did. Right. Come on beavers. Use the bridge. Use the bridge. Yes. 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 Vidarsky you legend. And Dishingen. Okay. So we're delivering planks and logs. Via our very important bridge. And you guys thought I built this bridge. Just for no purpose. Like an architect. No it always had purpose. It was always going to help build this. Definitely. And what if we build a plank factory down here. Is that a good location? I don't really know. But let's build one anyway. So a lumber mill. It takes 50 HP. So we might be able to get two down here. If we do one there. And one there. And with our power shafts, we can say, go down there, down there, down there, down there. And this one, we'll have to do a bend like that and a straight one into the lumber mill. All right, and you can see they're getting built really quickly. Fair play, guys. Look at that. Before we've even built a path to the front of it. All right, so we've done that. Now these are up and running. So the fork has gone in there. And help, I'm stuck in a podcast. Now they're both turning logs into planks which hopefully in turn will be delivered to here. Oh, and I'll tell you what, we've got a knob situation going on. So the knob guy has finally died of old age. I'm very sorry, but your replacement is the strongest shape. And I'll tell you what, that sort of gives me an idea. Maybe this should be in the strongest shape. I think it could be a very easy fix just to add some testicles. I mean, annoyingly, we just built the, uh, the distribution post there. But if we go to housing, perhaps we could just do something like that. Let's get rid of the water dump. I think I think it's pointless. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Uh, the old the old ratio is a bit off. But <laughs> oh man, that is going to be beautiful when it's finished. If it ever gets finished, I wonder what year it will be when that finishes. Uh, but I, I do believe in the guys. They eh? like look, they've got pretty far already. To be fair, to be fair to them. They're doing okay. I might build a new water dump just over this side, just in case we need it. So I like to keep this area green, to be honest. So I will aim to build that. Oh god, I just noticed this area went completely brown. So we need to we need to lower our floodgates. We can lower this bottom one, and that will bring life back. I know it's nighttime, but you can just about see the death turning into life, which is always a nice sight. Um, but we need some more water, so we'll lower this top one. Oh, I also need to be careful down here. Looks like we've over pumped down here. So you guys, Rundberg, Tom Oliver, Booty Blaster <laughs> and Slarty But Fast. You should no longer be pumping your logs because look, our potatoes are drying out and they'll die in 0.5 days. So we're going to have to make a lot more water enter this. So that this dam over spills and this bottom level fills back up. So we fast forwarded and you can see the water overtopping this dam now. Raising up. We've saved the potatoes. We have saved the spuds. All right. Meanwhile, these guys are pumping away. Look how much the water level has gone down. Fair play, guys. There's a lot of water down there as well. So we actually have three unemployed YouTube members down here. So it might be 
be worth, if we want to build this quicker, making more builders. So if we come into labor, we can build a builder's hut. So I think we'll plonk that there. We'll high prioritize that. And then we can carry on with our skyscraper. And would you look at that? The drought has finished. So that means our water source will be producing water again, which means we can fill up these dams again. So two and a half, two and a half. We want to lower that one. 0.5 I think that one was zero this is a very complex system but it worked look how much water we stored oh god actually I'll probably wait until we have more influx of water there before doing that this bottom one should be 0.5 as well I believe and then we should be all good we've we just had a couple of deaths as well Ryan ML Tom Oliver they both died of old age I'm glad that the beavers only seem to be dying of old age though that is Good to see. Uh, so it's now the end of the dry season, which means we can come back to here and we can turn all of our middle area, the water pumping stations, the shredder that requires power and stuff. We're going to turn all of these back on. Uh, however, as you can see, building lacks workers. We're a bit short of workers on the old Patreon side. And that's sort of because we've got everyone in. Actually, what are you doing? <laughs> Do some work. <laughs> I was going to say it's because we've got everyone in this distribution post hauling loads of goods over to the YouTube members across our super mega bridge uh, so they can build some housing. However, I think they don't have enough storage. So you can see all these warehouses, they are completely full. So what I'm going to do, we're going to build another one or two. Yeah, I'm not going to build the large ones, even though they are a thousand capacity, just because it takes 80 planks and that's too many planks. So we're just going to do lots of small warehouses. Yeah, and I think we're going to cross over this side and we'll sort of fill this area a bit. Another one there, another one there. All right, that's quite a lot of warehousage. So I think if we prioritize a few of these, Actually, sort of. Let's just prioritize all of them. We need to build some path and path in the dark. All right, sorted. Then we should be able to store enough materials so that the patrons keep bringing it over so we can continue building <laughs> the Mega Dong skyscraper. It's going to take so long. I don't even know if they're going to be able to build it. Like, it might be too tall, like too far away from the distribution post. Because can you see, like, when I click on this, can you see, like, a green line appears? That sort of shows the range. So, obviously, close to the distribution post, that's nice and green because everything's in range. But as you get along a path that's far away, it goes darker and darker red until eventually, can you see down here, this little end bit of path doesn't have a red line on. So, no beavers can actually get there. Uh, so, we might have to do something a bit crazy and sort of build some distribution district centers in the air I, I, <laughs> I don't know I don't know we'll, we'll just leave it going for now we'll see we'll see what happens I mean, it's so cool like look at that <laughs> it's gonna look so cool anyway look at that it's another morning people oh the patrons they're waking up hungry and thirsty hopefully they can go sort that out we click over here we do have a thousand water but we don't have a lot of food maybe we need to work on our food production do we we've got people making pizza yep you <laughs> Right, and that's got power. You can see that all spinning. What a beautiful shape that is. Oh, no, it stopped. It stopped. Oh, it's going again. It's not very consistent. Is that because... Do I need to lower... I think this one has to be zero, doesn't it? Just to, like, get the water running through. There you go. Yeah, I think that's what we had to do on that one. All right, meanwhile, down here, lots of water storage. Yeah, that's looking good. Right, now you can see our shamers. They're helping create planks. There's not a lot of plankage going on. I think maybe if we prioritize these by haulers, then the builders will stay in there. Because at the moment, I think as soon as they make a plank, they're sort of leaving. Like, where is the fork? There he is. Yeah, like he's bringing his own logs over to turn into a plank. And I think when he makes a plank, he then takes it away and all sorts. They're wasting time, basically. So I think now we've prioritized those by haulers. Uh, someone else should be doing that job. Oh, hang on, look over here. There's still no power. Why is there no power? No wonder we're low on food. Right, we might have to fix this somehow. Maybe we could dynamite another channel out. The water is moving down here, but it's just really slow. Right, let's shove a dynamite on there. I'm pretty sure no one can reach that. No, there's no paths or anything. So we're going to have to put a temporary platform in. And then a path on top of that. And then they can reach that to build it. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of some of these trees. Because I feel like we are going to have to do this. So demolish buildings. Mark resources for demolition. Get rid of that strip. Oh god, oh god. Right, I've just hit pause because down here at night time, which is dangerous, has flooded into the strongest shaped flood you can see. <laughs> Why is it that shape? <laughs> but yes, I remember over here we've got this dam and we need to lower the middle one by 0.5. There you go. And that just lets out water constantly from this end. Just a very small amount which prevents this end from flooding into the strongest flood. Oh god, that looks disgusting now. It's got a bell. Yeah, anyway, oh, we can also turn these pumps back on as well. 
I tell you what, because we've got so much water pumpage down here, I might actually get rid of these ones. Or should I just leave them running? I might leave them running. We need more bloody beavers. Where's all of our beavers? They're all like running around doing nothing. All right, I tell you what, we're going to pause science for the meantime. Pause, pause, pause. And it's nice to see everyone enjoying the campfires and the temple that we built last time. Where is it? Is it on fire? Is it meant to be? Is it meant to be a fire on top? <laughs> that seems a bit dodgy considering it's all made out of wood. Anyway, bedtime for these beavers. They're all going into their awesome mega apartment, which the beavers played in last episode. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> that was three hours of my life that I'll never get back. Um, meanwhile, if we head over to the YouTube members, I wonder if our first few bits of housing... No, there's still some beavers sleeping rough, and uh, you are getting a bit close to the puddle meat. Oh, Jason, I'd be a bit worried sleeping there. You might want to sleep up here like it's icy. Think like an engineer, not an architect. <laughs> yes, I know the carrots look soft, but they're dangerous. That's good. What isn't good over in the YouTube members, we've got six unemployed beavers. That is insane. So our builder's hut that we built last time. We're going to add two more slots in there. So I've got these four lovely beavers that are going to be help building the mega tower. Uh, we've still got space for two more. Are there any jobs that aren't doing anything? No, they're all pretty full up. I think then we just come down to labor and we build another builder's hut. Yes, there's going to be 10 planks, but we should be able to build stuff a lot quicker. So if we plonk that there, I love the shape of this building. There's a lot of buildings this shape actually in this game. Maybe that's why I'm so attracted to it. <laughs> uh, right, so path along there and along there. Prioritize that and then we should be good. Right, back to the Patreons. They have built this dynamite, so let's press explode. I love pressing this button. Boosh. Nice. Right, so the question is, will that provide enough water? Move? That hasn't, that literally hasn't done anything. Look, it's like completely still the water. <laughs> oh, God. Right, delete that path. Delete that platform. Yeah, literally no movement. So what we're going to do, where we've been digging up these trees, we're going to have to dynamite this as well. So dynamite along there and that one down there as well. And once that tree's removed, we'll also dynamite that. All right, so there you go. Who is that? Have Actually, Emmy and Kevin, they're all planting dynamite. Nice work, guys. I was actually thinking as well, I might return the favor to the Patreons in that these guys seem to be producing a lot of food. So if we click on there, we've got 600 food over this side, whereas the Patreon side, only 500 food. But there's like four times as many beavers over there. I can also see these have stopped working. So breeding has been halted because they're waiting for nutrients. You can see there's no berries. If we come up to food, we actually we don't have any berries. And this is our berry area. Uh, they've all been picked. There's no there's no berries to be had. I think part of the problem is distribution post. We're taking berries over to the YouTube members. So I might turn that off for now. And then we've got a forester there. So what I might do, I might plant some berries just down in that space. Or in fact, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to build a new forester hut. So is that in wood? Yeah, forester hut. You will go there. But we're not going to be planting trees. We're going to be planting berries. So all of that and that little strip. And that, that will be berries. We'll then come into food where we can put a gatherer flag. So that person will collect berries. And oh no, it's another night. Someone's already sleeping out in the cold. Oh Grant. What are you doing Grant? And who's this? Are you about to go to sleep? A jelly snake rebel? They're only three years old. They actually live in the row house. They've just come to see like what a homeless beaver looks like. They're like, nah, not for me that. I'm gonna work I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna become an engineer so when I'm older, I can continue living in this amazing row house. What a lucky beaver. But yeah, so that's gonna be berries to keep this side self-sufficient in berries. Meanwhile, the patrons' berries, as they grow back, that should feed their own production. So they're all doing their own berry thing now. Uh, but this green area, we're going to plant this up to the max. So if like this side, we do three farms, maybe one there, one there, another one there, just to make sure it's all covered. And we'll do paths to all of them, sorted. And then we're just going to plant carrots. So if we come down to plant crops, we can just say carrots. I would do like the other ones, but that's quite a lot of jobs, like to do all the cooking of potatoes and bread and just think this is a bit more efficient in terms of the number of jobs we have right and any tile with green on can be planted on so we'll do like that sort of thing 
Yeah, ideally you want to move those trees. Are they in range of the... No, they might just have to be builded, so demolished. All right, so once all these farms are built and we start collecting the food, I'm then going to set up a distribution post in the other direction so the YouTube members can give the Patreons food. What a lovely society we live in. Why can't everyone get on like this? Uh, anyway, right, up here... The dynamite's nearly done. Why haven't you been removed? You're not too far from anything, are you? No, I put it on high priority now. If we just wait, will someone come and remove it? I think that's a no. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> oh, because annoyingly, I think if I built a path along here, it would be in range. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that then. Oh, I'd love to detonate these. I'm going to have to demolish them because I can't build a path under them, I don't think. No, you can't build a path underneath. But if I detonate them, then the water level will go down. And look, just doing that, that is in range. Can they build that now as well? Yes, they can. Sweet. Okay, that was the right thing to do. That's always good to see. All right, let's detonate that one. Boosh. I don't think that's going to affect anything for now until we do this. And what I, what I want to do, I want to build this one down. So I'm going to have to build this dynamite first with a gap. So otherwise we'll set off a chain reaction. And we don't want that. So landscaping, dynamite there. High priority. Someone come build it. Oh, it's the next day already. Right, it's a new morning. The beavers are rushing over to complete this dynamite. Oh, looking at this, actually. Can you see that one? It was only one deep anyway. So I can just do all these at once. Right, okay, that's good. So for some reason, I thought this end piece was like deeper than the rest. But that's fine. We'll get that one built and then we can demolish the path and dynamite up there. I'm going to use that. Down under thunder. 63 and still plugging away. Right, that's beautiful. Detonate and press plate. Boosh, 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 boosh. Oh, that went quick and then slow. That was weird. Aha, so we're getting some movement now. I'm a bit worried only having a one width exit might cock things up. We might have to widen the lot down there. Oh God, it's flooding down there. It's flooding. <laughs> oh no, I'm an idiot. I didn't build the flood gate balls. Oh, why did I hit detonate? The button was so shiny and red. I just had to press it. Oh, we have cocked this. Let's just see if you go into landscaping and we build a floodgate. Can anyone build that? They might be able to because we've still got the path length. They might just come around there. Let's high prioritize that and see if anyone comes to build it. Will they just go through the forest? Yes, they are. Phew. We saved it. Oh God. And we need to do it fast because we got flooding down here. Oh, look at the wheels though. The wheels are spinning. Oh God. What is that? Oh, I've just realized while looking at these passed out beavers, Thunder Cookie and Secret Asian Tran, I missed. Uh, there's a path. We need to do a path down there. So now they can get to the final small warehouse. And if we press escape, they're actually building this pretty quick. Look at that. That's only been like two days. That's what we call progress. How many homeless beavers do we have? We've still got seven homeless beavers. Okay. <laughs> still got some work to do. Oh, look over here. Someone enjoying the campfire. Who is this? Strongest shape, best shape. <gasps> Oh my god, the prophecy was true. Right, we will need to keep an eye on you. You're only one at the moment, so you can't do a lot. We get, we have great plans for you. Great plans. Uh, anyway, over here, aside from the flood... Oh god, it's flooding. Yeah, it's flooding. Okay. <laughs> uh, we basically got too much water coming. I'm surprised, actually. I would have thought because there's only one feeding it and one going out, I wouldn't have thought it would flood. Uh, but it does. And then they can't use a farm, which isn't ideal. Anyway, there's, there's like deaths and births all over the place. I literally can't keep up anymore. There's, look at this. It's just carnage. So many deaths and births. I'd right, say what I do like to see. Beavers using our brick. Look at him. Look at him fly. Who is that? Lord Finish 2.0. Absolutely cheesing it. The strongest shape. Uh, absolutely loving the bridge. Although they are sort of inside another beaver. Man, I'm impressed with how quickly this is going up. Not gonna lie. We're actually making some fat planks now. Look, we got 410. So this is just limited by how quickly the builders can build. In which case, yeah, our builder's hut only has two people in, Josh and Lobster, and we have two unemployed beavers, so I think we will increase that. So now Jamie and a Jelly Snake Rebel are both buildering, so this should go up a little bit quicker again. Uh, meanwhile, our farms are still, they're still not quite built yet. I could prioritize them, but I'm just, I'm loving this. <laughs> I love that it actually gets built like an actual building. So you'll notice modern buildings, they tend to build like this middle bit first. And that's generally, it's like, it's usually like a concrete block going up. And generally it's the elevator shaft. And basically like modern buildings, they sort of, they have this middle concrete shaft thing, which, <laughs> shaft, which provides a lot of the strength to the building. And they sort of build around that with steel and glass, like these bits. If we were to glaze this, this would literally be like a modern building. Pretty much how they're built as well. But yeah. Pretty impressed with myself there. Real engineering in the timber borners. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm also thinking down here, there's like 
all of these are like completely filled with water. I'm wondering, is it worth, like, if I demolish that tree, is it worth putting another large water tank there? Because that will hold another 300 capacity. In fact, it might be worth, like now we've got some gears on us. We've got 53 gears. If I demolish these three water tanks, because I only hold 30 water each. And like for the same space, we can put another large one in. And everyone likes a large one. Yeah, once this tree gets removed, we'll also put another large water tank in there. Because uh, I'm just a bit worried we've got like five jobs here and they're not really doing anything because all the storage is full. And as I said before, I might delete these ones. So Real Civil Snap, St. Francis Dam, Vespion, you're, you're in trouble. You might be out of a job. Oh, speaking of which, the bloody grist mill, there's no one working in it. Oh god, right, I'm going to pause these. I don't think we need to pump water from here. We'll leave one. We'll leave you, Vespion. You, you can keep doing what you're doing. No, maybe not, because still no one's working in that one. Right, Vespion, maybe you can go in it if we pause you. Yes, there we go, Vespion. You are our grist miller. Although we don't have anyone working in the bakery either. Then it doesn't have any flour yet anyway. Oh, this is a disaster. Right, who can we bring over? Maybe we can reduce some haulers. All right, so the real quantity surveyor, you've been promoted. You are now a baker. And hopefully that will help sort the food situation out over here. Oh, but look, since we've stopped exporting berries, we've now got 46 ourselves, which should mean... Yes, look at all the births. We've got loads of births. Although bloody power stopped again, hasn't it? Urgh. Although I think I like... I sort of built a failsafe in this system because this uses up 60 HP. Wait, each of these water wheels produce 180. Yes, yeah, so when they're both spinning, this has like four times the amount of power it needs. So I think that's just fine. We can not worry about that anymore. All right, so how big is our Patreon area? It spreads all the way over to there. And sort of that's the extreme limits this end. Okay, because what I wanted to think about doing is sort of making a new sort of rivery thing over this way. So if we put a path in along here... How does that extend our range? Right now it's in this bit. Nice. So if we want to extend the range around there, we're going to have to demolish these resources and just put a path in instead. That's fine. All right. So now we can reach all of that. That's great. So what I was thinking, we path all the way down to here, build some steps down. And basically, you can see the water source of these rocks in here. So we've got water spawning there. So what I'm going to do, I think... Yeah, along that strip, we're going to say demolish those. And then I'm going to want to put dynamite along there. I'm just sort of dodging the trees because I can't be asked to dig up. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, actually. No, 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 no. Looking at levels, I don't want to do that. Or do I? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, so let's just path over to that. So hopefully that's all in range once that gets built. So we'll prioritize that. So that's all good. And then I want to build some sort of aqueduct sort of thing. Now, I know we can't have gaps underneath, so we're going to have to delete our path under there. So we'll delete all of that and that little piece. Uh, because what I want to do, I want to use levees. We're basically going to build an aqueduct over to here. So we're going to have to get rid of those trees. But if I build the ones that I can... All right, so they're the gaps. So they're the ones I'm going to say demolish all those trees. Uh, but of course, we're going to need a path down there so they can do that. So let's put steps in there and a path over to there-ish. And what we're going to do, I'm going to actually put a path along the top. It'll be like that. And then over this side, we're going to dynamite. And then water will just run down there. And that will be lovely, I think. All right, so another huge construction project, even though I haven't finished the last ones. <laughs> uh, that is the way of the timber borners. Uh, meanwhile, food seems to be sorting itself out. We've got some cooked potatoes. We've also got bread, which is fantastic. So it means we've fixed our problems over here. Turns out this guy does have a use after all. <laughs> and we all thought they were useless. Uh, meanwhile, how are these guys getting on over here? Uh, they're just short for planks, it seems. If we click on that, do they have planks? No, they don't have any planks at the moment. So we've got to send more planks over. Uh, can I add a new route of like the same thing? So if I say take things over to that one, can I add more planks or are planks already taken? Oh, I can. So we've got eight people to play with. I mean, the contractor, you're in the right place. You're not really a contractor. You're just a laborer at this point. But uh, let's uh, let's get some more planks over. So you basically want all of our planks that we're producing going over to the YouTube members. Oh, and over here, you can see we've got space for another water storage. So we'll go large water tank, plonk you in there. We'll do a path there. Sorted. I love the morning commute. Look at this. You just love to see it, don't you? You just love to see it. Ah, right over here, the dynamite is in place. So I think we'll detonate this. Boosh! Fast motion detonations. <laughs> and then you can sort of see how our canal is going to work. 
So we can detonate those two, and we can detonate these, I think, because the water level is a lot lower than that. Yeah, so then if we line this bottom channel with dynamite, then when we detonate them, that's when the water will be released. Now, I'm also going to plonk two more in there as well. And I think I've got to get rid of that one just so they can get to this one. But yes, that'll be good. That'll be very good. Oh dear, there's a pad. There's a pad, Sturt. He wants a strike. He's a good dog. What a good boy. He's getting the belly rubs. He's getting the belly rubs. What a good boy. There's going to be a plushie of you, pad. Oh, spoilers. Let's hope no one heard that. Let's hope my microphone's not turned on. All right, anyway, back over here, you can see you can see the tower is taking shape. It's taking the strongest shape, which I'm very, very pleased with. Uh, still quite a long way to go. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot how tall I made this thing. It's so tall. I was impressed with, like, the three stories we've done. Anyway, water level down here is a bit low, so I'm going to just push some water through the system. I love doing this. I just love the water physics in this game. I don't know why. That will top up the bottom a little bit. Just a slight little flood, and then we'll close that up. So now that one's closed, and the water should just fill this up without causing too much of a flood. Look at them all just building. Are you building, or are you, like, waving? Are you waving at the person below you? Who is that? Tian Minar. Who are you waving at? Are you waving at this dude? You're waving at John T. Woodbridge. Well, with a name like Woodbridge, I can see why. Thankfully, we've had no more shamers, so the shame wheels have been just 75% full. Uh, we've still got this guy. I know there's been a bit of a bit of a movement in the comment section, but no, he will not be released. The name is disgusting. And these two guys, RC looks like an architect and architects over engineers. Of course, they are still in there. How old are they now? They must be getting on. 64 architects over engineers and 59. That's that's quite a long sentence. <laughs> They've literally been in there since they were born. But oh no, God King Emperor of Beaver Kind has died of old age. Oh no, he was going to be the saviour. Well now it's up to you, strongest shape, best shape. You know what you've got to do. I also, I had a I had a bit of a bit of an idea for what we want to do with this aqueduct. Because as some of you pointed out, it is a little bit pointless at the moment. It doesn't really serve a purpose. Um, looking at everything else, I think we're sort of, we know what we're doing. We know who we're shaming. We know what we're farming. We know what we're flooding. Why is that flooding? Why are you flooding? Have I not opened this back one? No, that's open. It shouldn't flood down there. Ah, oh, they're only set at two. They need to be set at two and a half. And then these ones, two and a half. Yeah, okay. So that should stop the flooding. Sorry, YouTube members. I am still loving these bridges. Like, especially now, it goes from the temple, the cool area, through the shaming area. And there's going to be this massive skyscraper. Dong-shaped, of course. Yeah, it's beautiful. But right, my idea for over here. I think we're going to get into the daytime, and then we're going to press pause. So we'll fast forward through this night. Look at the beaver movements down here. It's crazy. Now they're all coming up to the campfire and the temple. Look at them all. Look at them. There's so many people in the temple. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> right, now they're all going to bed, wondering when the next Beavles concert will be. Right, it's morning, it is morning. I'm going to hit pause. And my idea for over here is I saw, I wasn't too happy with, like, how low I had to make this. The reason I had to do that is the water level in here is, well, set at that level. However, I was thinking there is a way that I can raise it. So, this is going to take a little bit of work. But can you see there's, like, mainly, like, a large area that's higher already? So, what I want to do... We want to come down to demolish buildings and resources. We want to say, dig up these trees. And then we're pretty good. I'm going to quickly just delete some of these. So we basically don't want the paths on top. And I want to make this wider. So we're going to delete that and delete all of these. And what someone in the comments points out to me is there's no need to like keep the water sort of flat. So we can just delete all of these, like save the wood. We can even delete like all of these, even these middle ones. I want to move this path to the right. So if we do that, mark that tree to get dug up. Goodbye tree. Put some new steps in there and then basically delete. Delete all of those. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete those stairs. And if I was being sensible, I could actually delete those. But since they're there already, I'm going to leave them. But uh, basically, I'm just making this twice as wide. So we're going to do that sort of thing. So on this end, we're going to have to delete all of those. Delete that path. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. 
Get rid of all of this and we'll build it back in like that. And if we can high prioritize those trees by using this tool, that would be very, very useful. All right, up here, we're going to want to remove those trees because I want this to be twice as wide as it was. So delete those. Now, I don't think I want dynamite down there anymore. And you, you'll see why, you'll see why. So we're deleting that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Though we will want it along there. Right, beavers, we're going to prioritize moving these trees very highly. All right, there you go. They're digging up these trees. So that's all good. Just the big one to go. Come on, who's that? Flying monkey, you got it. Nice. Right, sorted. Let's press pause. So my crazy idea, it's only 2.8 days till the drought happens. Whether it's wise to do this now, probably not. But um, I've committed to it now. So what I want to do is build levees along this edge, which involves digging up the bridge. I know it's shocking. We're actually getting rid of a bridge. I never really liked that one, though. It's all like cantilevered. It's not very symmetrical. So we'll get rid of you. Get rid of that path. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Levy up all of that. And then likewise, over this side, we've got to dig up the path. Dig up that platform. I should probably wait for the beavers to get up the stairs before I get rid of it. Oh, no. They're all like, I don't have a job anymore. Matt's just ruined my life. And then basically, we want to levy up. I think we're going to have to sort those stairs out a bit. Could we levy to there? We'll try levying to there. That might work, actually. Fill all of these up with levies. And I am going to plonk one in there as well. I'm going to put a platform over the top. I'm going to put stairs there, and then we're going to path all the way along the top of this levee. And the same along this one. And then we're going to connect them back together with a suspension bridge. I tell you what, I am just going to do it like that, because the trouble is, if you do this short one, you need like an extra block for the path to be connected. So over this side, we'd have to like double up the amount of levees. Don't think it's worth it, so I'm just going to do that, because then you can see at the tip of the bridge connects in nice and easy like that, so sod it. That is going back in there. And then I delete that path, put a levee on top. And I will have to delete these floodgates and raise them up one. Uh, but I think for now, with the dry season incoming, that's probably fine. I might high prioritize all of this. So assign priorities, very high. And we'll select all of that. Lovely. All right, so now we'll press play. We'll let them start to deal with that. Also, look what I've just noticed. That is not just me. That is the strongest shaped temple you've ever seen, right? Like with two square ahems and a big round. Anyway, that's probably just me. Uh... <laughs> right, let's fast forward and let these guys build that quick. Uh, Mino down here is going really good. They do need to remove one tree. I think I forgot to mark that one. Remove that one, please. But yes, now we can plan our levees over here. So we'll fill in those gaps and the one there. And in order to get those trees, we do need to extend our path. So we're just going to put a cheeky little platform in with a path over to there. So they should get removed pretty soon. We'll high prioritize a platform as well. I feel like everything's high prioritized again. <laughs> Why do I always do this? Uh, to build those dynamites, same thing. We're going to need a platform. Oh, dear. We'll also put a nice path in for them to get to it. Cool, right. Oh, God. Meanwhile, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause, pause, pause. I forgot about the beavers that I've stranded over here. So who have we got? We've got Matt Crosskey, Ryan Kramer, and Flame Sulis. Is it just you three? Uh, I think... What's that sim... Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's that? Alex Jev Jevov. Oh dear, you died. What did you die of? You died of thirst. Uh, so we we really need a rescue mission. I I've actually caught this. Things are being built over there, but I'm not sure if it's fast enough. I tell you what, I'm gonna delete that bridge, path in that corner, delete that path, and we're gonna build from this end rescue mission. So we'll make that the highest of priorities. Oh god, it needs metal blocks. Do we have those? So it needs. 40 logs, we got 1,100. 40 planks, we got 500. Metal blocks, we got 170. Okay, we should be good. I am just not sure how long people are going to last for. Just look, they're hungry, they're thirsty, and they're confused. <laughs> oh, no. He died right in front of us. No, and he died in front of us. That means you're the only one left. Matt Crosskey, the beavers are working on rescuing you. Please hold on. Please hold on. No, he died. <laughs> To be fair, you're 78. You, you had a good run. You had a good run. Oh, that's quite that's quite embarrassing, that is. I thought I was a bit more of a pro at this game than that. Still, on the positive side, less mouths to feed during the dry season, which happens in 0.7 days. Tell you what, actually, maybe they need to go up to three. That can go up two and a half. 
These can all go up to three just for a little bit. I'm just thinking if we can fill this up before the dry season, then uh, we'll have more water to pump, which is always good. But yeah, the downside of raising the water level around here means we are actually going to lose all of these maples. Oh, no, look, they can't build that either. I'll tell you what, I might delete those stairs and now they can build that levee. If we fast forward, they should build that levee instantly. Ready? It's got eight logs, 30% built. It's got 10, it's got 12 logs. It's nearly built. No, work through the night, work through the night. We're on 24 hour working because the dry season's about to hit. I'd love that to be filled up. By the way, the rescue mission didn't go great. The bridge still isn't built. <laughs> yeah, right, right, let's pause. So that levee is in now. Let's put the steps back in. I prioritize that and then they can continue building up here. Yeah, I'll put the old working hours down, back down to 16. Just a measly 16 hours a day. Right, and it's the next morning. The drought has started. So we raise this floodgate. Then we lower that, let some water out, and raise them. Oh god, I've I've flooded. <laughs> it's very, very sensitive, this network. Alright, so that river's filled with water. That should keep all of our wheat nice and green. I think over this end, if water's still spilling out, it's not spilling out. It's completely dried up. That will continue to be pumped. If we need more water down here, we can lower these two tiered flood walls. Same with these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. What is going on here? Have you eh? What are you doing? Why is he just sleeping out here? You're not meant to be homeless. You're a Patreon. <laughs> I'd never let my Patreons go homeless. <laughs> uh, looking at this, he lives in the back. So I think he's just sleeping from exhaustion, not because he's homeless. So all good. False alarm. Nothing to worry about. Oh man, there's people sleeping like literally in the middle of the aqueduct. <laughs> like Buzzfly down on the thunder. They're both 74 and they've just fallen asleep on the job. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you hire people past a certain age. They do like their afternoon snooze. Yeah, I am actually going to delete some of these levees. I think that one and that one. Just so they can actually get around and build those. Because uh, they were they were blocked off. Right. It's a new morning now. That one's still asleep. <laughs> God, they're like really hungry and thirsty as well. Now, the trouble is, guys, I need to build this aqueduct pretty fast. I'm worried if I build this, you're going to be trapped in there. Well, let's hope you can get yourselves out. Anyway, over here, they've built the bridge. I never actually realized it is actually made out of steel. It's like all blue. Are my big ones like that? Yeah, they are. Look, they're all blue. I've never noticed that before. Nice. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> distracted. Now, over here is nearly completed, which means we can get those jobs back, get the wood incoming again because our wood has dropped below a thousand for the first time in a long time uh, i'm still waiting for these to be put in but uh, i feel like i can probably start building what i actually wanted to so i basically wanted a taller viaduct so we can go over to there at least oh we can actually build over the little trees okay that's good to know that is good to know so i'm thinking if we come out of there we'll be too wide and we want to be that high. We can do that, that sort of thing. All right, so once the trees are removed, which they should be able to do now, because they are on higher priorities than the levees, although they will need they will need some steps to get up the back. So let's put those in there. High prioritize those as well. Of course, everything's high prioritized, but that should be pretty good. And then we'll levee down there. I'm sort of thinking we rip up the path and then we carry on the levees down to that bit. And we do increased height across there, over to there-ish. And something like that, we, we'll get rid of those dynamites. They're not going to be needed. Right, and that's what it will look like. And I'm also, now I've done it too wide, you'll notice I can fit in our water wheels. Uh, so I might have to put some platforms in and sort of bung these along. I'm sort of thinking like that sort of thing. And then like a power shaft going along one and then a footway going along the other. Yeah, I think it could look good. I think it could look good. I mean, I mean, uh, it will be useful for all the power that I need. Nothing to do with looks. Nothing to do with looks at all. <laughs> all right, so those trees are dug up. So let's just bung two levees there. One on that corner. One in that gap. Right, and I think we're good. So we can rip that up, rip that up, levy that. And I think in order for this to be built, I think we're going to have our path on this side. So steps up there, path along there, then path along that. And then we're going to put in some platforms. So we've got a one and a 2 -er, and then and a path all the way along that edge so it can be built. All right, nice. It's another morning. I'm just going to hit pause because I want to I've been sort of ignoring the dry season I probably just want to check 
how water levels are looking. So down here, they're looking pretty good, actually. We've got a little bit of dead wheat over there. But aside from that, looking great. In the middle, that is actually looking a little bit low. So I think what I'll do, we'll lower these just to let the remaining water into there. Top her up, and then we'll let some water out down into this middle bit. There we go. There we go. Get it running. Now, I ideally want some water down here. I don't like seeing this green ledge as sort of my makeshift water level gauge. All right, but that's all the water we're going to get down there because it's all run out. So not ideal. However, I have a plan. So what I was thinking, if I were to put a double floodgate, which I need to unlock 250 science. We got 3,600, so no problems. But if we put that in there, and then behind it, we just have a double platform with our path on top. Then I think we should be able to let out twice as much water. Potentially, is that a thing? Maybe. Uh, nice, right down here, you can see the water has been topped up. You can no longer see that green ledge. So that's very good. I am thinking during the dry season might be the time to raise these up because they want to be one block higher, but there's still 1.5 height of water behind it. So we won't do that yet. All right, so in order to put power wheels along this aqueduct, notice I'm now saying aqueduct, not viaduct. Uh, we're going to have to fill basically the entire thing with platforms just one block lower this is going to be a lot of planks it's going to be a lot of planks we're literally just going to have to do that sort of thing and then i think if we come into power and select the water wheel yeah then we can put them on top oh that is going to be a lot of power okay and now it becomes the point where i'm sort of thinking do i just put the platforms in they cost six logs and four planks or i could just levy to the top over a levy is 12 logs, but no planks. Planks are quite hard to come by, although we've got 665 at the moment. So sod it. We're just gonna we're gonna plank up. So we want doublers there. Yeah, we want doublers along there, doublers along there, and then triples the entire way along. Oh no, they're they're higher than triples. Oh god. I think two lots of doubles then. Double. And these can be triples because they're slightly higher. All right, nice. And then we just go back into power with our water wheels and we completely fill in the entire thing. Oh, this is going to make some power. All right, and then we build some power shafts around the front to connect them all up. So we just want T-shaped ones at every single junction and then a straight shaft in between. And look at that. That is a feat of engineering, at least in planning. We have to build it first to see if it will work. But anyway, it's a new morning. Shall we check on how our beavers are doing? So, oh, look, architect with the MIT engineering degree died of old age. We had a few people grow up, a few people born. Zeno died, Tien died, Joseph Topanko, Davy Rocket. Oh, Hippity Harry died. You had, you had a long life, I'll tell you that. A few people grown up. What? What is this? Architectural engineer has grown up right. Architectural engineer lives in barrack. Unemployed seems about right. Uh, the thing with architecture engineers, they're a bit too embarrassed to fully call themselves an architect, which is respectful, it's commendable. However, they won't fully commit to engineering, so you know what's going to happen, people. All right, Power Will, you are on. Damn it, Scribble Monk, get out of there. Prior hero, no, there he is. The architectural engineer, where is he? There he is, there he is. All right, everyone, he's going up. Ready? Shame. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Actually, who's in the other ones? Because, yep, you're still in there. I've seen the movement in the comments. I've seen I've seen the hashtag. Free Big Will. Nope, not happening. RC looks like an architect. Yep, architects over engineers. Right, so uh, all the shamers are in there. That's lovely. That is coming along. Over here, we've just got this platform to go, I think, have we? Platform on the floodgate. Yes, okay. Can we lower this anymore? Yeah, we've, we've still got we still got quite a bit of water to let out. Again, the old the old green is showing. Put your green away. So I think we'll let a little bit more out. We'll go down to 0.5. So we should see this dam over top if we fast forward. There it goes. And then you should see, yep, the green's getting covered up again. Nice. Now, but I'll tell you what isn't good. Look where this water level has dropped so much. Uh, absolute death of maples over here. It's really, really not good. Uh, but in terms of just coping for the dry season, I think we've done fine. It's like nearly over now. It's the last day of the dry season. Shall we see? Oh, look at it. It is beautiful. Our building is really, really getting there. Our mega skyscraper. So you can see the guys building there, Josh Kolk, 44 years old. He's worked on this his entire life, but uh, it has been worth it, hasn't it, Josh? Look at all the different stories of... 
It's like beavers on every level just carrying logs up. It is beautiful. And you'll be pleased to know, YouTube members, look how much housing you have. 84 housing slots for just 30 beavers. You guys, you guys are lucky. Uh, what isn't good though, I've noticed breeding has halted. They're waiting for nutrients. It looks like they've got no berries. And if we head over to here, our farms. Now there's no one in these farms. I think I made all of these berries. But um, we're sort of slacking it. Perhaps we should sort of slow down on this. Maybe move a hauler or two into the farms. I might actually pause one of these farmhouses, the carrot ones, just because look how many carrots we got. We've got 1,100 carrots. Let's pause that, and then hopefully someone will come over here, maybe? It's Paddy, interrupting a video again. Good boy. Good dog, aren't you? When will your plushie be made? I don't know, Pad. As soon as we can. We're working on it very hard. Good boy. Oh no, actually, no, we don't want farmers. We'll pause those two farmhouses. We want a forester here, don't we? Because it's the forester that plants berry bushes. And then this berry harvester, infinite, they will collect the berries. So we may as well pause you until they've grown. There you go, Traspies in there. They will be planting berries come morning. All right, and just like that, the drought has ended. Uh, I tell you what, it might be a good time to destroy these floodgates. Put two levees in there and then put the floodgates back on top. Uh, we might actually, can they, can they actually build that? Yeah, they can't reach that. If I path over there, like that, can they reach? No, they still can't. Bollocks. Okay, we're going to have to put some temporary scaffolding in. We're going to need a threer there with a path on top. All right, now all of that can be built. I'm going to high prioritize that as well. There we go, sorted. Meanwhile, all of this is actually completed. I think I'll leave that low to start with. Wait for that to be built built. Good thing is if we need more water down here we can always lower these ones. I think that's all fine. Plenty of water down there still. Lovely. Likewise down the bottom. All good. All right nice. We survived that dry season. No issues at all. Look at the building. I'm so proud of them. They're doing such a good job. They're building so quickly. Fair play guys. Super impressive. And over here coming along nicely. I feel like perhaps we should do highest priority like up the top and along that edge. And lowest priority should probably be this front edge, shouldn't it? Cool, then they should just build the platforms in between as they're going. So I just don't want them to build this wall and then not be able to get around there and then have to do temporary scaffolding and nightmare, nightmare. Now currently there's a lot of building going on. We're trying to get this aqueduct finished. Uh, we're also trying to mourn all the people that have died. Look at this, down under funder, infinite engineer. Matt has died, no! Uh, Trapsy, it's icy. Koya Koi, the reincarnated, is no longer carnated. Get Swifty, real quantity survey, everyone's died. Uh, so, so not good times in the Timberborners. Now, however, check out the building of this. The shaft scraper. Am I allowed to call it that? Yeah, they're still actually built. I honestly didn't think they'd be able to build it that tall. But uh, that's quite impressive. Fair play. Um, oh, God. And it's all, <laughs> it's all flooded. <laughs> What's going on here? Why is this flooded? Did I forget to open that? Yeah, I, I forgot to open that. Oops. All right, that should fix the problem, I hope. And is this one... No, nope, it won't fix the problem because that one's still open as well. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we, we have had some great memories here, guys. We've admired knob-shaped buildings. We've made our own knob-shaped buildings. We built two incredible bridges, a crap ton of dams and tiered dams and all sorts. We built deluxe housing and even had a rooftop gig with the special guests, the Beavles. And we had great fun shaming architects. But uh, today is going to be a bit of a send-off. And what I've done... I've actually installed some mods and I feel like we should finish all of our incomplete things like the aqueduct, like the knob scraper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit pause just because people are dying like anything. <laughs> Like Buzz flying, our bunky just died as well. There's a lot of death going on in the Timberborners at the moment. I don't, I don't want it to be remembered like that. So through the power of editing, we have now finished the aqueduct. And uh, check this out. So this is all filled up with water now. Yep, yeah, those those trees are underwater. But uh, we've got floodgates this side if we want to let water out to keep this all topped up. Yeah, but then over this end, we've got our overflow. And then the water comes down through here. It's actually moving pretty fast. I might actually put some power wheels on there and try and harness that power. So then the water comes down here and then just runs into this rivery bit where it links back up with the other one. So if we were to harness the power of this water, because look, it is moving fast. We may as well use that energy. We've got the technology. So if we head down here into power, we can select this, the water wheel. And this produces 180 beaver power. I'm not I'm not saying horsepower. I know it's an H, but no, 
It's Beaver. It's got to be a typo. I'm hoping that might be something the devs fix. It's the main problem with this game at the moment. And it is the problem at the top of everyone's wish list of the new update. But look at that. Now we have power wheels. But I don't want them visual. I want them to actually power something. So we're going to go back into power and we're going to add the T shafts. So we'll plonk them on the end of each one of the wheels so we can transfer that power. Although I have just remembered I was going to path up along here, wasn't I? Yeah, so I think I'll put the shafts around the other side. So I'll just delete all of those. We'll put the path along the top like that. And then over this side, this is where we will put our shafts. <laughs> Oh, don't take that out of context. All right, so we do a bit of that, and then we fill in all the gaps with a normal shaft. And this first one wants to be a corner one like that. Nice. All right, so through the night, I'm just rebuilding this. Oh, and it's morning already. Uh, yes, we're using the power of mods just so we can finish everything. So I feel like this is a very important structure to finish. Oh, no, we had, we had more deaths overnight. There's so much death edge going on. All right, so now I'll just add stairs to every other floor. So this side is pretty much... Done. Oh god, how tall is this? I forgot how tall it was. <laughs> oh man, there's like four more floors. What the hell? Alright, so they're all done. We'll flip over to this side. And again, just every other floor. Right, and then we just put the paths in. So we should just be connecting stairs to stairs and filling in the entrances either side and then hopefully they can all be used by beavers. I am worried someone in the comments mentioned this might be too tall and therefore too far away from your district center. So that's all of that side done. We'll just do around the back. Just doing every other floor. I love the perspective in this game. Like it really does look like a tall ass building. Well, I get I guess because it because it is. But then I just want to finish the top off, which means I just need a few oneers. Like one to go there. Oh god, this is getting quite hard to move. And a three to go in there. Nice. And there's our building. We could I guess we could put something on the top. Oh, we can't appear to put any trophies up there. Unfortunately, the biggest roof piece isn't quite big enough. But we can do that. All right, and now that's finished. Look how tall it is. <laughs> it's so... Look at the shadow, man. The shadow nearly covers the entire bridge. Look at that. <laughs> right, there are, however, lots of warning things. Oh, God. Does this mean people were right? If I click on, like, one of these higher ones... Yep, this building isn't connected to any district center by paths. Oh, God. Okay, so where is the highest one that is connected? Oh, not even that one. Not even that one. Oh, man. So literally how high it was before I started modding was basically the limit of the game. Uh, what we could do, we could do some district centers all the way up. But honestly, I don't think anyone's going to see those warning things. Yes, this is a bit architectury, but no one's going to see it, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Right, so next we're going back over to our aqueduct and we need to power something magical with all of this. I've actually decided because I've realized this end is too far away as well. I'm actually going to delete that. We'll put the corner piece there and then this end, this is where we'll take our power off. So we'll delete the corner we put in earlier. We'll put a T and then we'll keep threading this power somewhere. So if we fill these in, something I've never used is the high power shaft. I think this transfers power up. Yeah, like that. Oh, we did use it, didn't we? I remember now I've planted it. I remember using it. Yes, we used it over here to take power from the power wheels down to there. Although someone did say to me, because the wheel of shame is touching this building, it's already connected. So if I just move these to the right a little bit, I didn't have to build all these. Shall we check that? So if we were to delete those, those, that and that. So if we go into wood and put the lumber mill back there and there, are they powered? No! The comment section lied to me. Although I wonder if they meant I could have just done that. No, they literally lied. They literally lied. Okay. Well, to be honest, we've, we've got mods now. We're not, we're not creating wood. Plus, I really, I really didn't like that these actually had purpose to their lives. I mean, you know what? As it's the last episode, I've, I've had this request so much. There's been a massive movement online. The hashtag free big will has been trending for weeks, if not months. Uh, so I'm going to come to this power wheel here. And this guy in here, which I'm not going to say because I will get demonetized. But you're being freed. We are freeing you. There he goes. There he goes. He is off. All right, and there he is. Shall we follow him and see what he gets up to? Now he is a free man. All right, he's heading through the town. He's going up past the barracks. I thought he was going to go in for a second. Where, where is he off to? He's up here. Oh, oh he's picked... Oh... You know what? I think the comment section was right about you. You are a good man. He's gone straight to work. I thought while he was in the shame wheel for all those years, he might have been building up anger, trying to find a way to retaliate against the Timberborners. But no, he was one of them all along. And by the way, as this is the last episode of series one of the Timberborners, if you've been wondering 
behind the scenes. How how does he do it? How does Matt do the Timberborners? Uh, particularly with the names. So if you look down here, you'll see Moles died of old age. Uh, that's old news. We don't care about that. <laughs> Sorry, Moles. Uh, but you can see up here, a load of new people have been born, all with gibberish names. So if we click on this person, we can then press this little button, the I, and we can work out where they are. So as they're north of the river, they are a Patreon. So I click on this, edit, and then I've got my list on my second monitor, and I literally type in their name manually. So this one, engineers. Yes, this is a good start. Ah, oh, okay, I can see where this is going. Overrated. What? <laughs> Come on, man. Right, and then I press OK, and you can see this child, this innocent-looking child, they'll be going straight into the Wheel of Shame. Uh, however, you can see we have a saviour, because Bridges Don't Suck has just grown up. Now, you might remember Bridges Suck from a previous episode. They did their time in the Shame Wheel, and I think they were born and raised and died in the Shame Wheel. Uh, but Bridges Suck has been massively treated, because they are homeless and unemployed. Ignore that. Ignore that. Just forget, forget the details. All you need to know, Bridges Suck living a fantastic life as a Timberborner. Uh, but yeah, this this renaming of Patreons, uh, what I'm going to do in Timberborners Series 2 is I'm going to use the mod. There's a mod that sort of fills in all the names with a list of names that you put in. So rather than these gibberish ones like Gnamru and Tzlijin, <laughs> names that I can't pronounce, they will be replaced with the names that I can pronounce. Like Dick M oh, Really? <laughs> I'm not even sure we have space in the shame wheel. But yes, thankfully I will not have to do all this typing anymore. However, it does mean... Now this is going to be a bit of a shocker for you that have watched this entire series. Because as we know, there is a massive rivalry in the Timberborners. Let me just fast forward to the light so we can see what we're doing. Right, there you go. It's morning. We'll press play. Oh my god, look at everyone leaving for work. This is a beautiful sight. But yes, we have a river through the middle of our map. And to the north, we have the Patreons. To the south, we have the YouTube members. Now, I'd like to think they're living in harmony, but they haven't really. There's been huge rivalries. If you look in the comments, they're like, oh, the Patreons have this, we have that. The YouTube members have that, we only have this. So no more, no more. Season 2, we're going to be combining the list. And whether you're a Patreon or a YouTube member, that doesn't matter to me. All that matters is that you are a beaver. Yeah, but right, I got I got distracted there. I got, I'm actually going to hit pause so we can stay in daylight a bit longer. I need to transfer the power across the water. Now, you can't do that unless you build a few platforms. So if I put a platform there and another one there, then I should be able to build a shaft on top of that. Nice. And if we press play, yes, you can see that's all moving. Nice. So I'll press pause again. And then going to take the power along this way, sticking to this edge. I'm actually going to clear this planting area of all these trees because for some reason they've never even got that far. So whatever, you're gone. You're dead to me, trees. We'll fill in all these gaps with shafts. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Right, and then we're going to come to this edge. I probably want to stay high because I want to go over that path. So basically, we're going to have to build this in platforms. So I think we'll go across there, over to there-ish. And we'll go down there. I'm going to go under this bridge to about there. I want to make all that one step higher. Over to there, around. Right, so essentially I've just got to do all the corners with these cornery shafts. We've got two there, we got one there, one under there. We need one there and one there and one there. All right, next we're going to use the high power shafts just to get rid of all of our heights. So that one and that one should be good. Another one there. And I assume this works. I've got to go uphill there. So I'm going to rotate that way. And then back that way to go down, and then down there, down there, and down there. Finally, I've got the T connections, because we're connecting in these beavers. And then I just need to connect all these with straight shafts. So we'll grab these, and we'll say, go along there, go along there, one in there, along there, along there. A few more little ones along here, all the way along there. And to be honest, I should probably connect in these ones as well. We're going to need all the power we can get for what I have planned. So basically we need a T there, a T there, and a corner there, and then just some straights to connect those in. Nice. So that's all connected. That's taking power from here all the way around, all the way around up to here. Then we span our massive canyon over to here, and at the end we just connect that in. All right, next we need some stairs and things. So we need stairs there, there, and there, and then a path along there, and along the bottom there. Right, and now I think we're connected. 
So if we come down here, you can see there's beavers coming down the stairs. They're very excited to see what I've built for them. And it's a carousel. Oh, it's got really cool music. <laughs> Look at it go. So yeah, you can see the beavers absolutely loving it. These are all YouTube members. They are going crazy. Look at their faces. And the best thing is this is all powered by not only water, but the shame wheel as well. And then I noticed over in this corner of the map, we've had this sort of dried up lake that's been pestering me the entire time of like, how do I get water over here? Now, one of the obvious solutions would be build another aqueduct, but I feel like we've done that. So instead, I did that. I don't know why. So basically, we've turned this into a giant fishbowl. Uh, we're now going to clog up this end. And then we should start filling up. I'm not entirely sure where we'll flood first. We've still actually got floodgates down there. <laughs> I wonder what happens when a floodgate gets flooded. But, uh, oh no, as you can see, we have stranded some beavers. So, Tom, I'm sorry, mate. You're a bit trapped. I love that some of these guys are still working, though. It's Dr. Somburn, who's 80 years old. I love that he's just looking out like, I swear those wolves weren't there yesterday. <laughs> How did they get put up so quick? But yeah, we are going to fast forward and we're going to let this thing fill with water. I might actually keep building up. So whilst it fills up, keep building around. Oh, did you see that? There's a wave of green coming. Oh dear, the water level is coming up a bit faster than I thought it would. So let's speed build. I want to add a couple more layers to this. All right, that's it. I think, I think we're doing okay. The water should slow down the higher it gets because the area gets bigger. So it will take longer to fill. I hope anyway, that's what I'm banking on. All right, you last few guys, you might want to get out of there because I'm about to delete this. Oh, you've just gone back in. Okay, you are now stranded. No, don't all go in there. Quick, get out, get out, get out. Right, I think we just rescued everyone from in there so we can carry on building the dam. Is it a dam? Is it a reservoir? I think this is a reservoir. The biggest drinking water container ever. Although everyone's really thirsty still. Oh no, that Tom died of thirst. Right, so the water level, wow, definitely rising definitely rising. Uh, by the way, I do realize I've completely ruined the aqueduct over here. There's now no more water coming along. There's no more power. However, don't worry, the carousel is still running thanks to the Wheel of Shamers. And we should have the fourth member grow up soon. So we should be able to keep adding power to the carousel, make it spin faster, make it a lot more fun. Oh, look out, look out, right. Engineers are overrated and Dick Mammoth have both grown up. Who are we going to get to go into the shame wheel? We've only got one space available. I'm trying to just press pause and hope that the right one goes in. No, not bridges. Don't suck. Get out of there. Oh, Dick Mammoth has gone in. I don't really want you in there, though. Engineers overrated is the one. I don't really want to punish dick jokes anymore because they are funny. Oh, God, and there's a dry season. Oh, no. Oh, no, this could actually be the end. So there's a dry season approaching and no one is pumping water. Oh god, let's turn these pumps back on. So this has been pumped dry. We might actually need to push some water out. Oh look, the water's going up loads. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. 1300 will be alright. Although this is nearly out. I'm going to fill that up before the dry season, I think. So let's go on delete. And we'll just lower like that one to there. So now there's water pouring out. Hopefully that will fill this in. Because look, people pumping their logs in here. Mr. Brutiful, Jordan Tried, Raven the Depressed, and St. Francis Dam. They worked their logs so hard. They pumped it dry. All right, but now that's filling up with water. That's good. I will carry on building. All right, so that looks like just about enough water down there. That is beautiful. So we can clog this back up now. So levees in there. And then we can fill this wall up the same height as everything else. All right, and now it is actually the dry season. You can see 0.2 days. So this is the final evening. I probably should have started to build this in the dry season. Not the way that I've done it, but... Uh... <laughs> Live and learn, live and learn. All right, so the drought has started. I'm going to carry on building this and I'm going to hope that everyone else just survives. They got 1300 water. They might be okay. They're still pumping as well. All right, and this is the final wall. Villain is slightly too long to do your whole strip. So there we go. Right, that is our ultimate water source. Yeah, it hasn't quite made it over to this lake yet. But I think they're all doing okay. I think we're going to let this run for a bit and we'll let this top up with water. It's a bit, it's too big to fit in the bloody... All right, so I think we might time lapse from here and just watch it fill up with water. And hopefully our deaths won't go too high. I am quite worried, not going to lie. Right, whoa, 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 slow it down, slow it down. I see deaths, I see dead people. Joan, what, what are you doing? Why are you dead? Why are you dead? Oh god. All right, they're hungry and thirsty. So what has happened... Okay, so we've run out of water downstream, which means badness. Uh, <laughs> let's delete that. We'll let the water flow out. So there you go, rejuvenate the land at night time. 
And then over the top down here so these guys can pump water again. Oh god. Is it too late? Is it too late? Oh god, look how many died just then. So look, the dramatic gecko's just lying there. There's another dead beaver in the street. And it's J. Cole. Uh, dead beavers everywhere. However, the pumps are on. There is one beaver pumping away. Only one pumping his log. Vespian. Now, I don't know what everyone else is doing. I think we can probably pause the hauling post, don't you? Oh man, there's another dead beaver. Nick the ginger is dead. Age 32, same age as me. All right, but this is going to take a bit longer than I thought to fill up. So we'll let the water drain out and then we'll do another time lapse. Perhaps from there. Right, so I can see down there the water's full up to the pumping stations. Uh, there's still no workers in there. Let's try and sort that out. Pause an inventor's hut. Someone go pump water. Right, I never thought I'd say this, but you two in the shame wheels, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pause you. You're gonna have to pump water if we're gonna survive. We've only got 13 beavers left. <laughs> this is a disaster. All right, look at this. Motorway Matt, an architecture engineer, working in harmony, trying to collect some food. I'll just have to keep an eye on that as we time lapse. So we'll fill in the gap. And then we'll leave it running. Right, and the reservoir is full. Although, it's, it says we got no beavers. They haven't all died, have they? I thought it was game over if it died. Oh, wow. No, they're all dead. They are all dead. Oh, dear. And it's flooding. <laughs> Right, I've managed to stop the flood. Let's just hit pause. Let's come down to the delete tool. Right, and now let's see off the timber borners. What's this place called again? Like Beaverton. <laughs> I remember, I remember. Right, goodbye Beaverton. It was nice knowing you. All of our memories are being washed away. The expensive housing. Our aqueduct, which is now producing awesome power by the way. Our farmland. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Anyway, guys, that was the end of season one of the Timberborners. I think they may have tweaked the tsunami physics. Because I swear before this would have gone mental. But now we just have waterfalls. We actually made it quite nice. Anyway, guys, peace, love, and Timberborners. Bye.